हेलो गाइस आई हैव अ गुड न्यूज़ फॉर यू एज यू कैन सी आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग सी ए इंटर कॉस्टिंग लेक्चर्स फॉर फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट फ्यू थिंग्स विच आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट इज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस लेक्चर्स आर फ्री 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 यू कैन एक्सेस दैम ओके माई नेम इज सी राहुल पंचाल एंड या यू आर गोइंग टू गेट द लेक्चर्स फॉर सी ए इंटर कॉस्टिंग अगेन दैट इज फॉर फ्री सर वट विल बी द ड्यूरेशन द ड्यूरेशन विल बी अप्रॉक्सिमेटली वन थर्टी आवर्स दैट विल बी योर ड्यूरेशन माई कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर इज नाइन नाइन सिक्स सेवन सेवन थ्री सिक्स सिक्स वन थ्री जस्ट इन केस यू हैव एनी डाउट विथ रेफरेंस टू दिस यू कैन जस्ट व्हाट्सएप ऑन दिस नंबर एंड वन मोर थिंग एम लॉन्चिंग फ्यू बुक्स एंड अगेन क्रैश कोर्स ऑफ कॉस्टिंग एंड अकाउंट्स ऑल्सो सो जस्ट इन केस यू वॉन्ट टू बाई दैट इन फ्यूचर यू कैन सेव दिस नंबर फॉर दैट मैटर एंड माई इंस्टा आई डी विल बी लॉस्ट इन कॉस्ट ओके एंड इफ यू want notes that is question bank for this course which you are going to watch or even the solution part what you can do is what you can do is you can check the description in the description and in the comment box link will be given google drive ka link will be given that's it and lectures will be conducted in basic in english language so just i can say just all the best guys start watching the lectures bye bye yeah bye bye Fine. So let's start with this chapter. If we talk about the process costing, guys, when we say process costing, the first question arises: What is the meaning of costing? And the next question arises: Is what is the meaning of process? First, let us understand as to what is the meaning of costing. Ah, uh, when I say costing, what does it mean? Costing means costing means calculation of cost. Costing means calculation of cost. We need to calculate the cost. So calculation of cost. means costing now we need to calculate which cost guys we need to calculate the cost which is connected with the process now the next question arises what is the meaning of process so process means what i can say process means steps involved you have to write with me okay steps involved in production that is nothing but process steps involved in production it means i can say that as in when you produce any product it has to pass through various processes like process 1 process 2 process 3 here our objective is to calculate the cost of each process okay have you written till here hello everyone yes sir fine fair enough now i have some summary notes for you guys so i will show you that summary notes i will refer this i will share with you the pdf also just in case if you want to write down something you can tell me so just uh, pay attention for that matter few examples are uh, written over here so just pay attention for that matter now if i talk about the first example just see uh, process costing suppose you are a student you can see suppose you are a student you want to become chartered accountant yes suppose you want to become chartered accountant in order to become chartered accountant you have to pass through three processes the process one will be the foundation you will have to appear for foundation then enter and then ca final so this these are known as processes this is process one this is process 2 and this is process 3 you will calculate uh, what is the fees that you will have to pay to the icai what is the fees that will be uh, paid for the coaching classes same goes here same goes here same goes here same goes here then these fees uh, i can say that these fees uh, these fees and these fees once you take the total that is cost of process 1 cost of process b in cost of process 3 you will get the total cost to become chartered accountant what is the total cost that you will have to incur okay that is something that you will get that is bifurcation or uh, uh, stage wise okay now that is something which is one example that was a layman example now let us take the company ka example if we talk about the company you can understand that company suppose company has a cloth company has a cloth company want to make t-shirt or shirt from that cloth what company will do that cloth will be converted into t-shirt for that matter it has to pass through several processes suppose you want to manufacture t-shirt so there is process 1 there is a process 2 there is a process 3 there is a possibility you will take the cloth the first step will be uh, you will go for the cutting the first process will be the cutting department cutting will be done according to whether it is a small size whether it is a medium size or xl or large xl or double xl whatever it is cutting will be done once the cutting is done there is a possibility maybe you will go for a stitching process once that stitching process is done maybe you will go for a branding and all you will uh, attach the logo whether it is whether 
uh, Adidas, Nike, Reebok, Puma, whatever it is, that logo will be attached and then packing will be done. So, I can say that as and when you manufacture any process, there are steps which are involved. I can say there is a step one which is cutting or I can say process one. Both mean same. So, I can say process one, process two, process three or I can say step one, step two, step three. Now, what I am interested is, I am interested in calculating the cost of each process. We will calculate the cost of process one. We will calculate cost of process two. We will calculate cost of process three. At the end, you will get the cost of t-shirt. Sir, where it will help you? Once you get the cost of t-shirt, you will add your profit and then you will decide the selling price. Okay, which will be done on the very first day. So, some estimation will be taken. So, now let us say that your total cost came to 100 rupees. Your total cost came to 100 rupees which is budgeted. You budgeted that your cost will be 100. Now, tell me this was a budget. Now, there is a possibility, whatever you budget, you are not a god. There is a possibility cost can either increase or it can decrease. So, actually, what you have incurred is 120. What you estimated was 100 and you have actually incurred 120. This indicates that you have incurred 20 rupees extra. Now, you want to know who is responsible for this 20 rupees extra cost which is incurred by the company either it can be done by process 1 process 2 or process 3 therefore you will never calculate the cost in totality but the cost is calculated process wise so what was budgeted on very first day it was budgeted that process 1 the cost should be 60 rupees cost of process 2 will be 30 cost of process 3 will be 10 and once you take the total that is 60 plus 30 plus 10 that becomes 100 that is how you estimated a cost of 100 what has actually happened this is something which happens on very first day guys this is something which happens on first day on the last day when the actually production has happened you got the actual data you have here incurred 70 rupees here you have incurred 40 rupees here you have incurred 10 rupees now you can clearly see that whatever 20 rupees the cost which has incurred the cost has increased by 20 rupees which department is responsible for that matter so i can see that p to p3 is not responsible you estimated that the cost will be 10 and you have actually incurred 10 only there is no problem with that department but if you talk about process one you will have the insight that you estimated 60 but that department has incurred 70 rupees it has incurred 10 rupees extra okay sir that is we understood same goes here you estimated 30 and your cost is 40 and then you you, you came to know that yeah the cost has increased by 10 rupees here it means you came to know that which department is responsible for the cost it means i can say that what I am interested in is not calculating this 100 rupees. I need bifurcation also so that just in case the cost increases, I will come to know that which department is responsible. So I am interested in calculating the cost of each department. What I am interested in is I am, cal I am interested in calculating cost of each department or each process. And when you calculate this cost, which is either 60 or 70, when you are calculating the cost of process one that is only known as process costing where the cost of process is being calculated budget was 60 actually 70 whatever calculation was done that step is known as process costing first of all i hope you understood that what we gonna do in this chapter in this chapter we are going to calculate the cost of each process or each step which is involved in production okay why the hell we are doing this just in case the cost increases we will Will come to know that which department is responsible the first step objective is very much clear our objective is to calculate the cost of each process yes sir that objective is very much clear okay uh, if you want to write down one example even though there is no need to write the example still just in case if you want to write it down i will wait for you just in case uh where is Nabi? that was yes for this example hello Hello, uh, please uh, type something whether yes or no. Would you like to write down this example? I will wait for this. Okay, so I will wait for this. Uh, please write it down. Those who are writing. For your understanding, like uh, that's it. It, it. Actually, there is no need to write, but still, if you want to write, uh, I will wait. Please write it down, like clothes, whatever. Two examples or only one example, just for your understanding. So that when you start the chapter, you will come to know, yeah, we need to calculate the cost of this process. Yeah, so please write it down.
you can specify if you want this is budgeted cost this is actual cost oh once you guys are done with writing do let me know so that i can start with the next thing okay Done. Okay, guys. So now, uh, let us start. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, in which ways this PDF will be provided to you, but just in case if you want to write with me, that is okay. Like uh, when the something is taught, you can write. Okay, now, but just uh, if you are writing, then the, there is no need to provide the PDF. Then okay, now, now if I talk about the chapter over you uh, here, because there are segregations, there are different different types of questions will be asked. So based on that, if I divide this chapter based upon the question, I can say that this chapter will be divided into three parts. The first type of question which can be asked over here is this process account without WIP account where there is no WIP then you will make the process account when there is a WIP account will a WIP stock will also be there when we make the process account then there is a third concept which is enter process profit Achha, are you guys done with the departmental profits hello no sorry no. we starting okay fine so that I will teach do not worry that this part uh, okay so in the process profit that way we will do it okay nevertheless now whether you follow whether you go for this process account or this process account what is the difference the difference is it is without WIP it is with a WIP if you talk about without WIP there are six steps which you will have to follow in order to make the process account and in this case also you will have to follow the six steps again there are some notes which will be given to you that is one will be with reference to normal loss and abnormal loss then there will be one will be normal loss and abnormal gain there will be output of P1 output of the last process and there is a costing PNL account so uh, as of now there is no need Need to write this if you want to leave some lines you can leave then I will give you some time I will tell you this concept is done now you guys can write it down okay or what do you prefer or it is preferable that uh, I should wait and you will write it down uh, now only you won't understand anything as of now what is preferable approach now or later so we write it now only. okay okay so I was just asking that whatever you are comfortable with then please write it down leave low write down this thing You will not understand anything just write it down I will explain this later on okay so just write it down don't ask me any question on this okay.
Here we go. Then, okay. If some, okay, fine. Cool. Okay. Uh, Dhruvi, once you are done, just let me know, okay, so that I can uh, go to the next slide. Here we go. Now, uh, the first part will be, as you can see that, uh, here you can see that, the first part will be, So as you can see that the first part will be the first part will be this where the question will be to make the process account but when you make the process account information of WIP will not be given WIP stock then we will solve a question where information of WIP will be given okay as of, as of now the questions which we gonna solve these are quite easy okay the first step ha, but uh, maximum possibility like 80% uh, chances are there 80% that question will come from here uh, or I can say to be uh, here a uh, 70 percent chances from here 20 percent chances from here and 10 percent chances that does not mean that you will not pay attention to this there is a 10 percent possibility that question can come okay there is a 10 percent possibility that question can come from here now let's go uh, here the first part will be as you can see that the first part will be process account with WIP if you want you can give the heading that if this question comes what are those six steps which will be followed by you these are the six steps which you will have to follow as of now you will not understand anything once I start with the questions it will be easier for you to understand okay so the first step will be to record the input on the debit side and all that uh, something okay so for that matter maybe you will have to again uh, still i will ask you uh, for the last time what is the preferable either you can leave one page or you want to write it down now only now is preferable to be it only. okay fine so please write it down process account uh, that is the first type of category first category of the question process account without wip there is no wip Step one will be uh, on the debit side, you will have to record input material. Just write it down. I will explain this later on. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, step 3. Huh, that's why I kept here only. Now you can see that it is visible.
Okay, fine. So one. Um, these are the six steps which we will have to follow. Okay. Okay. I hope everyone is done till here. Okay. Oh, uh, again. Uh, so now it is your choice. So now I will say, please write it down. Otherwise, it it could have been written later on. Okay. Uh, so. So can you just show the last part once again? Hmm. Yes. Fair enough. So uh, we have written till here. Now based on this, uh, we gonna solve few questions and then we will understand because it takes a lot of time uh, to write this much. We can say around 20 minutes were taken uh, for writing this. Okay. So now what we gonna do is we will solve the questions. By the time I solve the questions, I will explain you the things. Then how to make this normal loss account and all. There are five points uh, which can be given as a PDF. You will have to write it down. Okay. As of now, let us start solving the questions and let's start understanding the things. Okay. So uh, this much is written. Uh, now let's start uh, solving the questions. I will explain you the concept uh, with the question only. Okay. So that's it. Done. Okay guys, so let us start with the question and we will understand everything uh, with the help of this question only. So here we go. Let's read the question as to what data is given. You can see JK Limited uh, produces a product AZE. The name of the product is AZE which passes through our two processes. Why is the process 1 and process 2? It means we can see that here whatever is your raw material if you want to convert that into finished product it has to pass through two processes P1 and P2. It means now your objective will be to calculate the cost of process 1 and to calculate the cost of process 2. And if you want to calculate the cost of process 1, you will have to make process 1 account and for process 2, you will have to make process 2 account, P2 account. So you will have to make two accounts that is very much clear. One for process 1, one for process 2. Now let us read ahead. Uh, the output of each process is treated as the raw material of the next process to which it is transferred. Achha, let me tell you. Suppose, suppose if I tell you that uh, you are in foundation. Suppose you are in foundation. Once you clear your foundation, that is the output of foundation becomes input for, I hope you understand that output of foundation becomes input for inter. And output of inter becomes input for CA final. We can see like this. Same goes here also. I have that is understood the so same goes here also if I tell you if I tell you that output of one process becomes input for another process so here it is written whatever is the output of P1 that will become input for P2 okay and at the end it is written output of the second process is transferred to the finished stock so whatever is your second process this is your last process so that becomes finished goods okay there is no other process there are only two processes so let us say that in order to become CA the final process is CA final once you clear this examination now you are a CA that is a final product okay that is your desired product so that should be understood okay now having said that uh, we uh, understood this much data now uh, let's proceed uh, for me, I can say that what was important in this was uh, this. 
what was important for me that there are two processes that is p1 and p2 okay now let's read data is given for p1 and p2 let us read that data what they are saying 2500 units introduced at a cost of rupees 2 lakh so we have uh, introduced how many units uh, 2500 and the cost of which is 2 lakh now suppose 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 you bought cloth which is your raw material obviously in order to convert that into a uh, let us see well how to uh, follow the cutting procedure that is process one is cutting the second one is stitching okay so now cutting process will be followed you have bought the cloth in order to cut it uh, again there is one raw material consumed and then there is a labor and then there is a manufacturing expenses now if i talk about material guys materials are of two type well one will be actual physical units let us say when you manufacture a shirt uh, or a t-shirt whatever it is you require a cloth and once from that cloth, one, once you get this cutting and stitching, then you, maybe you will have to attach the buttons and maybe that stitching ke liye you will require some dhaga and all we can say so you will require some something or uh, you will require like let us say that this buttons in some material for embroidery you will require. Now, when you attach this buttons or some elastics or whatever embroidery material, is there any increase in number of t-shirts? No whatever t-shirts you guys have you just you are just putting some extra material on that okay that is nothing but this material consumed that is extra material other than that t-shirt let us say coloring or whatever it is okay so you can see what is given in units what is given in units is only this so this is a uh, uh, t-shirts we can say uh, and this is something extra buttons and all we can say then there is a labor then there is a uh, manufacturing expenses which is yeah like your rent or uh, electricity whatever it is that is other expenses other than material and labor which will be uh, incurred in the factory okay then there is a normal wastage per unit now there are two types of losses guys one is a normal loss one is a normal loss would you please like to explain as to what is normal and what is abnormal please try exactly the normal is something which is expected in advance abnormal is something which is not expected in advance for example for example if i talk about uh, normal loss the normal loss i can see that if you buy three meter of shirt or three meter of cloth you went to the tailor you told your tailor i need shirt okay so now he gave you the shirt you can see that when that cloth of 3 meter went through cutting procedure in between there was a chindi we can say some scrap material was there okay if you talk about this shirt it has only 2.5 meter of cloth 0.5 meter was a chindi which was there uh, which 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 happened during cutting process now this is something which will happen every time okay this chindi will be there every time it is not possible that chindi will not be there so that is normal loss which is regular loss which is expected in advance it will ha it is a recurring loss it cannot be avoided normal it is going to happen it is bound to happen okay that is a normal loss guys like 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 suppose if you want if you want a uh, sugarcane juice let us see if you want sugar cane juice in that case sugar cane will go inside the machinery and at the end you will get juice but at that time there will be some scrap which will be generated it is not going to happen that if you have 1 kg of sugar cane the weight of juice will be 1 kg no that is not going to happen at the end there will be some scrap which will be generated so you need to understand that that scrap will be generated okay so we have understood that there is a possibility that when you carry out your manufacturing process uh, there will be some normal loss that is bound to happen now sometimes what happens is let us say that your worker is not performing the way he you he should perform let us say there is a possibility or there was a power failure uh, power was going and power was coming and as a result or there was a machinery and uh, if i talk about your machinery repairs and maintenance of machinery was not done okay because of which it was not functioning at a normal level because of that there are there is some extra loss which has happened so or there is like like we can say loss by fire or loss by theft something which is abnormal which is something which is not expected in advance something which has happened you are not expecting that okay that is something which is abnormal loss so we will discuss about that but now if I read, uh, first of all, tell me 
uh, if your input is 25,000, if your input is 25,000, you are expecting a normal loss of 10% that is 2,500. I hope you understand you are expecting output of 22,500. Hello. I hope you understand this. Yes. Fine. If you are expecting output of this much, is it necessary that you will actually get output of this much? No, actual can differ. No, this is expectation and expectation always hurts. So we can see that I was expecting 22,500 but sir, I actually got only 22,000 sir. This is actual output. Now tell me whether there is abnormal gain or there is abnormal loss. Hello. Abnormal loss. Abnormal loss. Now you are expecting 22,500, 22, but you there is output of only 22,000. This is abnormal loss. So one is you can say normal loss. One is your abnormal loss, which was not expected. Theek hai. Aage, a scrap. Whatever is your scrap of normal waste. It means whatever is your scrap, you go to the market and you just sell it. So whatever is your scrap, if you go to the market and if you sell it like chindi, you get 9.9 .9 rupees per unit for that chindi. That fellow will give you that bhangar wala or that scrap wala will give you 9.9. .9. Okay. So that is the data. The same goes for process 2. Okay. The data is given for process 2 also. Required. What they are asking. The first requirement is guys make process 1 account and process 2 account. Okay sir. We will make process 1 account and process 2 account. What is the second requirement of the question? So second requirement says you will have to make abnormal loss or abnormal gain account. As the case may be, I hope you understand in case of process one, guys, you will have to make abnormal loss account and not abnormal gain account. You will have to make abnormal loss account. So first of all, things are very much clear. In case you will have to make one process one account and there is one abnormal loss account that will be made in case of process one account. So first let us focus upon process one. Once we are done with process one, we will switch to process two. Okay, now, when you make the process account, sir, what are the steps and why these are designed like this? So, first of all, even before I introduce you with the steps, you only tell me if you make the process account, there are only two possibilities. Either that item can come on the debit side or on the credit side. Okay, I would like to check your accounting now. I hope you will answer. Give You will give me the right answer. If I talk about this material which is introduced, it will appear on the debit side or credit side. Bolo. Debit side, right? This is the cost that will appear on the debit side if this is your process account. Okay. Again, if I talk about this, your material consumed labor and manufacturing expenses, it will appear where? Debit, debit side. So I can see that this is known as step number one. Step number one is nothing but you will record, you will record the direct material which can be recorded in units column. There are units and the cost is also there. So that is step number one guys. You can see that. What is step number one? So step number one is whatever is your input material that will be recorded in quantity also amount also on the debit side. Yes, sir. Once we are done with that, that material which you have, you will work upon that. So like you will attach some buttons, labor will work, factory rent will come. So other material, labor, overhead, those expenses you will incur. Now by this, we can say so we will incur only expenses. There is no increase in quantity. So nothing will be written in quantity. Only uh, the values will come, which will appear in the amount column. Now, let us do one thing. Let us make the process account. One thing was missing when uh, I have written this step. So, please make that change. And somewhere you write it down when you make the process account. That process account will have 10 lines. We will make process account always for 10 lines. So, let us guys start with this. Let us make the process account now. So, let's make the process account. When you make the process account, it will be made for 10 lines. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Then 
there are two processes the first one will be process one account yeah we'll write particulars quantity amount Okay, so please make this account, process one account, which, which will be prepared for 10 lines. You can mention that it will always be prepared for 10 lines. Okay, so now uh, once the account is done, we can start with the writing process. We will just fill up this account. Okay. done okay so the account has been made now let's just start writing sir what is the step number one so step number one is you need to record you need to record input material on the debit side Chalo, let us record if you talk about this here we go uh, that is 25,000 so let me record that input material to input material 25,000 units, uh, the cost of that is 2 lakh rupees. Okay, sir, this is my cost. That is step number 1. Sir, what is step number 2? Record other expenses. So, what are other expenses? 2, 2, 2. You can see the question. You can see the question. This is step number 2. Material consumed, direct labor and manufacturing expenses. So, again, here I can say material, which is other material, like buttons we can say. This one is cloth, these are buttons, the so material, labor and other manufacturing expenses like rent, power, etc. And the amount of which is 1 lakh 92, 2 lakh 24, 1 lakh 92, 2 lakh 24 and then sir it is 1 lakh 40, okay. Fine. So these expenses are being recorded. Step number one is done. Step number two is done. Okay, you need to buy hard those steps also. Okay. Step one is input materials. Step number two is other expenses. Now, sir, what to do next? Okay. I hope you guys have written till here. Now let us come to the next step. The next step is normal wastage. You can see that whatever is your input, it is this. Here I can see that this is your input. Now, when this input uh, passes through the machinery, there is some normal loss which is there. That normal loss is a 10%. Achha, now, if I ask you, let's see that uh, you have written the steps, but still, as a general thing, we can say normal loss should come on the debit side or a credit side. It will be credited because we are going to subtract it, right? You can see that if my output is 25,000. Uh, the loss will be 10 percent which is 2500 if you subtract so it will be written on the credit side okay so i can see that now the step number three you can see that step number three just in case uh, i would like to give you that idea also on the credit side what you will write as a normal loss sir quantity also amount also how will you get the quantity percentages of input material quantity whatever is your input calculate the percentages given in the question once you get the quantity, your quantity will be multiplied with the scrap value. Again, that will be given in the question. So, please go for that, which is step number 3. Here, please write by normal loss. Okay, sir. Now, when you write normal loss, sir, normal loss is kitna. Normal loss is 10%. It is written specifically. You can just have a look. It is written normal loss is a 10% of input. Uh, let us calculate that in the bracket. Your input is 25,000. 10% of that comes to 2,500. Yes, sir. Now, this 2,500 units will be sold in the market. Now, when you sell it in the market, how much will you get? You will get 9.9 .9 per unit. That is there in the question. Your scrap value of a normal loss per unit. As in when you sell one unit, you will fetch 9.9 .9 rupees. So when you sell 2,500, that is 2,500 into 9.9, .9, sir, that becomes 24750. Uh, this is just written for your understanding. So that just in case you forget, 2,500 into, into your 9.9, .9, you got the value. Okay. 
which is 24750. Now, 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 once you get this, now tell me, when you started this manufacturing process, you were aware that if my input is this much, this will be my loss. Okay, sir. Achha. Now, a few more points will be taken into consideration. Okay, by the time you will understand everything, do not worry. Now, if I ask you one thing, which is cost per unit, you can give a heading here cost per unit it is step number four it is like one over if we have one over uh, so in one over uh, let us say that yeah, this is step number four which is nothing but boundary when i say boundary boundary is nothing but out of your stadium the ball goes out of the stadium so here we are going out of your process account and we need to write one formula that is cost per unit ka formula formula is this total cost minus scrap value divided by total quantity minus a normal loss quantity so please write cost per unit we will understand the logic also do not worry when i say cost per unit it is like total cost minus a scrap value so divided by divided by total quantity minus normal loss quantity nl is written as a normal loss okay so normal loss of quantity now understand what i'm saying is very simple you have incurred or let us see that you have started working on 2500 units yes sir but we already know in advance out of those 2500 uh, 25000 units 2500 these units will be damaged units we are not going to get output same output okay so here i can say input quantity total quantity is 25000 out of 25000 2500 units will damage or it will be a scrap like when you talk about shirt we say that yeah the the final shirt will have only 2.5 meters 0.5 meter is chindi that is what we are doing here that at the end i am going to get output of 22500 which is expected output yeah now in order to get this expected output sir what is the cost that i am incurring i can see that i am incurring this much cost yeah just take the total of this okay uh, for your reference if you want you can just write it down you can just keep that in bracket and you can write it down for your reference that this is your total cost if you want to write down you can just write it down this is your total cost just for your reference if you want to write it down uh, okay it is not a part of solution it is for your understanding okay it is your total cost 2 lakh uh, plus 1 lakh 92 thousand uh, plus 2 lakh 24 thousand plus 1 lakh 40 thousand that becomes 7 lakh 50 thousand that becomes a 7 lakh 50 thousand 56 thousand sorry 7 lakh 56 thousand now my question to you is am i actually incurring 7 lakh 50 7 lakh 56 thousand to get output of 22,500 or there is something we are recovering something from this like let us say that for one shot I hope you understand that 3 meter cloth is used uh, 0.5 meter is a scrap you're gonna get output of 2.5 meter which is one shot ka. but suppose 3 meters cloth is bought some material cost is incurred some labor cost is incurred total cost is 500 from chindi you are going to 150 rupees i hope you will understand your cost will be 450 only because some amount has been recovered something has been recovered from that selling of scrap okay we have recovered something so here also i can say that this is something which went out of my pocket and i have recovered how much i have recovered 24750 so if i have recovered 24750 7,56,000 minus 24750 so my net cost will be 731250 731250 divided by 22500 and my cost will be 32.5 per unit it means as and when i produce one unit my normal cost of production this is known as normal cpu uh, if you want to write down this is normal cost per unit normal cpu and not actual CPU CPU is nothing but cost per unit okay so 
this is something which you have got is a normal CPU and not actual CPU. Sir, so what is this? I did not get this. Wait, I will teach you. Do not worry. Okay, whatever I have written, do not worry. I will teach you this. Just write it down. We are not done with this question. Okay, I am in the process only. Okay. So now I hope, uh, first of all, I hope you understood that this your cost will be 32.5 per unit as in when you manufacture your cost will be 32.5 per unit. Tell me how many units you have manufactured. Hello, this was expected. 22,000 fine. This was expected. How many units you have manufactured? Are you 22,000. Why no one is saying that? I hope you are getting it. Hello. Question, it is given in the question, na? actual output is, output in units is 22,000. So now the step number 5, if I talk about this, here we go, this is we have our uh, step which is step number 5, here you will write actual output which is transferred to the next process, quantity will be given in the question, quantity will be given in the question, you will have to multiply with the CPU, uh, this will be done with the last process, as of now you will write actual uh, output transferred to the next process. So please write down here the next step. You will have a habit, do not worry. Once we prepare n number of accounts, you will be habituated with this. Because this is for the first time, maybe it is a bit complicated for you. Okay, bye. Actual output transferred to process 2. We have transferred how many units sir? 22,000 units sir. And sir, every unit has a cost. What is my cost of manufacturing? As in when I manufacture 32.1 unit, you incur 32.5. So if you have produced 22,000 units, your cost of manufacturing will be 7,15,000. Right, this is your step number 5. Again, I will repeat this was step number 1. This was step number 2, which is uh, uh, other expenses. Step number 3 was normal loss. Step number 4 was the cost per unit. Step number 5 was uh, actual output. Now, what is the last step, sir, which is given in the question? The last step which is given in the question is uh, close the process account. Balancing figure can either be on the debit side or credit side. If it is on the debit side, this is known as abnormal gain. If it is on the credit side, that will be known as abnormal loss. Let us close the process account. You should always close quantity column first. So if I take the total 25,000, 25,000, you will understand 25,000 minus 22,500 minus 22,000. Yeah, you will have a balance of 500 over here. This will be known as by abnormal loss. Okay, again. Uh, you don't have to take this total, okay? You all, you already have this answer. What is the total of this debit side? You already have this answer. Can you, can anyone please tell me what will be this total? I hope you understand. That will be seven lakh fifty. Exactly. So seven lakh fifty six thousand. We have that here in the formula. Seven lakh fifty six minus two four seven five zero minus seven lakh fifteen thousand. Okay. So we have a loss of this much in value. This is balancing figure. Whatever is your balancing figure, you should keep that in bracket. So as we have written in the steps that if the balancing figure on the credit side, if you get the balancing figure on the credit side, sir, that is known as abnormal loss. That is what we have got. Okay. Now, once you get this, once you get this, which is your abnormal loss, abnormal loss of this. Achha, can anyone please tell me, sir, uh, this value you can get by some different method rather than taking this as a balancing figure sir even if you do like this you will get this answer please I want to 500 into 32.5 because what will you say as in when you manufacture one unit your cost is 32.5 right now these are units which are scrapped units which you are not expecting this is a damage which was not expected let us say loss by fire you have lost 500 units now what is the loss which you have incurred for manufacturing one unit you incur 32.5 rupees sir so if this many units you have lost what is your loss it will be 32.5 into 500 you can get like this also but i will always take this as a balancing figure or the another way is 500 into cpu okay now first of all what is the logic sir why this is known as abnormal loss i explained you what we did 25000 minus this what we did is, uh, we said ki what was my expected output, so what was my expected output, 22,000 this. This was expected output. 
22,500. So what is my actual output? It is 22,000. You can see that I was expecting 22,500. I have got only 22,000. It means 500 is something which is my abnormal loss, which was not expected in advance. Okay. So I hope you understand what is the logic. Why I told that as an abnormal loss. That logic has been explained. It is not like I just told you that this is a loss. No. I gave you the logic also. Now. Now the one question should arise in your mind. One question should arise in your mind. What you can tell me is. I hope you understand please. Uh, whether it should be done or not. First of all. Tell me this. Whether. Can you recover abnormal loss from your customer. Yes or no. Can you recover abnormal loss from your customer. No. no, you cannot. Like, suppose if I tell you like this, that uh, the class, uh, in the class there is a loss by fire. Same example which I generally take. And uh, there is a loss of 5 lakh rupees which class has incurred. Now what class is thinking? Now let us say that the students will take the admissions and let us say there are five, uh, 500 students who will take the admissions. So what we will do is 5 lakh divided by 500. Uh, or let us say there are only 50 students let us say so 5 lakh divided by 50 every student we will see that this is your normal fees which you you pay plus because there was a loss by fire you will have to pay 10,000 extra and this will be your total fees karke. you will say I don't want to join your class in that case that loss by fire was because of your maybe you have not paid the attention that was you are concerned we are not concerned with that okay whatever service we are getting we will pay that normal fee to you that abnormal loss we will not pay you for that matter it means I can say that abnormal loss cannot be recovered from the customer please understand that it is the loss of a businessman it cannot be recovered from the customer so same way I can say that whatever units uh, these are abnormal units you cannot recover this loss from the customer now I will tell you one thing someone can tell me like this please understand this and now please understand this you have incurred 756,000 let me give you some idea please listen to this very carefully your input was 25,000 your input was 25,000 your output is uh, 22,000 we have lost 3,000 units this is loss now I am giving you just some uh, I am giving you some different approach so there were 25,000 which is my input which is actual input which is actual output so I can say there is an actual loss of 300 this is actual loss there is an actual loss of 300 out of this 3000 ka loss 3000 ka loss I was expecting kitna loss 2500 which was normal I was expecting ye to hota hi hai it is a regular loss sir and this 500 is extra which is a abnormal loss so that is the bifurcation okay uh, now 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 tell me if you go to the scrap wala if you uh, first of all when this was your input when this was your input uh, how much uh, expense that you have incurred in order to convert this input into output what is the cost total cost that you guys have incurred I can say that you have incurred this total cost which is the total which is 756,000 you have incurred okay on this 25,000 units 756,000 is your total cost which you guys have incurred now if I tell you that your scrap value is 9.9 .9, here also you will get 9.9 .9 now I hope you understand even though it is abnormal loss but at the end it is a loss now these are scrap units you can sell this in the market now see for a scrap wala or for a bhangar wala it does not matter whether you have expected this loss or not for him it is a chindi he will pay you for that it is a damage unit he will give you that scrap value for that matter okay so you should understand that whether it is a normal loss or whether it is an abnormal loss you take it to the scrap wala you take it to the bhangar wala and he will give you 9.9 .9 rupees he doesn't know whether it is normal or abnormal it is a scrap unit that's it it is a chindi he will give you the amount it is a damage unit okay now here you will give 2500 into 9.9 .9. so you gonna receive 24750 Here you can receive 500 into 9.9. .9. So you're gonna receive 4950. What is the total scrap that will be generated? 29,700. Tell me if I do like this, I have I have incurred a total cost of 756,000. From that I have recovered 20, 29,700. And what was my input? 25,000. And the total loss is 3,000. See what I have done. I have subtracted 3000 here 
and I have taken the scrap value of 3000 over here. What will happen? You will get one answer. 756,000 minus 29,700. 756,000 minus 29,700. You're gonna get 726300 divided by. You have got 23,000 units. Sorry, you have got 22,000 units. So, in order to get 22,000 units, you have incurred this much cost. Your answer will be 33 point something. Are, are you getting it first of all? Hello, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now my question is, my question is, why this is wrong? Please answer. I am saying this is wrong, but why this is wrong? I am asking you the reason. Please. This is your actual cost per unit. If you understand this, this is your actual cost per unit. You have actually incurred this much cost. This is also your actual output. This is your actual output. This because is... you cannot take abnormal loss from the customers, right? Exactly. When you are doing this, what you are doing it, what you are doing is actually you are saying, sir, I have incurred this much cost and I have got this many units. Whether these are normal, abnormal, it does not matter. You are saying, sir, these are the units I have got. So you are saying actually, actually like this, if there is a loss by fire, so there is some damage so you are saying this is my loss this is my actual loss that's it i will recover it from the customer this is the actual loss but now understand if in a normal circumstances if in normal circumstances if you produce one unit the cost of that is this 32.5 but because something went wrong let us say that 500 units it was lost by fire or some any other reason but that is abnormal that is given in the question even though reason is not given but it is specified it is abnormal now in this case if these units are abnormal units and if you take into consideration here that those units also what is happening is your cpu has increased you can see your normal cpu was 32.5 now your actual cpu is 32 33 33 now you will say this is my cost 33 let us say this is the only cost then you will add your profit then selling price will you will get selling price and this will be recovered from the customer what you are doing is when you are saying your cost per unit is 33 you are recovering indirect cost also you are recovering abnormal loss also from the customer i hope you are getting this when you are saying like this that my cpu is 33 you are recovering abnormal also, abnormal loss also from the customer which cannot be done it should not be done it is your loss you will suffer that hello First of all, what I want to convey is why I have not taken 3000, even though actual loss is 3000, I have taken only 2500 because that loss of 500 is abnormal which cannot be recovered from the customer. So, while calculating CPU, because cost will be recovered from the customer, cost plus profit, it will become selling price. But this 500 car loss cannot be recovered, so I have not taken that into consideration. Hello everyone, please at least two or three people please say yes, uh, otherwise say no, I will explain that again just in case you have a doubt. Understood. Fair enough, so you got the point why we have not so. Now I hope you understand this, this is your normal. In normal circumstances when you produce a product, this is the cost. Huh. Actual can differ, actual CPU can differ because there can be something abnormal, something uh, abnormal loss can happen. So that is something which cannot be recovered from the customer abnormal. I think if I tell you, uh, I think you have done something like this in your uh, consignment also, if you remember uh, in foundation. Hello. Yes, sir. Like when you calculate the cost, you do like this. It, it was done vertically. Uh, just in case, if I want to give you the idea, you used to do vertically, like uh, maybe sir must have ta taught you like this. I don't exactly have the idea. You, you can see like this 25,000 units I have for that matter. I have incurred 7,56,000 normal loss is 2500 from that uh, i will get let us say 24750 then you will uh, get one answer which is this uh, this is like this you can see that 22, 22500 and subtraction of this you will get 731250 then what you will say then you have a uh, abnormal loss also when you write abnormal loss of 500 tell me while writing this you you write uh, amount also or you ignore the amount when you write this if you uh, just remember something like this no you don't have any idea Achha, to forget it any consignment you used to do something like this i don't exactly know whether that was the format or some other format was used it was just, yes sir it was like this only 
हाँ सो बिकॉज दैट इज अब नॉर्मल तो यू विल कैलकुलेट सी पी यू ओवर हियर ओके यहाँ पे दैट इज वॉट वी हैव डन बट विद द फॉर्मूला बिकॉज इंस्टीट्यूट डज लाइक दैट सो आई एम नॉट गोइंग फॉर दिस टेबल इंस्टेड वी आर गोइंग फॉर अ फॉर्मूला आई होप दैट इज कन्वेड ओके प्लीज इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट ना यू कैन कम अप विद दिस बिकॉज इट इज ऑल लॉजिकल सो इफ समथिंग कम्स इन योर माइंड इफ समथिंग पॉप अप्स इन योर माइंड सर एज अ बिजनेस मैन नो दिस इज रॉन्ग यू कैन टेल मी सर एज अ बिजनेस मैन दिस इज नॉट राइट इट शुड बी डन लाइक दिस तो यू कैन टेल मी ओके बिकॉज कॉस्टिंग इज ऑल अबाउट कंसेप्ट ओके We are just trying to बोलो please बोलो so while calculating the amount of normal loss why are we multiplying two thousand five hundred with nine point nine and not the uh, input material का CPU amount oh uh, that is the answer which here it is like it is like you want to say two lakh divided by twenty five thousand that is eight rupees right uh, yes understand this this was a raw material right you worked upon that some extra material has been added then some labor has uh, then labor were there who has worked and then so some extra material has been added on that and there were some other expenses also which were incurred right yes so in that case see uh, i can tell you like this ki suppose there is one cloth which is there 3 meter cloth and from 3 meter cloth let us say one t-shirt is made a uh, one t-shirt Uh, one t-shirt is made it is a loss it is a damage unit like if you have 25000 meter or uh, 20000 t-shirts if you work upon that 22500 t-shirts are like damage units and uh, 22500 are good units generally this happens now these damage units can be sold at a scrap because there is some damage in this i hope you understand because on this 25000 units worker has also worked so you will get some higher value now see this is what this is something which is paid by whom tell me 9.9 is paid by whom scrap wala person bhangar ka value hai ye right yes sir so what will you recover when you sell it in the market you will not recover this now what you recover is this bhangar ka value which will be there still i did not get your question please again uh, you can repeat just in case you are not satisfied with the answer which i gave So I am satisfied. Uh, I had asked the same question, and you are clear. Satisfied. Fine. So just in case you have a doubt, you can ask me again. Okay. Fine. So that is done. So now we are done with this. I hope the six steps are clear. Uh, we are. I am investing too much time on the first question so that I can wrap up for the second question. Okay. So the step number one, input. Step number two, sir. Other expenses. Step number three, normal loss. Step number four, formula. Formula. Step number four, boundary. go out of the process account then step number 5 is actual output step number 6 close the account balance can be on the debit or credit side and once six balls are done over it is over like one one over is done same way the process account is done now go for the second over that is a second process account now i hope you understand this output of process 1 becomes input for the second process but before that i will have to make two accounts because if you read the question it was specifically mentioned that guys we have to make process 1 account then abnormal gain or loss account as the case may be in this case because there is a abnormal loss which account will be prepared sir abnormal loss account will be prepared so let us do one thing let us make abnormal loss account okay before we make the abnormal loss account we have to make normal loss account also okay we will make two accounts one is a normal loss account and the one is abnormal loss account okay So, so for both the processes, we'll have to make two separate uh, abnormal loss accounts. we will solve question you will understand that yeah but you can combine the, see abnormal loss process 1 has abnormal loss process 2 has abnormal loss you can combine those account there is no problem uh, uh, there is no uh, tension with that but i keep a practice uh, that i keep a separate account for each process you want if there is abnormal loss also in the process 2 you can combine that but uh, i will generally make separate accounts you can combine if the abnormal loss is there in the both accounts okay okay 
fine now we're gonna make a normal loss and abnormal loss account so now let's make the normal loss and abnormal loss account here we go a number of lines if I talk about a particular quantity because it is first question we will write this neatly after that if want you want you can avoid this wala part okay so because it is first question we will write it thoda sa neatly okay now a normal loss if I talk about one two three you can leave three lines in between sorry okay so that is how your account will look like this is normal loss again particulars quantity amount quantity amount particulars quantity amount particulars quantity amount ठीक है Once you are done with normally, we will make abnormal loss account. So this one is normal loss account. Then there is abnormal loss account. Okay, just let me know once it is done. So we can just uh, complete these accounts. Okay. okay guys so now uh, let us go for the next part now when we talk about this accounts the one thing which is very much clear is uh, yeah right please Okay, fine. Now, if you talk about this, uh, can you just tell me, sir, uh, the step one will be like this, sir. You have not written that, but you can tell me, sir, step one will be this. Second effect, guys, second effect. Now, if the normal loss account is appearing here, normal loss is appearing here. So, in normal loss account, effect will come on the debit side or a credit side. Debit side. Debit side. And what will you write? Two, two, two. What? Two process one account. Right, so please write it down to process one account. Yeah, you can copy that 2500 units. Uh, you will get a 24750. Okay, same you will copy abnormal loss account also. You can see 500 units which are there, sir. And and yeah, 16250 that is the cost which we have incurred on th that, those units. This is again process one. Yeah. So the step number one will be step number one will be you just need to copy you just need to give the second effect. Okay, just in case you want to see the steps. Yeah, uh, I will go through steps also I will give you that idea give the second effect when you give the second effect. That is the combination of normal loss and abnormal loss if there is a combination of normal loss and abnormal loss normal loss debit side you will write process account to process account abnormal loss again on the debit side you will write two process account. So we are done with step number one. Now whatever whatever scrap we have what will you do with the scrap sir go to the market and just sell it off when you sell it what will you get sir money you will receive money that is by cash bank so here you can write by cash bank you are selling the scrap in the market so you're gonna receive the money cash bank yeah now be careful with this now if you sell 2500 units if you sell 2500 units what is your scrap value sir 2500 into 9.9 .9, sir every unit you will receive 9.9 .9 rupees so 2500 into 9.9 .9, you're gonna receive 24750 it will always a tally no need to worry no need to worry it will tally okay sir no need to worry about this you just write that same amount on the credit side and you can take the two two now what is what is important is your abnormal loss account now just think about it 
these are scrapped units on this you have incurred this cost this cost is incurred at the rate of 32.5 now when you select in the market please be very careful with this 500 units you have as abnormal units if you select in the market how much amount you will receive whether you will receive 32.5 or you will receive 9.9 I hope you understand you will get 9.9 .9. if these are these are not good units okay these are bad units these are scrap units that Bhangarwala will say whether it is normal loss or whether it is abnormal loss it doesn't matter and then it is a scrap and I will give you the scrap value whether you are expecting the scrap or not that does not matter to me for me it is just a scrap your expectation was what that is not a concern for me for me it is a scrap I will give you scrap kya bhao and scrap ka, scrap ka bhao or scrap ka price is 9.9 .9. so if you sell this 500 units what you're gonna receive is 4950 now understand now understand 500 units came it went we have sold it we have incurred this much cost 16250 but out of 16250 you need to understand we have recovered 4950 we have recovered if we have recovered 4950 sir what something which we haven't recovered is your balancing figure sir 11300 this is something which we haven't recovered this is our loss and whatever is our loss where will you transfer this pnl account and because we are in costing we not we don't say pnl account just to differentiate we say costing pnl account so it will be transferred to costing pnl account Debit all expenses and losses. So in PNL account, you can see there is a loss of eleven thousand three hundred. Loss is not uh, this because out of this eleven thousand three hundred has been recovered. Sorry, uh, four nine uh, five zero has been recovered. So the net loss is eleven thousand three hundred, which will be appearing on the debit side of your costing PNL account. I hope that is done. You understood the point. Okay, now let us refer the steps so that you will have that idea. The steps can be written later on. Okay, uh, can we just, uh, okay, I hope that, that that much is done. Now, yes, yeah. huh. now let us go for the steps. Step number two, first step was to give the second effect, sir. What is the second step? Sale the scrap, that is quantity into scrap value. Whatever is your quantity, just multiply by scrap value. Same goes here also. Credit side, credit side. Buy cash bank, buy cash bank. So that was easy. So everything is written in such a way that even if you refer these notes after two, three months, you will be able to recapture everything. You can recall everything. Okay. Now, what was the third step? Close the respective accounts. If you close normal loss, sir, it will tally. No need to worry. But if you close abnormal loss account, balancing figure on the credit side will be transferred to costing PNL account. Yes, sir. Everything is written in the crystal clear manner. Okay. Now, acha, 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 acha. If I tell you, sir, 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 give me some shortcut. How can you get this 11,300? Can you give me one shortcut, sir? Do like this, you will get it directly. Why the hell you are making this account? Go for the shortcut, please, from your side. 11,300, you can get it in a shortcut way. Sir, 32.5 minus 9.9 and multiplied by 5. Achha, that is cost minus scrap value into quantity you can see that she is saying that she you, you want to say like this that on one unit we have incurred this much cost because of one unit we have suffered this much loss but this is not the loss which we have actually suffered why sir because if you sell it in the market you are going to get 9.9 .9, now so this the net cost will be this 32.5 you have incurred on one unit out of that you will from that you will recover 9.9 .9, so your net cost is 22.6 and for how many units sir 500 are abnormal units so into 500 and yeah 11,300 you can get this in a shortcut way also so please write a shortcut also that amount of transfer to costing PNL what is the shortcut for that matter this is the shortcut and uh, once you are done just yeah uh, that will be done now we can go for the next process now your confidence should increase because now we are making the process account for the second time so your confidence should increase a little bit okay and in the next the next question which we will solve you will be able to solve at your end but as of now thoda sa confidence little bit increase should be there in your confidence okay now guys uh, let us go for the process to account now first of all uh, okay bhavika Tell me, process to account will be prepared for how many lines, Bhavika? Second line. 
एग्जैक्टली तो चलो लेट एस मेक द प्रोसेस टू अकाउंट फॉर टेन लाइन ओके गो लेट्स मेक द काउंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन ओके now i will ask you individually so that i will have idea that you are getting it whatever we are solving you are getting that so let us start okay uh, there are some steps which will be quite the first step uh, i would like to see uh, arpit a uh, first step what will be your first step in this account what will you fill up first will transfer the quantity and amount from process one exactly whatever is the output of earlier process please understand it is transferred to the process two so that is input for the earlier process आउटपुट एक्चुअल आउटपुट ट्रांसफर्ड तो यहां पे यू कैन राइट टू इनपुट फ्रॉम प्रोसेस वन और पी वन यू कैन राइट दैट प्रोसेस वन क्या यू यू हैव गॉट ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड यूनिट एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दैट इज थर्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव दैट इज सेवन लैक फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड यस सर now you can just go for the next that is your step number वन is done that is the output from the earlier process it is input now uh uh deep what will you do next after this just refer the question and tell me what next material cost and all of that uh where will you record this three debit or debit credit side. debit yeah. side so let's go for that material labor and manufacturing expenses it will be written on the debit side okay so here we go two Two, two. Material, labor, manufacturing expenses. Value, sir. Value that is ninety six thousand zero. That is ninety six thousand twenty. Then it is one twenty eight sixty. One lakh twenty eight thousand. And yeah, you have your sixty thousand ka value. Okay. Now, sir. Step number one, input. Step number two, other expenses done, sir. Step number three, ah, uh, Jansi. Hello, Jansi. I hope you are there. Yes, sir. Fine. Step number three, what will you do? Sir, ah, uh, I'm not ready. Hello. Yes, sir. Now you. Huh. I asked that. Ah, uh, what is step? Ah, uh, step number three. What will you do after this? The normal loss. Okay. Can you just tell me the quantity? Ah, uh, twenty-two thousand. Let me check. Two thousand two hundred, right? Percent. Because it is ten. Huh. So. So ten percent. Huh. Two thousand two hundred. So please, that is ten percent of input. So I can say twenty-two thousand. Into ten percent, and that becomes a two thousand two hundred. So you will sell two thousand two hundred units in the market. When you sell these units, what is the value that we will receive? Khushi Shah, please tell me what is the value that you will receive. So twenty thousand into eight point six. Two thousand two that becomes 18920 18920 now step number 1 is done 2 is done 3 is done uh, now krish if possible it is little bit difficult but still if possible please tell me cpu calculate in rough then we will write in fair 
अर्पित यू शुड हैव टेक्स्टेड इन डी एम अदर देन इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट एवरी वन ओके फाइन हाँ अदर अभी ठीक है वो क्या बोले ठीक है निशी राइट ओके विधान ओके एग्जैक्टली ओके नाउ लेट एस कैलकुलेट द सीपीयू देर इज नो नीड टू राइट द फॉर्मूला अगेन वाई इट इज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न so no need to write it again okay in exam also write it only for the first process okay now examiner will come to know that you are aware of the formula so no need to write that formula again in the second process okay so let's just take the amount just take the total of this that is 7 lakh 15000 plus 96020 plus 1 lakh 28000 plus 60000 that is 9990920 what is your scrap value 18920 so first amount amount debit credit minus now quantity sir quantity that is again this debit credit minus we will say sir 22000 is my input uh, out of that i am expecting a loss of 2200 so 9990020 minus 18920 that becomes uh, 980100 this is the cost i am incurring for how many units sir uh, that is 22000 minus 2200 that is 19800 Okay, what is my CPU? Nine eight zero one double zero one nine nine nine. That is forty nine point five per unit. Everyone, yeah. This will be my CPU. Uh, that is as and when I make one unit, normally I incur forty nine point five in normal circumstances. This is this will be my CPU. Okay, so now now what to do? Now the next step will be to record the actual output. Acha, I will uh, go for the step that is the actual output will be recorded. And sir, actual output that is step number five. It is recorded on the credit side. So here we go by actual output. Where will you transfer? This is this is last process. So actual output transferred to. You don't write next process. It is a last process. Output transfer to finished goods. Please be very careful. Be very careful with this. This is the last process that output will be transferred to finished goods. Sir, sir how many units? Sir, twenty thousand units. Sir, sir, what is my CPU? Forty nine point five. So twenty thousand units you have produced. Every unit cost you rupees forty nine point five. So your cost is nine lakh ninety thousand. Yes, sir. Now. Even before you close the process account, can you just tell me whether there is abnormal gain or abnormal loss? Abnormal gain. No. Abnormal gain. Sir, how did I come to know? Very simple. I was expecting output. This is expected output. Please, this is expected output. I was expecting nineteen thousand eight hundred. That is input minus normal loss. I was expecting nineteen thousand eight hundred. But sir, I actually got twenty thousand. I am very happy. I have got more than what I have expected. I expected nineteen eight hundred. I got twenty thousand. I can see that, sir, two hundred extra units. It means two hundred is my abnormal gain. But you don't have to think like this. The way I have designed these steps, it will automatically take care of this fact. It will automatically take care of this fact. You don't have to think logically. You just close the quantity column, which is the last step, sixth step. That becomes twenty two. Oh, oh, sorry, twenty-two thousand two hundred. Twenty-two thousand two hundred. Subtract twenty-two thousand two hundred minus twenty-two thousand. Automatically, because you get balance on here debit side, you will see that this is abnormal gain. I explained you logically also. This is abnormal gain. Acha sir. Either you can do like this, which is two hundred into forty-nine point five. Or I have a habit. I generally take this as a balancing figure. So one eight nine two zero plus nine 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 double zero double zero. Okay, that is one double zero eight nine two zero one double zero eight nine two zero. I already know the total. 
just subtract this this and this will be subtracted this and this and you have 9900 with you yes sir okay that is where my answer is which is 209900 yes sir cross check you can do 200 there is no need to cross check actually but still uh, 200 into this 49.5 still you will get that 9900 okay now sir let us go for the accounts now you will make normal loss and abnormal loss abnormal loss sorry sorry abnormal gain account it is very difficult generally what happens even when i was a student I was like uh, I was scared of this account of normal loss account it is sort of difficult it is little bit difficult you will forget the logic okay it is difficult as compared to abnormal loss preparation of abnormal gain account is quite difficult okay let us understand the procedure let's make the accounts again uh, three three lines each okay so you need to make abnormal loss and abnormal gain account uh. So normal loss and abnormal gain, right? So normal loss and abnormal gain, huh? my mistake, if I said something else. Hmm. Once we are done with this question, remind me about break, okay? So please make normal loss and abnormal gain account. Sir, if the final answer is wrong, then uh, how many marks? Final answer in the sense which one? This one? Like the amount. See, th gain. they will give you stepwise mark. That is one thing. Achha, in case this account, you are saying. No, in that uh, upper wala process account, this one. Yeah. Uh, they will deduct uh, if the question is of a 10 marks, they will deduct 2 marks for that matter. No need to worry. They give you stepwise marks. Okay. okay. But we yeah. should uh, uh, try that. That should uh, error should not be there. Okay. Uh, fine. Sir. Bolo. Achha. So why do why do we prepare normal loss account? Uh, uh, you can ask this question also then why do we prepare abnormal loss? Achha, wait for this let me finish this then you can ask me that question again just in case you have a doubt for that matter then yes. fine no no uh, normal loss is again you even if you do not prepare that is okay but just to explain the logic of abnormal gain i am preparing that account now understand first of all then that doubt can be maybe reply after once we are done with this now understand first of all what is the step number one we everyone know that so step number one is uh, give a second effect uh, give a second effect uh, normal loss is appearing on the credit side uh, come to the debit side uh, to process uh, to Two process two sir. How many units? Two thousand two hundred. And after two thousand two hundred, what is the value? One eight nine two zero. Now, 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 abnormal gain is appearing on the debit side. So if you give the second effect, it will come on the credit side. Please remember this. So here we go. By process two. Yes, sir. That is two hundred units. The value is 9,900. Okay. Now, having done this, once we are done with this, this is the first step, which is very easy. Everyone will be able to do it. It is very easy step. Achha, let us check what we have written in our PDF. Okay. With reference to these steps. So, let me have the idea here. There is a possibility that there will be a combination of normal loss and abnormal gain. If that is the combination, first step is constant. That is give the second effect. Normal loss will appear on the debit side and abnormal gain will appear on the credit side when you give that second effect. Yeah, by process and two process that you will write. Okay, now again, same step. In here also you sold the scrap. You can see that you sold the scrap. That is what we will do here also. Sale of scrap. That will be done here also. So, sell the scrap. When you sell the scrap, now it is very important. Now it is very important. By cash bank when you write by cash bank when you write 
very very important what will you write for by cash bank how many units uh, 2200 you will say i will say no you cannot write 2200 sir now just think about it why it cannot be written nishi right answer exactly can you explain nishi why 2000 and we are having a gain of 200 uh, like on 200 quantities so when we receive money from cash bank uh, we have the net like it will become 2000 like 2200 minus 200 will be 2000 exactly so you want to say that because there is a gain like you want to say like this because there is abnormal gain we, we, we i generally like, write like this a and g abnormal gain that is the abbreviation so because there is abnormal gain of 200 you you can sell only 2000 right Yes. Sir. Okay. Now let us understand this logically. Now let us understand this logically. Okay. Now, uh, please understand this. There is a relationship of input and output. There is a relationship of input and output. Now, what was my input in this question? In process to account, you can see that my input is twenty two thousand and my output is twenty thousand. My input is twenty two thousand and my output is twenty thousand. I will write this. This is actual input 22,000. What is my actual output? It is 20,000. Sir, what is my actual loss? Actual loss I'm talking about. Actual loss is 2,000. This is actual loss. Tell me, this is actual loss. Now, if you visit your Bhangarwala, can you sell 2,200 units? This is the question. Can you sell 2,200 units? No. You have only 2000 in your go down, sir. How can you sell 2200? You don't have those many units. See, I can see like this. What was normal loss was expected was this. This was normal loss which was expected. But, sir, your loss is not 2200. Your loss is only 2000. Why, sir? Because there is a gain of this. This is abnormal gain. So now if I tell you, you can sell it in the market and you can get uh, now whatever is your scrap value that is 8.6. Okay, I hope you understand this. This is the value you will receive. You are expecting 2200 ka loss. But sir, actual loss is only 2000. So you can sell only 2000 units in the market. Why you can sell only 2000? Because there is a gain of 200. These are good units. These won't be sold to the Bhangarwala. These will be, we will sell these units to the customer. As a good unit, this scrap will be sold to the Bhangarwala at a price of Rs. 8.6. Please understand this. So now, when I say here cash bank, so those 2200 units will be divided into two parts. You can see 2000 is something which can be uh, sold because that is a scrap and these 200 units are good units. That is known as abnormal gain. Just uh, read this. When you write here, this is very important by cash bank and by abnormal gain. You can see this normal loss and what is written minus abnormal gain units. It means when you write here, it will be like this normal loss is kitna. Normal loss is 2200 units. You will subtract abnormal gain units 200. These are 200. So that will be subtracted. You were expecting this, but you have a gain of 200. So your net loss is only 2000, which can be sold in the market. Now, so first of all, this much is clear that uh, by cash bank and by abnormal loss. Now, abnormal gain appearing in the normal loss account will be transferred on the debit side of the abnormal gain account. Achha, what is this written? Now, if I write here abnormal gain, I hope you understand what will be the second effect. It will be transferred over here to normal loss. That is the second effect which will be given. Please understand, you might have some doubts. We will clarify those doubts. Now, when you sell it in the market, sir, what is the scrap value? The scrap value which is given in the question is 8.6 in the process to account. Process to account, the scrap value is 8.6. It can be seen here. So, let us do one thing. Let's just write. Here, I can say it is 2000 into 8.6. Here, it will be 200 into 8.6. Just write it down. So, 2200 units. 18920 2200 
I hope this is clear. This is the loss which can be sold to the bhangar wala. So he gonna give you this much amount for two thousand only because you have only two thousand ka scrap. Why you have only two thousand ka scrap? Because two hundred units are good units. So now that is the second effect. That is abnormal gain. Now, when you close your abnormal gain account, again there is a two hundred units. There is a two hundred units. It tallies nine thousand nine hundred, nine thousand nine hundred. Difference is. Eight one eight zero, which is a balancing figure that will be transferred to costing P and L on the credit side because it is a gain. I am not done yet. I need to explain the logic of this. Okay, I am not done yet. We are just completed the account, but logic is still pending. So do not worry. I will explain each and everything. Okay, so do not worry. And just in case you have a doubt, you can ask me also. Yes, sir. Please explain this. Okay. Now let us understand this. Why this account is like this? Let me teach you something. Okay, now, first of all, first of all, I would like to give you some idea. Ah, uh, with reference to what, sir? With reference to ah, uh, this. क्या बोलते हैं? That is your uh, opportunity cost. Do we have any idea what is opportunity cost? Hello, everyone. Yes, sir. It's the it's the quantity of a commodity X that is sacrificed to produce commodity Y by diverting resources to commodity Y. Exactly. Whatever definition you give, that is the exact definition which is there. But if I simplify that, uh, I can say that guys, when the choice is mutually exclusive, you have two options. Option number one. option number 2 and the choice is mutually exclusive it means either you can go for option number 1 or option number 2 you cannot go for both options right like when you marry let us say in a marriage we, you can either marry with one person only so if you marry with one first person that is a you will lose an opportunity to marry with b okay or whatever your relationships whatever you say or let us say let's not take that example but you understand the thing let us say you want to go for a mobile phone You want only one mobile phone. So in that case, if you buy this mobile phone, you have two options with you. Either let us say One Plus or Samsung, or let us say that Apple, whatever you say. So if you go for that one option, you will lose an opportunity to go for that second option. That is known as your opportunity cost. Let me give you one basic sa example, which you will remember for your lifetime, like uh, which will be remembered for your lifetime. But uh, in your, you will not forget only that. Remember this. Suppose once you become a chartered accountant, uh, you will get the job. But because of COVID situations, now we are not getting job. So let us say Modi ji, I am not against or in favor of Modi ji. Okay, I don't care what happens in politics. Okay, so now, but I am just giving you one example. Let us say Modi ji has announced one yojana that. Uh, जो भी jobless people है ना, for jobless people we are giving some security. रोजगार योजना सम योजना टाइप समथिंग इज देयर एंड अंडर दैट दे आर सींग दोज पीपल हु हैव अ सी ए डिग्री एंड दे आर जॉब लेस मिनिमम टेन थाउजेंड पर मंथ विल बी क्रेडिटेड इन देयर अकाउंट मिनिमम टेन थाउजेंड पर मंथ विल बी क्रेडिटेड इन देयर अकाउंट लेट से दैट इज द योजना विच इज देयर Now, even if you are sitting at home, you are sitting idle because you have a degree. You are let, let us say that BCom degree. Those who have a BCom degree, जो लोग ने BCom किया है, they will get ten thousand rupees per month. You don't have a job, you will get this amount. Okay. Now, now there is one job offer which you have got. There is one job offer which you have got. The job offer is of twelve thousand. Do you have got offer for this? So if you go to the job, you will get this much salary. Tell me, tell me. Now there are once you uh, go for a job you will not get this ten thousand okay this is for jobless people who do not have a job now once you go for a job once you have been selected interview and everything is done now tell me this job is giving you how much rupees when you talk about this job it is giving you actually twelve thousand or only two thousand because you are going for a job you are getting benefited by what amount twelve thousand or two thousand. 2000 now because what will you say 10000 to i was a which was getting when when i was sitting idle sir 10000 was being credited now because i am going for a job i am getting only 2000 extra or i am getting 12000 but in order to earn this 12000 i can say i have lost an opportunity to earn this 10000 which is if i am jobless this will be credited so i have lost this opportunity so as a person 
either i can sit idle and earn this or i can go for a job and i can earn 12000 only two possibilities are there both cannot happen simultaneously choice is mutually exclusive either a option or b option now because i went for b option i have earned only 2000 extra that is the profit i have earned this is known as cost of opportunity this is opportunity cost 10000 same goes here if I talk about these 200 units, there were only two options. These 200 units can be good units or bad units. There are two options. Either unit can become good or it can become bad. That is a scrap. Now, if I talk about this, tell me about these 200 units first of all. Because three, these 200 units became good units. These 200 units became good units. What is the gain that I have got? 9,900. For every unit, I will. I am going to receive 49.5. I will add a profit then I will get the selling price so this much amount will be received 49.5 so that is the gain which I thought 200 into 49.5 the gain is 9900 but tell me you, you have not got this gain of 12,000 if these 200 units are not good units then what is the next possibility this will be bad units now and if these are bad units how much amount you will receive from one unit you will receive 8.6 now as a bad unit which is a scrap value so 200 into 8.6 200 into 8.6 you're gonna receive this much amount 7, uh, 1720 so that is 10,000 here I can say so it means if these units are bad units you are any which way is getting this much amount because these are good units you are getting 9,900 so because these units are good instead of bad instead of bad these are good units what is the extra amount that you have received this is 8180 i hope you got the point if you are at home you get 10000 if you go to the job you get 12000 what is the extra that you are receiving is only 2000 that is something which will be your answer which is your net benefit hello you have any doubt or it is clear certain that the benefit is only 8180 ha the, which we can say because 1720 you are any which way is getting the unit can be good or bad so if it is bad you are going to get this there is no need to worry about that because these are good you got 9900 which is extra you got only 8180 extra that is a net benefit uh, because it became good units hello yes, sir. like same way because you went for a job you get benefit of only 2000 10,000 to any which way you are getting when you are at home okay so that was a simple example which I took so that you can understand the concept but still if you have a doubt you can ask me okay uh, so now is there any shortcut to get this uh, 8180 yes again same formula cost per unit minus a scrap sir scrap value into quantity the same formula which we have used earlier so now what is your cost per unit sir every unit is costing you 49.5 that is something which can be recovered from the customer when you sell it but sir if it is a bad unit any which ways you are getting 86.5 if the unit is bad you are going to get 8.6 if it is a good you will get 4.9 so extra you are getting this much you are getting this much extra for how many units 200 units yeah 8180 hello now now there is no need to prepare actually normal loss account there is no need to prepare because they are not asking for this it is prepared just to give you the idea this logical idea that's it uh, in examination even if you do not prepare this account you can be like this if these are good units if these are bad then you 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 were about to receive this that was fixed so that is okay even if you do not prepare this normal loss account hello now uh, vedant i hope this is clear it was prepared just to give you this idea that it will be transferred like this okay fine so please any doubts your doubts are most welcome Bolo. if you have any doubt please ask if something is pending tell me sir show that account i will show that account on your screen so it took around one hour and 20 minutes to solve this question i can see that we have understood each and every logic next question will take around 30 to 40 minutes that's it not more than that Achha, if anything please you have any doubt please ask me Ki, sir i did not get this and whatever the doubt is Okay, so in that absence, we can say that you have got the point. Okay, so sir, samaj mein toh We have got the point. Now we have the steps. Uh, you can see that it is written. Normal loss account will tally. Close of normal balancing figure will be your costing PNL. When you close your 
uh, abnormal loss of function. So these are the steps which will be written now. Uh, after that, uh, after this question only, if you write it down, that is a. I think you have left some space before, so that is okay. One page, just in case you haven't uh, left uh, any space, you can leave one page to write these steps: normal loss and abnormal loss, the normal loss and abnormal gain account. So fi finally, uh, we are done with this. Uh, I will show you this. This is normal loss and abnormal loss. This is first thing. Yeah, then. So this is first thing. Okay. Okay. And this one is second. Take it. Done. We are done with this question. Okay. Let us start with this question. Uh, format is ready with you. Okay. Now, here we go. If you talk about this question, uh, what is given in the question, sir? Uh, the question says. If you talk about the question, uh, yeah, the question says that R is limited uh, processes product Z through two distinct processes, process one and process two. Actually, there is process two. Okay, that maybe that is not written. So please uh, rectify that thing. There is a process two. That rectification should be done. Okay. Now after that, uh, if I read ahead, what is given is. Uh, for the uh, then uh, it is transferred to the finished stock from the uh, uh, process to on completion it is transferred to finished stock it means we can say once the goods are complete these are being transferred by finished stock okay uh, from the following information for 11 12 prepare process 1 and process 2 account and finished goods account what is new here is we gonna make the finished goods account so what they are asking for is when the process 1 now process 2 and then a finished goods accounts so we will make these accounts okay the data First and foremost, my focus will be on the particulars column and a process one column. Okay, so now first raw material and cost per unit. This is my step number one. It will be recorded on the debit side. So this is my step number one. After step number one, I can say there is again uh, there is one more uh, error that you will have to rectify. Please make that necessary change. It is a sixty percent of what and whatever that wages. Please write it down. Wages. Please make this uh, corrections over here. Okay, so I can say this is my step number two, where I will incur a, uh, where I will I am gonna incur what direct material, direct expenses, and then manufacturing overhead. This is my step number two. First is input material, second one is other expenses, third one is normal loss. So third one is normal loss again. That scrap value is given in the question realizable scrap value again there should be that per unit but that is okay which is not written little bit printing error is there in this question okay so we can see this so that is step number three which is normal loss now i'm giving you some time this is your step number uh, four is always cpu in step number four you calculate cpu please uh in the rough if possible please calculate the cpu and tell me what is your cpu for process one i need four decimals Okay, four uh, decimals will be kept. Your CPU should be rounded up to four decimals. Just take the rough calculations and tell me what is going to be your CPU. For process one. Yes, uh, Nishi, uh, no, Nishi, there is some printing error, please check. Okay, 
okay you please calculate a uh, cpu for a process to just in case maybe you are not getting it let's go for the uh, solution part step number one uh, please uh, there is something else uh, which is yet it is pending we will do this after uh, once we are done with p1 and p2 okay this is with reference to finish goods account actually okay and that's it and the question ends here the next question starts so here we go uh, let's do one thing uh, let us make the process account which is already done uh, the process a or b process 1 and 2 so process 1 and 2 this is process 1 account okay now let us start with this step number 1 you guys will have to record the input input will be recorded on the debit side so to input material Keetana, sir. so input material you can see that it is 7500 units at the rate of 60 so 7500 units if you want you can show that in brackets 7500 multiplied by 60 you will get the value yes sir that becomes 450000 so here we go we have a value which is 450000 now what next what next is other expenses other expenses to two two so the first two will be wages wages two wages kitna the amount is there in the question we can see direct wages are 1 lakh 35,000, 1 lakh 35,750. 1 lakh 35,750. Yes, sir, that wages amount is given. After that, after that, there is one more expense that is direct expense, which is 60% of wages. So that is two direct expense. Or you can say expenses. Which is 60% of wages. So I can say 135750 is my wages. 60% of wages. There is one more cost. It is 20% of wages. Manufacturing expenses. 135750 into 20% of wages. To manufacturing cost. Manufacturing overhead. So please calculate. 135750 into 60%. That becomes... Uh, 81450 here we go 135750 into 20 percent that becomes 27150 so that is what my answer is now having done this we are done with step number one we are done with step number two uh now 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 dhwani patel uh please tell me what is your normal loss quantity normal loss quantity you have the data in front of you please tell me normal loss quantity dhwani patel I hope you are there. Either you have to yes, say, uh, fine, okay. Normal loss quantity information is there in the question. It is easy. It is not that difficult. Please, okay. Fine. Then uh, deep uh, normal loss quantity. The three seventy five. 375 why it is 5% it is 5% of what input so what is your input so your input is 7500 so now let us record let us record by normal loss by normal loss I can say 7500 is input and normal loss quantity is 5% of that so if you calculate 7500 into 5% that is 375 now if you sell it in the market you're gonna receive some amount you will receive some amount akshat what is the value that will be written akshat akshat is the staff value yeah you need to tell me the value i know that it is a scrap value but what will be the value the figure which will be written uh, four, four exactly uh, we will just round it off uh, it is 12.5 uh, that is your scrap value which is given in the question scrap value realizable value per uh, scrap unit is 12.5 so I can say here if you sell this units so into you gonna receive 12.5 rupees so that will be 7500 into 12.5 eight second oh, 375 my mistake oh, not 7500 the scrap is of 375 units multiplied by 12.5 so if you do this that will be uh, 4688 it will be rounded off 4688 yeah 
amount can be uh, rounded off that is okay now we come to cpu please now everyone uh, i will not ask individually please dm me in message i would like to see the calculation please dm me the cpu up to four decimals up to four decimals whatever is your fraction something something yeah. point hmm uh dhruvi right yes. yes that is right answer once you send the answer i will come to know that these people are getting it karke basa so please once you get the answer please send that answer it gives me the feedback as to you are getting the things whatever i am teaching uh nishi nai moksha nai Uh, Akshat right answer, Vedant right answer, Tejas everyone पे नहीं भेजना था that is wrong. In which case, uh, Priyam right answer. You need to give me answer up to four decimals, okay? But वो ठीक है Akshat that is okay. Rishab that is right answer. Krish right, Aryan right. Nishi uh, नहीं some calculation error please check. Here we go. Chalo. Let us calculate the CPU. Maybe. Abhi tak shayad apna utna confidence nahi aaya hai. Dheere dheere aayega. Cost per unit. Now guys, when you calculate cost per unit, now I am not writing the formula. Okay. In examination for the first process, you should always write the formula. What I will say that this is the cost that I have incurred. This is pehle. It is like this. Amount debit minus credit. So pehle amount ka take the total. That comes to four lakh fifty thousand plus one three five seven five zero plus eight one four five zero plus two seven one five zero. That becomes six nine four three five zero six nine four three five zero. This is total of debit. We know the credit amount, which is four six eight eight. So when you subtract debit minus credit, guys, you get you get net cost, which is incurred by you. This much you have incurred. This much you will recover. In normal circumstances, now divided by you started working on seven thousand five hundred units, three seventy five will be your expected loss. So now, this is the net cost which is incurred for seven one two five units, seven thousand one twenty five units. So now. Six eight nine six six two divided by seven one two five. That becomes ninety six point seven nine four seven units per unit. Your answer should be kept up to four decimals, okay? Because I C A I does that. So it is preferable in process account as in when you calculate the C P U. It should be up to four decimals, okay? Seven nine four seven. Yeah. I hope others also those who did not send the answer you got the point as to how it is calculated. Fair enough. Now, now, uh, having done this, now you should go for the actual output which is there in the question. So, sir, what is my actual output? I have produced how many units? Please write it down just in case it is not done yet. Please finish it off. That is step number four. We are done with. step number 4 sir calculate cpu we are done with that now what is next step next step is sir actual output that is given in the question actual output output transferred to next process or the finished stock it is like for process 1 it is next process for process 2 it is a finished goods account okay 7050 we have produced so please write down by actual output transferred to p2 how many units 7050 acha sir what is the cost of every unit so i can say 705 units 50 units we have transferred cost of each is 96.7947 
सो सेवन जीरो फाइव जीरो इंटू नाइन्टी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन नाइन फोर सेवन दैट बिकम्स सिक्स एट टू फोर जीरो थ्री प्लीज राउंड इट ऑफ ओके नाउ सर व्हाट इज नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज व्हाट यू जस्ट नीड टू क्लोज दिस अकाउंट दैट इज स्टेप नंबर सिक्स let's close now even before i close this account i can have a idea whether there is abnormal gain or loss so i was expecting output of 7125 i got output which is 7050 which is less than what i have expected i have expected 7125 and i got 7050 so there will be abnormal loss so this will be the higher side i can say 7500 there will be a balancing figure here only as abnormal loss is there Seventy five units, which is abnormal loss. Four lakh fifty thousand plus one three five seven five zero plus eight one four plus two seven one five zero. Total is six nine four three five zero six nine four three five zero. Minus four six eight eight minus six eight two four. Yeah, seven two uh five nine. Yeah. Now, having done this, having done this, uh, they are not asking. They are not asking for what, sir. Or uh, they are not asking for normal loss and abnormal loss. so now uh, it is uh, up to us whether if you want to make it we will make it otherwise we will just ignore it guys so what to do for practice if you want to make we can make that account hello they haven't asked let's make the account okay fine just for the practice they are not asking for actually abnormal uh, that gain and loss account okay they have asked only three accounts Process one, a uh, process two, and a finished goods account. Okay, they were asking only for that. But just from the practice perspective, let us make that extra thing also. Let us make those accounts. it is okay even if you do not write that particulars and all that stuff okay okay here we go once that is done just let me know this accounts normal loss and abnormal loss that is quite easy actually अच्छा चलो और लेट अस मेक दिस अकाउंट्स व्हेन यू मेक दिस अकाउंट्स द फर्स्ट स्टेप विल बी देर आर थ्री स्टेप्स इन ऑर्डर टू मेक दिस अकाउंट स्टेप नंबर वन इज टू गाइस गिव द सेकंड इफेक्ट व्हेन यू गिव द सेकंड इफेक्ट व्हाट इज गोइंग टू हैपन इज नॉर्मल एंड ऑफ नॉर्मल बोथ अपीयर्स ऑन द क्रेडिट साइड दो सेकेंड इफेक्ट विल बी ऑन द डेबिट साइड टू प्रोसेस वन यूर ऑल्सो टू प्रोसेस वन How many units? Three seventy-five, seventy-five. Ah, yeah. Ah, uh, four six eight eight. Seven two five nine. Now, when you write this down, when you write this down, now first step is give the second effect. Step number two is uh, just sell it off. अच्छा वेन यू सेल दिस इन द मार्केट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर यू जस्ट हैव टू चेक वन थिंग वेदर देर इज एनी गेन और नॉट सपोज इंस्टेड ऑफ इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस सेवेंटी फाइव अब नॉर्मल लॉस देर इज अवेंटी फाइव का अब नॉर्मल गेन इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस देर इज अवेंटी फाइव का अब नॉर्मल गेन टेल मी हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स विल बी देयर इन कैश बैंक इन दैट केस Three hundred. I hope you understand that because now you cannot sell all three seventy-five because there is a gain of seventy-five. You can sell only then uh, 
300 units the bifurcation will be like this 375 will be of normal gain but here your loss is actually greater than what is expected this is also your loss this is also your loss both losses will be sold in the market by cash bank if you sell it in the market here you will sell 375 here you will sell 75 it will tally there is no need to worry you can just copy that 375 4688 375 but now but now if you talk about your abnormal loss what is gonna happen is if you talk about abnormal loss you have 75 units which you will sell but when you sell it in the market what is the amount that you will receive what is the scrap value which is specified the scrap value which is specified in the question is 12.5 so multiply by 12.5 so 75 multiplied by 12.5 that becomes 938 rupees so i will see that you guys have incurred 7259 rupees and out of that itna incur karne ke baad i can say that how much amount we have recovered we have recovered 938 7259 minus 938 so you have recovered 6 the net loss is this much 6321 this is your net loss which will be transferred to the costing PL by costing PL. By the time we solve more questions, you will have more confidence. Okay, uh, I hope till now it is clear as to what we are doing. Okay, now having done this, having done this, we are done with this. Now, what to do, sir? What to do? What to do? So, I can see that. Yeah, uh, this much is done. Uh, if there is any doubt, uh, just uh, tell me. Otherwise, okay. So that is clear. So that thing is clear. Now let us go for the next thing, sir. What is the next uh, next account? We are done with process one. Now let us make a process two account. So let us make process two account. Okay. Ten lines. process to well uh, if done I uh, will go with the next thing fair enough so okay now uh, let us go with the next thing now if you just talk about the steps again the six steps which you will have to follow the first step will be the output of the earlier process will become input over here that is to input from earlier process input from p1 which can be copied or uh, seven this many units you can see Seven zero five zero units at a cost of six lakh uh, eighty two thousand yeah four zero three that is your input from the earlier process. Acha, having recorded this, having recorded this, now step number two, you will incur some other expenses. Let's have a look. Now you're gonna incur this direct wages, direct expenses, manufacturing expenses, this, this, and this. So please let us write it down. Direct wages which is 129250 or you can say just wages that is okay the value will be 129250 
Having said that, then there is our expenses. Then there is a manufacturing overhead. Some ratio will be given that it is some percentages of this that is 65 percent and 15 percent. 65 and 15. So 129250. 129250. It is 65 percent and 15 percent. So just apply these percentages and get the answers. So now when you apply these percentages, let us apply these percentages 129250 multiplied by 65 percent uh, 80413 81293 you get 19383 uh, you get 19383 yes sir even i am getting 8403 okay. 8403 that was just typo okay that is 8403 acha i have written 8 point uh, it was 8.7.50 but i rounded off to 8.87 uh, can you tell me reason the reason is hello here you rounded it off now you just increase 0.5 here also if you increase it will be increase in one that is okay even if you write 88 but i have written 87 you should understand that logic here if i add 0.5 again there is no need to add 0.5 if i subtract that that net amount will be the same hello yes fine Achha. so i can see that it was uh, it was 12.5 and it was 87.5 uh, so i just take it as 13 this so you can see here 0.5 has been added and here it has it's not been added so that is taken care of even if you add both at the both the places that is okay but i am going for a more accurate presentation even if you write 88 now that is okay there is no need to worry okay if by mistake you have written 88 but as of now please write 87 okay now having done this uh, having done this what to do next so the next step will be the normal loss you have the data in front of you uh, someone will tell me what is your normal loss so that someone will be yeah Ayash uh, Mehta normal loss quantity please hello Yash hello please speak up, uh, I couldn't hear you or you can just uh, text me in that case normal loss quantity uh, yes you can send the answer here in, the, in chat box in that case if you know otherwise it is okay okay fine so in that case uh, Tages, normal loss in case of process 2. Units, I want units. Yes, uh, 7050 is 10%, that is 705. Yeah, you can see the question uh, here it is written specifically that your normal loss is a 10%. This 10% of what inputs? So, if it is 10% of input, guys, your input is this 7050. This is your input. So here I can see that it is 7050 which is the input on that you will have to calculate 10 percent that will be 705 or 705 we can say. Yeah, if you sell these units in the market which is 705 you gonna receive some amount or Nishi what is the amount that will be recorded on the credit side? The 26438. Huh, 26438. How sir, how? It is very simple. You have 705 units in scrap. If you sell it in the market, how much amount you receive? 37.5 you will receive. How much? 37.5. So multiplied by 37.5. 705. Multiplied by 37.5. Yeah, you have the answer 26438. Yeah, we have got the answer. Fine. So now there is a CPU calculation which is there. So everyone please now calculate the CPU so that I will understand that this many people got the right answers. Arpit right answer. Uh, 
Nishi, right answer. Priyam, uh, you should round off to four decimals, but that is right answer. Dhruvi, that is right. Akshat, right. Others, please try at least 10 to 15 answers I want, okay? Aryan, right. Deep, right. Moksha, right answer. Kushi, right answer. Vedant, right answer. Uh, Vaishnavi, right answer. Okay, but you should keep up to four decimals, okay? Yash, nine. Okay, fine. So, here we go. Let me calculate the CPU now. CPU. That is cost per unit. So, how to calculate, sir, CPU? It is very simple. Just take the total of debit first amount. That is this total. Yeah. 682. 403 plus 129250 plus 84013 plus 19387 that becomes uh, 915053 subtract 26438 which is a scrap value input is 7050 minus 705 so if you do that uh, sorry So if you do that, the value which you get is 7050 minus 705 that becomes a 6345 then 915053 minus 26438 that is 8886158886158615 will be divided by 6345 that becomes 140.0496 per unit. So that is gonna be your CPU that is 140.0496 okay now once you get your CPU guys there is a step number five what is a step number five record actual output let us record actual output by <coughs> actual output now because this is the last process transferred it to finished goods please be very careful this is the last process We'll have to write finished goods, okay? Don't make any uh, mistake of writing next process. Now, you have how many units? Actually, we have produced how many units? You can see that. Actually, we guys have produced 6525. So, if you have produced 6525 units, cost of every unit is 140 points 0496. That becomes 913824. Yeah. So, that is how your answer will look like. Yeah. 913824. Uh, now, having done this, having done this, now you just need to close the account. You just need to close the account. Here, if you close the account, you will gonna get the balancing figure. So, let's just close it. Uh, before that, I would just like to know that whether it, there is gain or loss. So I was expecting 8, 3, 4, 5. I have got 8, 5. So I have got more. That is, there is a gain. So this will be the heavier side. 705 plus 6525. You can go for your normal balancing. Yeah, there is a gain of 180 units. No need to subtract you just you can just take this differences we have this total here okay two five two zero nine this is your two abnormal gain Okay, once you get this, uh, this is the answer which you have got, which is uh, with reference to process 2. Fine. Okay, 
now having done that having done that uh, once you get this answer what to do next sir the next thing will be this will be written here now once we get this answer now you need to make the account when abnormal gain account it is just for practice purpose they haven't asked for abnormal gain okay we are just preparing so that we can have a practice of this okay that's it so let us make one normal loss and abnormal gain account Please make these two accounts. Okay. You can make in rough. There is no need to write that particular quantity amount. That is okay. But I have the now format. It you can make like this, like normal loss. That's it, and just two lines. you are done okay but because i am doing copy paste so the format is there fine so having done this guys uh, are you done with this so yes sir we are done with this now sir what uh, now sir now now here i can see that uh having done this here we go you are a uh, second effect will be given first of all so let us go for the second effect normal loss appears on the credit side effect will be given on the debit side 7052643 you will write to process 2 okay now having done this now if you talk about abnormal gain what will you write if you talk about abnormal gain what will you write here you will write by process to 180 180 units at a value of 25209 tell me so step number 1 was to give the second effect what is step number 1 step number 1 is to give the second effect sir what is the next step stack next step is what now understand once you ha huh. you just need to sell now here you say buy cash bank i would like to know the quantity from you how many units you will write 705 525 525 what will you say sir 705 i was expecting this will be my loss but out of that 180 is my gain now so i cannot sell it in the market by abnormal gain there is abnormal or you can do like this 705 units you were having out of that there is a gain of 180 I have explained the logic in the earlier question, so here it is five twenty-five. Now, if you sell it in the market, what is your scrap value, sir? It is thirty-seven point five. Five twenty-five into thirty-seven point five that becomes one nine six. Eight second. One nine six. One nine six eight eight. Let's say six eight eight. So here we go. Ah, uh, thirty-seven point five into one eighty, six seven five zero. Whatever you are writing, you should understand. Okay. Now, the step number ah uh, step number one was to give the second effect. What was step number two to sell the scrap? That is done. Now, when you sell the scrap, what you need to do is you need to give the second effect. Now, I can show you that steps. Those steps. See loss scrap. But when you write cash bank, it should be normal loss minus abnormal loss units, uh, abnormal gain units, and abnormal gain. Whatever abnormal gain is appearing in normal loss account, it will be transferred to the debit side of abnormal gain. So let us transfer this to the debit side of abnormal gain. Here you go. Two. normal loss 180 units 6750 is my cost and yeah 
uh, if you just talk about the valuations here we go 182520 186 sorry 2520 minus 6750 so here we go 18459 that will be transferred to costing PNM now this is for the last time I am making this abnormal gain account now we won't make this it was a practice which we did second time we are we made this account for a practice okay now I hope the the concept is as such clear the concept was explained in the previous uh, the sum now here we have practiced that again okay still if you need any uh, clarification you can ask okay step number one was this step number one two is to sell it give the second effect and then close this okay here we go Having done that, having done that, now they are asking for something. Acha, uh, they are asking for something. What they are asking for is, if you just refer the question, I hope uh, this much you guys have written. Okay, something which is there in circle that is your balancing figure. Okay, now here we go. After doing this, I can see that they are asking. Uh, if I talk about the question, at the end you can see that uh, here. They are asking for what? So they were asking for process one account, sir. We are done with that, sir. They were asking for process two account, sir. We are done with that also. Now what is left is finished stock account. Which account you will have to make? You will have to make finished stock account. So let us make one more account, which is a finished stock account. Maybe I don't have this piece, even though I have. Uh, I would uh, recommend using the next page. Okay okay i'm making it on the next page that finished goods account will be made for three four five lines so please make that account for five lines finish goods account one two three four five so i generally use a notebook format at the template which is used which you can see here like notebook only so that you will have idea that sorry is writing like this it means i should leave this much space okay Finish goods account or finish stock account. Okay, so so here it is particulars quantity amount, particulars quantity amount. Now now let us go ahead uh, and do some calculations so now what we gonna do is you can see this here having done this if I talk about the next thing okay the next thing will be the next thing will be Uh, just to finish this account now finish good stock account is nothing but your warehouse you can assume this as a warehouse where you keep your stock and all karke in the go down okay so it is like the warehouse now in the stock in this you keep some stock so there will be some opening stock there will be some closing stock so we can write to opening stock by closing stock to opening stock of finished goods here I can say by closing stock of finished goods which is carried down balance we can say so now or you can have one line in between okay that is okay now if I tell you that uh, do we have any opening stock in the question no nothing has been specified with reference to opening stock first of all whatever has been produced whatever has been produced in this process which is process 2 because it is a last process whatever has been produced in process 2 that will be transferred to finished goods account that is warehouse that is uh, you can say that 6525 units has been produced uh, at a cost of rupees this so here we go that i have written over here here you can give the heading to process 2 that is input from process 2 or you can directly write process 2 that is also okay you can just write process to or if you want to write you can write in bracket input from that is okay 
I see AI will write like this process two, so that is sufficient. No need to write that input this cup. Now the question is how many units has been we have sold? How many units we have sold? Achha. Let's read this. Let's read this. Uh, at what price it is sold? I am not concerned about that. Just tell me how many units we have sold. So we can see. 6,000 units of finished goods were sold. That's it. I will read that later on. Now, 6,000 units are sold. That is written. So, I can give you the heading by uh, sold. And whatever is sold, that will be transferred to costing PL. So, please write down costing PL. These are units sold. And how will you make the calculations? So, it is very easy. You have sold 6000 units. What is the cost of every unit in process 2? You make uh, one unit and the cost is 140.0496. 140.0496. That is the cost of every unit. So it will be transferred. 6000 units went out. The cost of every unit is 140.0496. That becomes 840298. This is my cost. The, this is the cost. Okay, it is record. It is like your COGS we can say cost of goods sold. Yeah. 840298. Now I was having 8525 units. These many units we have produced. How many sir? 86525. 6525 units we have produced out of that 6000 has been sold so you guys are left with how many units 525 units in your go down okay so this is something which is taken as a balancing figure again 913824 913824 so 913824 minus 840298 so that becomes 73526 so this is taken as a balancing word you guys are having 525 units at the end and the value of that is uh, 73,526. Here we go. Now, we are done with the solution part, but I would request you to make one more account and that addition we will do in the question. Having done this, any which was, I can say we are done with the question, but uh, one more account will be prepared for your understanding and you can add the requirement and costing PNL account. Let us make costing PNL also. Sir. Bolo. Sir, uh, can you repeat what is the profit on cost? Sorry, uh, that uh, has not been explained yet. Yeah, we are in the process of that. I just told you this. We have sold this much. Okay. Oh, I will read that. Okay. We have just written this much that 6000 units has been sold. Uh, that's it. Now, so now let us make one more account. Let us make one more account. It is which account? Let us make costing PNL account. Let us make that account. When you make the costing PNL account, it will be for how many lines? So for six lines, we can say. Achha, have you ever seen quantity column in costing PNL account or PNL account? Have you ever seen quantity column in PNL? No. no, no so we we are not going to make quantity column. Okay, there will be only uh, two columns on each side, particulars and amount. Six lines: one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that will be the format. Particular amount, particular amount. Now, now let's make this account and let us calculate the profit earned by us. Okay. Fine. Now, first thing will be whatever units you have sold, what is your cost of those units? So that will come from this to finish goods to cost. Whatever is your cost that will come from this finished goods account, finished stock account, finished goods account or we can say 6000 units we have. 
and the cost of those 6000 units is 84298 this is my cost of uh, 6000 units now when you sell it in the market that is buy steels i hope you understand when you sell 6000 units in the market you will see that if this is my cost 840298 some information is given in the question what is given in the question you can see that that when you sell these units these are sold at a profit of 15% on cost when i say these are sold at 15% on cost so sir this is my cost just add 15% to this and you will get your selling price Nine six six three forty three. I hope this is clear. This was written that profit is fifteen percent on cost. I was aware of my cost. I just added fifteen percent and I got my selling price. Okay. Now, now if I ask you, tell me there is something which is pending. Something is about to come in this PNL account. Please tell me. This is not the only thing which will come. There is something which is about to come in PNL account. Tell me what. Abnormal loss and abnormal gain. Exactly. Abnormal gain and abnormal loss. You can see that this effect has been given. Yes, sir. We have recorded sales also. Now there is abnormal gain and abnormal loss. So you can see that the abnormal loss is here. Abnormal loss is here. You can see this. Which will be transferred to costing PL 6321. 6321. So two, abnormal loss, six, three, two, one, by abnormal gain. Let me have a gain account with me. Yeah, the gain account, the gain is one, eight, four, five, nine. That will be transferred to the credit side, one, eight, four. Now you can close the account. You have transferred abnormal gain and loss. Now let's go for a profit or loss. To net profit. One three eight one eight two. Hello, that is how the solution will look like. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, sir. Fine. So uh, we are done with this. I hope uh, that was easy if you practice maybe the confidence will come do not worry about this so yeah so this much is done we can see that finally we did this question again it took more time around uh, 53 minutes it took the reason because we made that finished goods account costing PL. that's why it took more time okay Fine, please uh, do practice these things. Okay, ek bar dekh lena. okay, so we are done with this thing. Achha, uh, I just want to give you some uh, brief idea. Achha, ek to that you know that how to get this value in a shortcut way. Okay, that is a quanti uh, again that will be done in the next question. Vaise to. Thik, that can be done. Uh, as of now, what I would like to say is whatever is your output, uh, achha, that will be done in the next lecture only. As of now, we are done with this. So, this question is done. Okay. Okay, if you talk about process costing, please understand when I say process costing, what is the meaning of costing? Costing means calculation of cost. When I say process costing, it means calculation of the cost. Kiska? The steps. The steps which are involved in production activity. Like if you are a student, if you want to become a CA, there are three steps which are involved. If you calculate the cost of each process, that is known as process costing. Same goes here. If there is a cloth, if you want to manufacture a t-shirt, there is process one. You can say, let me, uh, th that can be cutting, stitching or packing 
typing or whatever it is or printing embroidery whatever there are three processes if you calculate cost of each process like if you are calculating cost of process one when you are doing this this is known as process costing when you calculated this 60 rupees 60 30 uh, uh, and uh, uh, 10 we can say 100 was your expected cost which is budgeted cost actually you guys have incurred a 120 this indicates that 20 rupees extra you have incurred you would like to know where you have incurred a 20 rupees extra uh, so you can see that here that data will be there now what is my objective when you have calculated this 60 or 70 what you did is you calculated cost of process now as in when you calculate the cost of processor what are the steps which are involved we need to calculate the cost of process 1 process 2 and process 3 even before that you need to understand one thing output of first process becomes input for another process and output of last process becomes finished goods that is something which is very important okay having done this i can say that if i talk about chapter overview your process costing is broadly divided into three categories questions there is no WIP then questions where there will be a WIP stock and there is an inter process profit okay we started with this which is process account without WIP okay we need to follow six step model we need to follow six step model okay so if I talk about six steps you need to understand what is the first step we need to read the question come to the debit side of the process account first of all what will be the format of process account it is very simple it is nothing but uh, particulars then there will be quantity amount again there is particulars quantity and amount so first you will come to the debit side and you will record the input material which will be recorded in both the columns quantity also and amount also then then you will record other expenses which will be incurred in order to convert that raw material into finished product like this is cloth this one is cloth that is step number one to convert that cloth into t-shirt you will have to incur some expenses like buttons then labor and then rent and all these expenses will be written again on the debit side now step number three is normal loss normal loss will be recorded on the credit side guys percentages will be given in the question this percentage is whatever given in the question this percentage should be applied on this quantity which is appearing on the debit side let us say this is 100 so input quantity is 100 and 10 percent is a loss it means 10 these units will be scrap units this is expected loss okay now whatever is your expected loss multiplied by you will get 2 rupees it means 20 rupees will be your scrap value that is normal loss quantity multiplied by scrap value having done this having done this you are done with step three three steps i can say step number one step number two step number three that is called uh, input material other expenses then there is normal loss now step number four you need to calculate the cpu it is very simple cpu is nothing but amount divided by quantity first of all amount that is debit minus credit if you go to the debit side you will see the total cost which is incurred by the company if you come to the credit side you will see that this is something which company is going to receive as a scrap value which is income which will be subtracted from the cost and you will get net cost in the numerator from the net cost you will have to subtract expected output this was your input quantity let us say that was 100 and out of 100 you know that 10 will be your normal loss you are expecting 90 it is 100 minus 10 that is total quantity input quantity minus normal loss quantity and whatever answer you will get that is your cost per unit this is your normal cost per unit as in when you produce one unit sir this is a normal cost to produce one unit now now the question arises if you are expecting 90 it is not necessary that you will get 90 this is expected output let us say you have got 85 units Units. this is the actual output 85 units this indicates there is abnormal loss of 5 units but before that if this is actual output step number 5 is to record the actual output where it will be recorded this actual output will be transferred to the next process that is process 2 so actual output transfer to the next process that can be process 2 or process B whatever the name is that will be given in the question the quantity will be given in the question how will you get the amount whatever quantity that is given in the question let us that is 85 units you have got multiplied by cpu which you have got in your step number four okay having done this your entire process account is complete now you just need to close the process account you have to check where the balancing figure will come i can give you an idea 100 was your input 10 was your normal loss and 85 of uh, is your actual output so the balancing figure will be here that is 5 this indicates abnormal loss if the balancing figure is on the debit side this will indicate abnormal gain but if the balancing figure is on the credit side it will indicate abnormal loss please pay attention so now here i can say close the process account if the balancing figure is on the debit side this will indicate abnormal gain if it is on the credit side this will indicate abnormal loss okay now having done this so abnormal loss will be or gain will be taken as a balancing figure so these were the six, six steps which we need to follow again if i come 
from here now when you make the process account with this six steps there are two possibilities either you will get normal loss and abnormal loss or the second possibility is normal loss with abnormal gain so either there can be a possibility of a abnormal gain or abnormal loss so what to or how to prepare this accounts let us discuss that the first point is normal loss and abnormal loss so what you guys will have to do is first you need to give the second effect sir give the second effect when you give the second effect normal loss appears on the credit side of process account abnormal loss also appears on the credit side of the process account so if you give the second effect that will appear on the debit side of normal loss account so on the uh, normal loss account debit side you will have to write the name of that respective process account again abnormal loss debit side you will write two process account okay now having done this so on the if you prepare a normal loss account if you prepare abnormal loss account on the debit side we have recorded that the second effect has been given now you what you need to do is sale of scrap if you sell it in the market that is sale of scrap normal loss if you sell it it will tally you will sell it in the market by cash bank and it will tally if you talk about abnormal loss here it is recorded at cpu when you sell it you will get the scrap value so some balancing figure will appear on the credit side now you will sell normal loss also and abnormal loss also how you will get it quantity multiplied by scrap value on the credit side you will write buy cash bank buy cash bank now if you talk about step number three close the respective account as i told you normal loss account will tally abnormal loss account will have some balancing figure that balancing figure will be transferred to the costing pnl account that is the loss to the company which will appear on the debit side of pnl account okay so costing PL, so abnormal loss account, I can see here will be a balancing figure which will transfer to which will be transferred to costing PL account. Yes, having done this, uh, this was a short revision uh, of uh, we can say the case of normal loss and abnormal loss, but sometimes there is a possibility that you will get abnormal gain. Then what to do in that case? So first of all, uh, the step remains same. The first step it is to give the second effect. Now you should be very careful. Your normal uh, no loss appears here, but abnormal gain appears on the debit side. So when you give the effect in the respective accounts, normal loss effect will be given on the debit side, but abnormal gain effect will be given on the credit side. That is opposite side. So that is written normal loss account effect will be given on the debit side abnormal loss account effect will be given on the credit side uh, to process by process because now uh, something which is written uh, on the debit side that is to process and here you will write by process okay now having done this whatever scrap you guys have you will have to sell it is like this 100 was your input and your uh, normal loss was 10 which was expected and your output was 90 it is expected output now what i am saying is 100 is your input and actually you got let us say 95 now you need to understand uh, let us say or uh, not 95 let us say 93 you got 93 you need to understand in this case 7 is the actual scrap which you can sell in the market you can say there is a gain of 3 you were expecting 90 but you have got 93 there is a gain of 3 units you have got 3 units extra so in this case when you sell it in the market you cannot sell all 10 units because what you have with you in your go down is only 7 units because input is 100 output is 93 so there are only 7 units which are lying in the go down so when you sell it in the market understand normal loss when you write buy cash bank on the credit side for how much how many units you will write it normal loss minus abnormal loss uh, abnormal uh, gain units it means you will see that 10 units is my no, uh, normal loss which was expected but 3 are abnormal gain so these are gain units it means there is a loss of only 7 so that is how it will be written and 3 will be written as a gain so normal loss account will appear like this 10 on the debit side 7 and 3 for 7 you will write cash bank for 3 you will write abnormal gain and that abnormal gain ka second effect will be given abnormal gain appearing in the normal loss account will be transferred on the debit side of the abnormal gain account so this will be transferred to the debit side of abnormal gain okay now your normal loss account will tally and whatever the balancing figure you have in your abnormal gain account guys that will be transferred that will be transferred where that will be transferred to the costing pnl right so now there is one shortcut also if you want to know the what is the amount that will be transferred to costing pnl i can say like this whatever is your cost per unit minus a scrap value multiplied by quantity you're gonna get the value which will be transferred to the costing pnl yes sir we are done with this now now what is the second scenario sir i can say that after that output of process one output of process two first of all uh, let me tell you one thing uh, in this case what will happen is now this is let us say process one let us say this is process two account now what happens is after that you will have to prepare one more account which is known as finished goods account now what will happen let us say process two has produced 100 units out of 100 units we have sold 80 units process two has produced 100 units out of 100 units we have sold 80 units so now there is a stock of 20 units 
units which will be there in the warehouse so i am gonna make the finished goods account opening stock is not given in the question so it is not there closing stock even though it is not given you need to understand 100 units will be here which is production and then out of which 80 has been sold so 20 will be in the closing stock let us say my cost per unit my cost per unit is 2 rupees let us say my cost per unit is 2 rupees of process 2 account cpu you get in uh, step number 4 you calculate cpu in step number 4 so your cpu is 2 rupees per unit so now if you got 80 units which you are going to which you have sold so what is the cost of that that will be 160 and the cost of this 20 units will be 40 now this 160 will appear on which side it will appear on the uh, PNL card debit side it will appear on the PNL card debit side so when you prepare a costing PNL account guys this 160 will come this is the cost of the goods which are sold you have sold 80 units and when you sell this 80 units some selling price will be given let us say it is 3 rupees so 80 into 3 guys you gonna get 240 rupees so now this is not the only thing which will come in the PNL account other than this something also will be written in the PNL account can someone please tell me sir something is missing in this PNL account please yes the, the um, abnormal loss will come here and abnormal gain will come uh, here uh, from the, your abnormal accounts that abnormal gain and loss account this will be transferred and then this will be closed and then you will get the net profit or net loss this was a short revision as to whatever we have done till now thank you uh, hello guys uh, if you have seen video till here and if you feel that I have contributed something in your success what you can do is either you can write a very good message on this number that is 996-773-6613 this number you can write a message a very good message you can comment also below the video don't like and sh uh, don't forget to like and share with your friends do like and do subscribe the channel and if you feel that there is any contribution from my side and if you want to donate something from your side again it is completely optional or you can donate even when you uh, even it can be any random amount which you want you can google pay on this number which is 996-773-6613 thank you so much bye bye yeah okay uh, so let us start with this question what is given in this question is what is written is this a product a product passes through two processes a and b okay there are two processes a and b during the year 2013 the input or uh, two process a of basic raw material 8000 units at the rate of rupees 9 so first of all i can say there is process a there is process b now in process a we have the input is of 8000 units at the rate of rupees 9 you will get this value or uh, this is nothing but your total cost i can say uh, input cost we can say step number one input cost okay then some output is given this is actually step number five if I, I want to tell you this is your normal loss step number three and this is your uh, step number two okay this is your step number two that is direct wages and yeah or uh, direct expenses now step number one is this which is input material and you will incur some expenses on that which is step number two step number three is a normal loss step number four is CPU okay now uh, there is one more information which is given in the question that total overheads are 17,400. You can see that in the table information of overheads is not given. Information of overheads is given below the table. So total overhead 17,400 and these are recovered. How do we recover this? Overhead is incurred in totality but you have to recover it from the customer. So there is some method and that method is as a percentage of direct wages. So tell me. When I say it is recovered as a percentage of direct wages, so can you tell me what will be the amount of uh, overheads for process 1? Hello. Can I say that uh, if this is 12,000, if this is 24,000, this is 36,000, this is total. So my total wages, when my total wages are 36,000, at that point of time, uh, my uh, overheads are this. This is my overhead, this is my total wages. And this depends upon wages. So accordingly, we can easily bifurcate between A and B. Hello, can you tell me what is the amount of overhead that will be allocated to process A? No idea. 5800. 5800, right? Because you will cross multiply or you can calculate some percentages also. 17400 divided by 36000 into 100. Or let's cross multiply that is better when total wages are 36,000 your total overheads are 17,400 and your overhead depends upon wages that is written it is recovered as a percentages of wages okay so we have to do one third and two third right 
that can be done that can be done that is okay but huh, sometimes that ratio will not be there with us but huh, in this question it is easy for us it is 12 and it is 24 so it can be done okay now selling expenses uh, are over of 5000 now whether it is process 1 or whether it is process 2 bolo or not in process 1 and 2 neither in p1 nor in p2 it will be transferred to costing pnl hello this is selling expenses so when i say selling expenses they have not given that how much for p1 how much for p2 see p1 and p2 these are production department where production happens and this is selling expense so this is not uh, belonging to p uh, a and b do you understand this that uh, it, this expense we do not have any uh, basis where we can bifurcate it. it is a selling expense so it will be transferred it is a cost of the company and not of a product or a process hello Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So it is a total expense which will be transferred to the PNL account. Yes, sir. Achha, uh, it is written also. These are not allocated to the processes. Fair enough. Theke. Something which is very important. Uh, two uh, values are given. Sir, scrap value per unit is given. Selling price per unit is given. First of all, scrap value generally uh, scrap value is always given for your uh, scrap units. That is normal loss units. Whatever scrap we have. And selling price is always of finished goods we can say or something which is good product we can say something which is good product here we can say so 66.6 percent .6 of the output of a p1 was passed on to the next process so now this is very much important this is very very much important tell me if if process one has produced 7500 how many units will be transferred to the next process tell me if PA, PA, process 1 has produced 7500, something will be transferred to process B and something will be 5000. 66% output of process 1 was passed on to the next process. So if I calculate 66, that means 2 third. Please remember this. As in when I say 66.66, .66, it is 2 third. When I say 33.33, it is 1 third. Okay. So either you can do this 7500 into 66.66666 percentages or in shortcut you can do 7500 into 2 by 3. That becomes 5000 or 66.66 .66 percentages. So uh, 5000 will be transferred to the next process and here we can say 2500 will be sold by p1 so p1 sells something this is something different earlier questions may what used to happen process 1 used to transfer entire output to pb uh, process b that is the next process but that is not the case here please understand now obviously the last process the entire output of b was sold so whatever was the output which was 4800 it was sold what they are asking for is prepare process 1 uh, process uh, a and process b and please add one more thing costing pnl account so we need a costing pnl account also so that we will have more clarity on this topic okay now the question is not asking you for abnormal loss and abnormal gain so we are not going to prepare those accounts of abnormal gain and loss okay now let us go for the process account before we make the process account i would i would like to have the idea from your side process account is made for how many lines hello 10 lines, lines. ha huh. but be, even before we make the process account i will make one working one working for what these total overhead so let us make one working for this total overhead so let's make one working allocation of overheads So overheads are dependent upon what wages. So theek hai. I can say particulars. There is a total. Uh, I can say A B. First I can write total. Then there is A B. Achha. If you talk about this, uh, overheads are dependent upon wages. So in the question, information is given with reference to wages. It is 12,000 over here. It is uh, 24,000 over here. So that becomes 36,000. If you take the total information of overheads is given, which is 17,400 in this question. And it is dependent upon wages. So you can just cross multiply and get the answer. Yeah, that becomes 5,800. Minus 17,400 that is 11,600 or you can just double that. 
चलो सो वी आर डन विद दिस वर्किंग नोट इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी यू कैन शो समथिंग इन प्रोसेस अकाउंट इट सेल्फ इफ यू हैव आइडिया बट आई मेड इट सेपरेट एज अ नोट अ वर्किंग नोट आई जस्ट मेड इट एज अ सेपरेट वर्किंग नोट फॉर यूर क्लैरिटी ओके Having done this, uh, once I see this that uh, bifurcation of overhead is done. Now we guys can go. We guys can go for a process accounts. Let us make process A account, which will be made for ten lines. So please make the account for ten lines. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Particulars, quantity, amount. Particulars, quantity, amount. Sir, can you please pour down? Okay, wait. Scroll down for what? Like scroll up, na? Okay, fine. So here we go. Uh, we made a process account. Now let us give the name. Uh, this is a process A account. Okay, you should write with me process A account. Now I will ask you individually the steps or what should be written uh, where. So now first of all, once you make the process account, guys, to fill it up, you will have to follow six step model. Okay, when you follow six step model, now. Uh, Who will answer? Bhavi ka step number one, please. What will be written on which side and the amount also? Please tell me. Bhavi ka. Please pick up. Okay. Bolo Bhavi ka. आपने अनम्यूट किया तो है बट आवाज नहीं आ रहा है. नहीं भावे का आई कैन नॉट हियर यू आई डोंट नो द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट माय अच्छा तुमको सुनाई दे रहा है क्या कुछ एनीवन नो सर भावे का प्लीज टाइप इन दैट केस व्हाट इज द स्टेप नंबर 1 ओके चलो टिल दैट टाइम खुशी ओके व्हेन यू से स्टेप नंबर 1 बोलो व्हाट विल यू राइट ऑन व्हिच साइड और व्हाटएवर फिगर्स आर देयर प्लीज टेल मी नहीं 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 उसके पहले स्टेप नंबर वन इज इनपुट मटेरियल ना हाँ हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स हाउ मेनी यूनिट्स यू कैन से एट थाउजेंड राइट एट थाउजेंड इंटू नाइन सो एट थाउजेंड यूनिट्स यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इंटू नाइन हियर वी गो इफ यू जस्ट हैव अ लुक हियर आर एट थाउजेंड यूनिट्स एट द रेट ऑफ रुपीज नाइन So if you do this, that is eight thousand into nine. Uh, we get seventy-two thousand. So here we go. This is my value, seventy-two thousand. Okay. So once I get my input material, now I will go for my second step. Uh, Jan C. Second step. Hello, Jan C. Yes, sir. Ha. Second step. Sir, uh, two direct pages and two direct materials. Direct wages and what is there in the question? Please have a look and tell me. Direct expenses. That's it. Anything else? Anyone? Please tell me something is uh, still pending. Overhead. 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 That is something you will forget. Please understand. You will forget it. I I can assure you for this that ninety percent people will forget that. So please, uh, overheads should also uh, because that is given separately. So sometimes your mind will forget that. So first is wages, then expenses, then overheads. Direct wages. Okay. Sir. Okay. Overheads. Uh, that will come from working note number. Working note number one. so you can give the reference working note number 1 and i will highlight this because i feel that you will forget this 
at least uh, 90 percent people will forget this so that's right what was the wages value that was given 12,000 then here it was 6,000 so let me write 12,000 6,000 or what is the value of overhead it is 5,800 you can see okay so step number one is done step number two is done now comes the step number uh, three Krish yes sir hmm. so now we move to the credit side and we first record the normal loss. Quantity? Credit is given as 5% of the total input, input material quantity DIY 8000. So 8000 is 5%. Exactly. Understood. That is 400. Right. So fine. So here I can say that 8000 is my input quantity and my normal loss was 5% that was given in the question. So if you calculate so 8000 into 5% that becomes 400. Now if you sell this 400 units into the market what is the value that it will fetch. So you get 2 rupees you can see you get 2 rupees per unit that is a scrap value. So you will get 800 rupees. Now I am not writing that okay in bracket again because it is a, like we have solved few questions so you have an idea. So I am directly writing 800 you know how it came okay. Now it is 800 which is a, a amount which you have written now there is a CPU we will have to calculate so Akshat uh, CPU calculate take your time but calculate and tell me what is your cost per unit. Others if you have got the answer please DM me. Yes, uh, Nishi, that is right. Uh, Vaishnavi, right. Moksha, Arpit. Moksha, right. Arpit, nice. Some chota mota galti is there. Uh, Dhruvi, Krish, Khushi, right. Okay. Akshat, I think. Are you there, Akshat? At least see yes or no. Aryan right answer auction okay so you are not there it means you are just there virtually but not you are not paying attention to you are not there will take some action otherwise let me remove you that is a better option fair enough so here the answer now let us calculate the CPU if you calculate the CPU yeah are that is right okay okay I will say that this is my total cost. So please take the total cost. Okay. Yeah, your total cost is 95,800. Minus, uh, you will receive 800 as a scrap value. We can see amount amount car difference divided by now quantity. You have, uh, there is an input of 8,000. You know that 400 will be your scrap. So now, uh, 95,000 is your net cost. It is incurred for how many units? 7600 so 95,000 minus 7600 that is going to be 12.5 per unit so as and when you produce one unit your cost per unit will be 12.5 here we go now once you do this the next step the next step uh, after this so now let's go let's scroll down yeah now uh, stages uh, next step after CPU Yes, sir. We have to record our actual output. Acha. Now, now. Ha, bolo, bolo, bolo. Yeah, in this question, it is given that uh, 66% is transferred. Hmm. That is something which is very important. They have given us that 66% of the output was passed on to the next process. It means this time I will have to bifurcate my output between two parts. Something which is transferred and something which is sold. Something which is sold. Where will you transfer that? Something which is sold. Costing PNL. Achha, both will be recorded at cost. Both will be recorded at cost. Why? Because you will book profit where see if you record this at a selling price, what will happen? You will book the profit in process account, right? But we will book the profit in the costing PNL account. That's why here it will be recorded at cost only. And then in costing PNL, cost will come, selling price will come, and profit will be recorded. So now the bifurcation will be there something which is transferred you will write process account something which is sold you will write a costing PL. both will be recorded at cost only so please do that i can say by output or actual output whatever heading you give or uh, transferred to 
I can say transferred to next process, transferred to PB that is process B and a uh, sold that is one thing then then sold you can see here costing pnl output transferred to next process and costing pnl something which is sold Achha. uh if you want to calculate the units uh, now you can show that working somewhere if you want here i am directly showing it as 7000 of uh, here I can show like this I can I'm directly writing 5000 into my CPU is 12.5 here it is 2500 into 12.5 okay that will be recorded 5000 and here it is 2500 which is sold the cost per unit is 12.5 so it will be 60 to 500 and here 2500 into 12.5 here it is 31250 yes guys now let's take the total uh you just need to close the account now and you're gonna get the balancing figure so uh, you can directly uh, i can directly tell you this was my expectation 7500 7600 i got only 7500 there will be a normal loss let me check 8000 8000 now 8000 minus 400 minus 5000 minus 2500 by abnormal loss Achha. this total i know which is 95800 95800 let us take the balancing figure 95800 minus 800 minus 6200 minus 31250 we have 1250 please i hope you guys are there with me Okay, fine. Chalo. Fair enough. So that is the abnormal loss that is uh, we have got. Okay, abnormal loss. See, everything should be clear in your mind. If some doubt is there, please raise that doubt in lecture itself. Okay, okay sir, please explain this. Okay, we have to complete this. We have to revise and also please something comes something. Uh, if there is any doubt in your mind, you have to ask me in the lecture itself or at the end whatever the case may be but you have to ask your doubt when i'm teaching something okay homework that will be done later on but whatever i'm teaching if you have any doubt please do ask the doubt okay now after process one after process one uh, achha, i can show you one working uh, because there are some students maybe they might have some doubt so output of it is just extra extra note which is written for you output of a uh, process a that is 7500 i'm gonna divide this into two parts uh 66.66 or i can say two third when i say 33.33 it is also known as one third this is transferred this is sold so when you apply that two third wala part you will get 5000 units over here you will get 2500 it is just for your information just in case you have a doubt ki sir ye kaise aaya so for that matter it is written you can also write now i have written so it is preferable if you write this is extra not a part of solution but just for your understanding okay now having done this guys having done this now will you prepare normal loss and abnormal loss account yes or no Oh, no because they are not asking for it the reason is they are not asking for it so there is no need to prepare that account now we guys can go for process b account can we do like this that uh, you will first complete that account and then i will write it down so that i will come to know whether you are getting or you are getting it or not hello i will wait for two three minutes yes. fair enough so what you need to do is you will start with this uh, that is the input you will come to know about your mistakes here okay it will become input please finish it off and tell me at the end or uh, tell me this the way here it is abnormal loss you have to tell me what is your abnormal gain or loss whatever it is and amount so my you need to send me answer like this at the end once you are complete uh, once your account is complete abnormal gain or abnormal loss and whatever is the amount please send me that answer rupees itna chalo i am waiting let's see who who gives me the first answer please complete this
Krish, right. If you get CPU, send me that even I will confirm that also. Just in case you get any CPU, just send it. Moksha, uh, that is right. That was quick. Okay, Moksha, that is right. Arpit, right. Aryan, right. Moksha has sent me that uh, abnormal wala answer, final answer, which is right. Okay, so she is the first one. Okay. Uh, okay, Vaishnavi, right. Deep, right. Aryan, right. Arpit, right. Okay, theek hai. Vaishnavi, okay. Uh, Dhruvi, right. Uh, Kushi, uh, no, Kushi, no. Uh, Nishi, uh, right answer. Chalo. Nishi, right answer. So, Nishi is second one. Oh, she gave the final answer. So, okay, now there are two people who have given it. Krish, Arpit, right. Final answer. Arpit or Krish ne diya, which is right. Vedant, right. CPU jo. Vedant give the CPU ka answer. Fair enough. So that was quite quick. Vaise to now achche se likhne ke upar dhyan dete. Chalo. So let's start writing now. Okay. Let us start writing. Ah, uh, to first of all, ah, uh, first the output uh, of the earlier process will become input. So to input from, we'll write input. From P A that is process A five hundred un five thousand units and the cost was twelve point five so that is a uh, uh, six to five hundred right now this is step number one what is step number two you need to record other expenses when I say other expenses it means sir you will have to record these this and overhead cost so ठीक है wages Then to direct expenses, which is given in the question, then overheads, which will come from working note. So first of all, what was given is twenty-four thousand and five thousand. So here I will write twenty-four thousand. Yes, sir, and five thousand. Let me check that working note. Here you can see it was eleven thousand six hundred. So that will come. So sir, step number one is done. Yes, sir. Step number two, yes, sir. That is also done. Step number one and step number two, that is done. Step number three, guys. You need to record normal loss. So here we go. We will record by normal loss, sir. How many units? First of all, percentages. So percentage is given in the question. That is a ten percent. So let's come here. And record that ten percent. So five thousand units is my input. Ten percent will be my normal loss. Let us calculate five thousand into ten percent. That becomes a five hundred. If you sell it in the market, you get ten rupees per unit. That is the selling price which is given. So five hundred into ten, sir. That becomes a five thousand. Yes, sir. Step one done. Step two done. Step three done. Step number four. Dhruvi, that is right answer. Step number four. You need to calculate the CPU. Take the total of this. 62500 plus 24000 plus 5000 plus 11600 103100 this is my total cost this is my scrap value subtract that 5000 is my input quantity 500 normal loss theek hai so my net cost is 98100 this cost is incurred for how many units sir 5000 minus 500 bolo to 4500 so 98100 divided by 4500 my cpu will be 21.8 per unit sir this is my cpu bole to cost per unit okay sir now whatever it is it is step number 4 now step number 5 guys we will have to record your actual output let's come here and record actual output acha when you talk about actual output first of all the entire output of process 2 i can say the entire output of process 2 is Sold. So what will you write? Tell me. Finished goods or costing PNL? Hello. Hello. Please uh, answer. Uh, when I say that uh, by actual output, that is uh, 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 forty-four thousand eight hundred. Costing PNL. Otherwise, if you write finished goods, what will happen? You will have to make one more account. Finished goods account. Then you will say that four thousand eight hundred again. Four thousand eight hundred. Then you will have to write costing PNL. Ha. Huh. Suppose. 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 If I tell you like this, 
out of 4800 only 4000 sold then what i would have done then i would have made one finished goods account because there is a closing stock hello uh, do you understand what i am trying to convey if this is your last process if your last process and if all units are sold then you can directly write costing pnl no need to worry hello but if i talk about this partly sold so i will have to transfer this entire thing to finished goods account then i will say something is sold and something is in closing stock uh, hello uh, am i clear at my end yes sir yes fine sir. fine yes. Fine. So, thank you for the response. You have to tell me yes or no. It gives me the confidence that you are getting it. Okay. So, here you can write finished goods. Then again, no need to make. So, instead of making writing that finished goods, it is preferable because all units are sold. I can say let us write costing PNL. Acha, what is the cost, sir? What is the cost? We have sold 4,800 units, sir. Every unit at 21.8. 4,800 into 21.8. That becomes 104. 640 yes sir so that happens so here we go once you record this once you record this is the last step last step to close the account let us close the account or uh, that first of all i know that i was expecting output of 4500 i got more it means there will be a gain so i will close this first 5300 5, there are 300 extra units this indicates abnormal gain Achha ji, this indicates abnormal gain 5000 plus 104640 okay 109640 subtract from this so 6540 yes sir and here we go this will be my answer of abnormal gain okay so the, these guys were asking for process 1 and process b process a and process b sir i am done with that i am done with this i can say i made process 1 also process 2 also but sir i need to make costing pnl account let us make costing pnl account now okay chalo again i give you some time uh, please tell me what is the profit that uh, you will earn now there is a possibility that everyone will give me the wrong answer now let's see that who is smart the one who gives me the right answer i can say he is the one who has the capability to get air all india rank let's see i want to know what is my net profit which will appear in the costing pnl you have some time please calculate amount net profit of the company which will be appearing in the costing pnl please calculate Costing PNL, make it for eight lines. Six to eight lines. Let's make it for eight lines. Costing PNL. In costing PNL, you never make quantity column, only amount column will come. Kushi uh, Nahi Sir, for this we will have to make the other two accounts Abnormal gain and abnormal loss Yeah But there is one shortcut also not to calculate the amount which is transferred to PNL account Hello. No, we can deduct now directly hmm. So one shortcut was there you can see refer question number one which is there you have, you will have the idea one shortcut is also written there to ca calculate that amount which is transferred to pnl just have a look
खुशी नहीं निशी नहीं आई वॉन्ट टू नो द प्रॉफिट विच विल बी देर हियर टू नेट प्रॉफिट निशी नहीं धन खुशी नहीं ध्वनि नहीं ध्रुवी नहीं ध्रुवी यू आर ऑलमोस्ट देर देर इज ओनली वन एरर विच इज देर जस्ट चेक देर इज ओनली वन मिस्टेक विच इज देर जस्ट हैव यू आर ऑलमोस्ट देर वेदांत नहीं आर्ची नहीं ध्रुवी जस्ट रीड द पैराग्राफ विच इज बिलो द टेबल मे बी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट यू आर फॉरगेटिंग रीड द पैराग्राफ विच इज बिलो द टेबल इन द क्वेश्चन Okay, here we go then. Or uh, let me just uh, start. Fine. Hello. Fine. So let me start. Now you can see that a uh, tejas uh, nai or uh, Dhruvi. That is right answer. So Dhruvi gave the right answer. Moksha again. You are one step away from the right answer. moksha you again the same advice read something which is below the table in the question read that paragraph you will get the answer so dhruvi got the right answer but that is after the suggestion which is given by me so that is okay but still you got the right answer fine dhruvi here we go then now uh, let us start with this first of all when you make the costing pnl guys on the debit side you will record the cost on the credit side you will record the sales acha this time the sales is happening from two processes process a also and process b also okay so if you talk about process a and process b how many units are being sold how many units are being sold from process a so you can see that 2500 units are being sold and the cost of which is 31250 31250 so 2500 units the cost of which is 31250 now process 2 is selling how many units i can say process 2 is selling uh 4800 units sir yes and the cost of which is there on the credit side so you can see the cost of which is 104640 104640 Yes, sir. Having done this, now when you sell it, so let us write that selling price. Process A and process B. When process A uh, makes the sale, two thousand five hundred units are being sold at what price? That is given in the question. That is given in the question. It is. It is fifteen rupees. Selling price of process A is fifteen. Selling price of process B, you can see selling price of process B is a uh, twenty-five rupees. So fifteen and twenty-five. Okay. So fifteen, and here we are selling four thousand eight hundred at the rate of rupees twenty-five. Okay. Let us record two thousand five hundred into fifteen. That becomes thirty-seven five hundred. Four thousand eight hundred into twenty-five. That becomes one lakh twenty thousand. okay so here we go we have recorded cost and sale so something has been recorded now sir what to do now after doing this after doing this something that is abnormal gain and abnormal loss will come okay 
we we have done this earlier also so abnormal gain and abnormal loss now if you want to go for a shortcut uh, how will you get that so by abnormal gain uh, let me write here only by abnormal gain will come over here Achha, I can show you the working as to how you will get abnormal gain. So uh, there are 300 units. Okay, cost of every unit is 21.5. So if cost of every unit is 21.5, you you thought that this is the gain which is there, which is 21.8, but that is not the gain because even if this is a scrap, you are going to get uh, that uh, scrap value in the process one is 10 rupees. You can see scrap value in process two. Scrap value in process 2 is 10 rupees that is given in the question. So any which ways you are getting 10 rupees. Just because this came out as a good product now you are getting 21.8. So this is the extra you are getting. This is nothing but cost per unit minus scrap value. The formula will be this uh, just in case if you want to know the formula will be this. That cost per unit minus scrap value into quantity we have discussed that earlier also so i can say how many units are there so there are abnormal 300 units are there so 300 abnormal units so if you just do this so 21.8 you thought this is your gain but no opportunity cost any which was you are getting 10 rupees you are getting extra it is only 11.8 into for 300 units that becomes 3540 same goes here for abnormal loss Abnormal loss will come from that process 1 account. If I talk about abnormal loss, first of all, the CPU of process 1 is kitana CPU is 12.5. So you thought 100 units you have lost. So this is your loss 12.5 every unit. But no, this is not your loss. These are not good units, but these are bad units. You can sell it in the market. If you sell it, you will recover some scrap value and scrap value is 2 rupees. So you have incurred. 12.5 rupees for every unit and you will recover 2 rupees from that again this is nothing but cost minus scrap and how many units are there in scrap so 100 it is just the reference that that is how it will be can do i need to make abnormal gain and abnormal loss account or it is understandable the calculations i did in the bracket hello I hope it and if you have revised you will understand this like we we have done this earlier I'm using a shortcut and even that it is not necessary to make abnormal gain and loss so I hope that is understood if you are revising you will understand this otherwise once the lecture is over please solve question number one again you will understand this shortcut okay so 12.5 minus 2 into 100 that becomes 1050 Achha. now that is something which was normal uh, this is something which everyone will do but there is one mistake uh, which can happen you may you may forget or there is highest possibility that you will forget to record one expense that is selling expense you can see if you read the question you will understand selling expense which is uh, here you can see of a 5000 it does not belong to process 1 and process 2 so it will be recorded in costing PNL we have discussed that also still you forgot okay so please that is very important that you will forget selling expenses of 5000 now you can close the account everything is recorded 37 500 plus 1 lakh 20 plus one zero four eight second eight second my mistake huh Achha. first of all here the totaling is wrong one six one zero four zero minus three one two five zero minus one zero four six four zero one zero zero five zero one of five thousand yeah it is nineteen one hundred so what I feel you can forget this selling expenses so please highlight this something which is highlighted there is a highest possibility that you will forget that okay so that was the question we can say we are done with this question so around 45 minutes it took but yeah we understood the concept well fair enough so that will be the PNL account we are done with this now understand one thing understand one thing if you just come to this you will understand that now I am discussing about this. 
we have discussed this normal loss and abnormal loss then there is a normal loss and abnormal gain that has been discussed now what to do with output of process 1 and what to do with output of uh, last process please understand this if you talk about this first the heading is output of process 1 okay i'm discussing this output of process 1 if you talk about this entire output of process 1 is a transferred entire output of process 1 is transferred to the next process what do you write if this is the case entire output of process or uh, the process one is transferred to the next process what is written on the credit side we write like this by output transfer to the next process that is your quantity multiplied by cpu right there is no doubt in this hello you have to say yes when i say is it clear yes sir fine so now after that the second possibility is the second possibility is process 1 is not transferring there is a process 1 it is not transferring entire output to process 2 there is a possibility it is transferring let us say 80 percent output to process 2 and it is selling 20 percent output this is sold by process 1 in the market now what to do in this case so understand now what to do in this case though whatever see there are two something is sold and something is transferred so whatever partly transferred and partly sold now whatever is transferred partly let us say there are 100 units out of 100 units 80 units are transferred so something uh, first of all 80 units are transferred so something which is transferred obviously this effect will be given output transfer to the next process whatever you transfer this will be the effect which is given by output transfer to the next process quantity multiplied by cpu now something which is very important to note now what happens with this something which is sold so out of 100 units guys 80 units we have transferred no need to worry normal effect whatever you transferred output transfer to next process but now sir we have sold 20 units what to do with this so what we did in this question so tell me something which is sold 20 units are sold by process 1 P1 has transferred only 80, 20 units are sold. What will you do with this? Tell me, with this 20 units, what will you write? By costing PNL. By costing PNL, right. But there are two possibilities, first of all. See, it was like this. If the question is silent, Achha, first I will tell you something. That is uh, your process account. Your process can be a responsibility center or it is not a responsibility center. There are two possibilities. It is not a responsibility center. It is responsibility center. Till now, whatever questions I see AI has asked, all the questions are based on this, that it is not a responsibility center. When I say it is not a responsibility center, so the question arises, what is the meaning of responsibility center? So center is nothing but one location, we can say. So it is a process account, we can say in this case. So now understand, there is a process 1, there is a process 2. Process 1 is transferring 80, process 1 is selling 20 units. Now, to sell this 20 units, what is the responsibility? See, now there are two possibilities. Uh, whatever units process 1 wants to sell, the responsibility is given to the manager. Responsibility is given to the manager of process 1 that you have to sell these units. The sales manager who is there, he is of P1 or there is a possibility that whatever 20 units which are sold by process 1 it is not the responsibility of process 1 to sell these units this 20 units will be given to the salesman who is salesman of the company now it is his responsibility to sell now the heading the headache of goods selling is not with P1 now please understand one thing when I say that whatever goods P1 has sold you just give me your thought about this if p1 has sold 20 units and it is his responsibility to sell this 20 units then in this case tell me profit will be booked in costing PL. that is profit will be booked by company or profit will be booked by process account if it is the responsibility of the process to sell this 20 units then who should book the profit process account because it is the responsibility of the process account the process account will say that i have sold this many units and this was my cost so i have earned this much profit so it is the responsibility center where earning of profit is the responsibility of that process account that you should give me this much profit sir why do we do this then whatever a profit is earned by process one bonus will be given to that manager or process one so here when i say responsibility when i say responsibility center it means you just need to understand this thing if process one is the responsibility center 
profit will be booked in process one account profit will be booked in process one account only it means when you record this tell me if this is p1 and it is a responsibility center it is his responsibility to earn profit whatever units we have sold it will be recorded at cost price or selling price selling price selling price and profit will be recorded in process one account itself so that is this if the process is a responsibility center you need to write by sales in the process one account only you will write by sales and not by costing pnl that is quantity into selling price and profit shown in process account and then it is transferred to pnl but that will be shown in the process account it is like this when profit element will come and whatever is this profit you will say that profit is nothing but this it is transferred to costing pnl and then in pnl account that profit will appear it means now it matters whether my account my uh, this center is a responsibility center or not my process is okay now in this question first of all this specify many of the times but if it is not first let me delete this now suppose process is not a responsibility center it means it is not the responsibility of that process manager to sell that headache is not there with the process account these units will be transferred to the warehouse the manager of the the sales manager of the company will sell those units now it is not the responsibility center so now this time process account will not book the profit profit will be booked by the company so therefore that selling price will come in the costing pnl account so now therefore here you will record only this quantity into cpu if the question is silent we generally do this in this question whatever we have solved here the question was silent because the question was silent we did this it is not a responsibility center uh, all uh, all the questions which are asked till now it these are based on this just in case if they write please make sure that if it is not a responsibility this will be done you have to write sales if the question is silent then assume that it is not a responsibility center and if it is not a responsibility center you will record costing pnl account at cost price in process account credit side hello is it clear Yes, sir. Okay, so suppose uh, now suppose I would have told you this that uh, this uh, uh, the process one is process one is your responsibility center. Then what you would have done this two thousand five hundred multiplied by selling price, and the profit will come here. And whatever is the profit, then that will be transferred to the costing PNL. Okay, the net profit. So that value will be this in that case. You will say this minus this. This will be recorded in the process account credit side. this will be the cost which is already there and the profit will be transferred here profit from ba you can say process a this is the profit of process a then they will say prof process b this is the profit of process b that is net of this so okay so that is clear as to what will be done over here so that we have discussed about p1 process so that is that profit will be a balancing figure so as long as loss and gain will have to calculate ha huh, that you will have to calculate entire thing will remain same you will have to calculate this and this Hello. Yes. Sir. Hmm. Process A and process B also. We used to find it as the balancing figure. Now we the balancing figure will be profit. So abnormal loss and gain. Yeah. Ha! Exactly. You will have to calculate in that case. That thing you will have to do then. Okay. Acha. otherwise what you can do is uh, you can add one more step if it is recorded at selling price you can record a uh, profit here itself directly you can record the profit how you can say that if 2500 units are sold these are being sold let us at what price uh, that is uh, sold at a uh, 20 or uh, 15 rupees so here you can record like this a uh, 15 minus 12.5 i hope you are getting this and profit yes. can be, and then still abnormal loss is taken as a balancing figure even in this case because th this is the selling price this is the cost and we have recorded profit so now balancing figure will be abnormal loss that's it it is up to you at then what you will need to take as a balance it is up to you whatever you want to do you should complete the process account that's it hello okay fine so that that is something which we have understood now okay now having done this so that was the the case now now if i talk about the another case another case that is see i have discussed about this now i will again uh, revise this 
when i talk about process one ka output there are two cases if entire output is transferred then you will say output transferred to next process quantity into cpu if not entire output is transferred then partly it is transferred and partly it is sold whatever is transferred again same entry output transferred to next process quantity into selling price whatever is sold you have to ask one thing whether it is responsibility center or whether it is not responsibility center okay if the question is silent we assume it is not a responsibility center first of all if it is not a responsibility center what you need to do we need to record as a costing pnl it is not process responsibility of a process to earn profit so you just record costing pnl that is quantity into cost per unit but if this uh, process is a responsibility center you will record sales and then quantity into sales price will be recorded and therefore profit will also come okay now now let us talk about this output of the last process now we are discussing about output of the last process now what about this so this is the working note which is output of the last process what happens with this again there are two possibilities either entire output is sold or again partly sold and partly it is in closing stock so if i tell you entire output is sold so you can directly write what by costing pnl if entire output of last process is sold the way we have done in the earlier question or if you want you can make the finished goods account but then it will be a lengthy process you will transfer the same thing to the finished goods account again same thing will come here and then you will write pnl so therefore you can avoid this account because there is no stock therefore you can avoid this account i will always do like this i can directly say costing pnl okay but if partly sold and partly in closing stock like 100 units you have made out of which only 80 are sold and 20 is in closing stock then you will have to make the finished goods account so therefore that entire thing 100 will be transferred to the finished goods and you will say 80 are sold or 20 are in closing stock okay i hope uh, you are getting everything whatever is written as and when you get any doubt you will have to ask me okay so the things are done what things are done first if there is a case of normal loss and abnormal loss if there is a case of normal loss and abnormal gain what about output of p1 what about output of last process and what about costing pnl tell me in costing pnl how many elements will be recorded that is very important if you talk about the costing pnl how many elements are recorded in costing pnl first you need to record cost you need to record sales tell me other than this what else you need in costing pnl cost and sales abnormal loss, abnormal yes abnormal loss and abnormal gain there is one more thing which is spending any other expense exactly any expenses which is incurred by the company but it is not apportioned to process one and process two it is not apportioned like overheads was apportioned but selling this and distribute suppose something like this is written indirect expenses and no information is given so in that case this indirect expenses will appear in your costing pnl account and then you will get the balancing figure so you can see that about pnl account the working out about pnl account common expenses if the ratio for apportionment to process account is given if there is any common expense like let us say it is written company has incurred a 10,000 and the ratio is given that this much will give, go to PNL this much will go to P2 P1 and P2 yes then it will go to the process account that expense but again like selling expense 5,000 no ratio is provided if the no ratio is provided then that uh, expense will directly go to the PNL account if the ratio is given or it is not given you just need to see to it that if the ratio is given yes then please it will go to the respective account if the ratio is not given then it is cost of the company which will be transferred to the debit of pnl account now shortcut for abnormal gain and loss shortcut for abnormal gain and loss that is what total cpu minus scrap value into quantity that is shortcut for your abnormal gain and i can say abnormal loss value which is transferred to pnl account okay so that was the whole revision as to uh, what we can say whatever we have done uh, with reference to this uh, process okay uh, let us give the heading as process account with wip stock like this uh, we are going for a second part process account with wip stock Now what is process account with WIP stock let us understand once I take the examples things will be uh, more clearer to you so please understand whatever examples I take okay uh, first of all what is WIP that we know WIP is something that you started working on those units 
but the job is not finished yet like we can say you started solving cost sheet only 80 percent it is done like suppose there are nine questions out of nine you have solved only five questions so it is known as WIP that you started something but you haven't finished yet Achha. you haven't started for cost sheet it is a raw material then for you once you complete all the question it becomes finished goods that you are done with that chapter okay so now WIP is something which is in between okay work is started but it is not completed okay like you are a WIP you have started doing CA but you haven't finished yet okay you are in between I am finished product you can see that and your friends those who are not doing CA they are raw material okay now Having done this, uh, let me take one example. Let us say this is one pizza. Okay, let's take one example. You will have more clarity. Achha, let us say this is one pizza and yeah, let's divide it into eight, not four parts. There are four slices to this pizza. And yeah, here we go. This is one slice. Okay. Now. Now what I am telling you is, suppose the cost of one pizza is, suppose if I tell you cost of, cost per unit, cost per unit it means cost per pizza, unit is pizza over here and cost of one pizza is let us say 400, so one pizza cost you 400 rupees, now, 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 you uh, let us say in the morning you ate one pizza and there were four friends so you ate only one fourth part in the morning then let us say or this is day one day two day three day four whatever it is and after four days if i tell you what is the amount that you will have to pay to your friends so can you can you tell me like this that because you ate four units it will be four into 400 is it right answer or it is wrong answer what is the amount no, that no, wrong no. what will you do no, tell no. me it will be divided by it will be divided by 4 whatever is your answer or I can see that 4 units are WIP you ate 4 units 1 2 3 4 but not entire units you ate you ate only 25 percent of it so if I convert that if I convert into equivalent production equivalent production that is equivalent finished goods equivalent production will be 4 units so if, one pizza exactly 4 units which are 25 percent complete is equivalent to one entire unit it means if you have consumed 4 pizzas and only 25 percent portion of that 4 pizzas is uh, uh, like you ate accordingly I can say at the end you ate one entire pizza so 4 units which are 25 percent complete is equivalent to one unit which is fully completed this is equivalent production so 4 WIPs is equal to 1 unit Achha, just in case if I tell you like this there are 2 pizzas and you ate uh, half of that that is 50% 50% still I will say that 2 units if 50% portion is done is equivalent to 1 full unit is completed hello I hope you understand this Yes, sir. or the cost which is incurred on two units which is which are 50 percent complete is equivalent to the cost which is incurred on one entire unit it okay so here first of all we understand this is equal to this so that is known as equivalent production okay so now what happens with this equivalent production let us understand now I will give you an example let us say this is no need to write this is just for your clarity I am taking one example just for your clarity so that you will have some idea when we solve the question let us say here I write particulars this is quantity amount again I write particulars quantity and amount and this is your process account okay let's say that labor labor worker has started working on 100 units you paid him 85,000 rupees now once that year or once that week or month whatever it is it is ended at the end I can see that how many units he has fully completed whatever he has fully completed that is transferred to the next process if this is transferred to next process something which is fully completed and something which is not completed is closing WIP 
till now whatever questions we have solved what was the case whatever we if we start working on 100 units we will complete that whatever is your normal loss that will be there and whatever is abnormal that will be there and whatever remaining units that these are fully completed and these are transferred to the next process but i hope there is a possibility you understand work there is no normal and abnormal loss okay now we can see that in this case if worker has started working on 100 units out of 100 units 80 units are fully completed it means 100 percent work is done but on this 20 units only 25 percent work is done hello first of all you are getting it as to what i am saying on this 100 units we started working out of which 100 percent work is done on 80 units so now there is no need to work on these units these are transferred to the next process and on this 20 units only 25 percent work is done so 75 percent work will be done in the next period if this is first month it is jan month this 25 75 percent remaining work will be done in the february if it is jan okay now what is important what is important if i tell you what is there are three things which you will have to calculate can you tell me equivalent production workers have actually produced how many units equivalent production please 80 units sorry workers have produced how many units what is your equivalent production can i say 85 i hope you understand Worker started working on this 100 units, 100% work is done on this 80 units. So, on 80 units, 100% work is done. Therefore, these are transferred to the next process. For remaining 20 units, which are in closing WIP, because something is yet to be done. So, on this 20 units, only 25% work is done. So, I hope you understand, if on 20 units, 25% work is done, is equivalent to... 5 complete units. 5 full units. Five full units. Same goes here. Like 4 units, if these are 25% complete, is equivalent to 1 e full unit. Are, uh, I hope you understand this. Hello, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh. So, you understand this. So, I can say that worker have actually completed 85 units. So, they have completed 85 units. 80 full units and on 20 units only 25% work is done. Now in this case, I will calculate the CPU. What I will calculate? I will calculate the CPU which is cost per unit. Achha, if you guys calculate the CPU, understand in this case, if you guys calculate the CPU, uh, the CPU will be very simple. There is a labor cost only. So you paid labor, how much you paid labor? 85,000 rupees. And buying 85,000 units, he has completed how many units? So, I can say what is your equivalent production? He has completed 85 units. You paid him 85,000. It is like this. You paid 400 rupees and you ate only one pizza. So, that is how it is here. Here you can see that you paid worker 85,000. He gave you 85,000 equivalent units. So, for every unit actually we are paying him thousand rupees this is cost per unit so see what you calculated you got quantity you got your rate that is cost per unit now if you multiply this you will get your amount which is your cost that is now you will go for a allocation of cost total cost see to it what is your total cost how will you get this now if i want to know the value of transferred units what will i say my worker have completed 80 units so my cost will be 1000 rupees per unit so it will be uh, 80,000 but for closing WIP but for closing WIP I hope you understand even though I will not write 20 here I will write 5 units I hope you understand why because even though 20 units are there but he has completed only 25% portion is equivalent to he has completed 5 units and for every completed units, 1000 rupees are given. So, this will be uh, 5000. 1000 rupees is cost per unit and this will be 85,000. That is how allocation will be done. That is 80,000 will come over here. And 5000 will come over here. You cannot say that 85,000 will be divided in this ratio. 80 is to 20. No, it will be divided in the 80 is to this. 
20 to 25 percent like the, this ratio will be there 80 is 80 and 5 hello do you have any doubt in this first of all do you have any doubt no sir no so so bolo तो भी चलेगा तो भी चलेगा यू कैन डू लाइक दिस की इफ वन यूनिट इज फुल्ली कंप्लीटेड यू पे हिम थाउजेंड इफ ओनली ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट वर्क इज डन यू विल पे हिम टू फिफ्टी फॉर दैट सो टू फिफ्टी इन टू यू विल गेट द सेम आंसर एट दी एंड वैसे कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा हेलो हाँ फाइन सो दैट कैन बी डन ओके नो नाउ हैविंग डन दिस हैविंग डन दिस नाउ same thing we will solve a question but uh, question ka solution will be quite bigger like this is just one concept which uh, i have introduced you with so now as and when i solve question there are few steps you which you will have to follow first guys you will have to make process account first what you will have to make process account whatever information which is there in the question you will have to make process account second step will be second step will be now then in this case you will have to make equivalent production statement which is this then you will have to make cpu statement and after multiplying this you will get the next statement which will be your statement showing allocation of cost that is main allocation of cost that is how 85000 will be divided idhar kitna idhar kitna that is allocation of cost so three statements will be made so please uh, be careful with this this is a one basic example which is there i will refer to this again and again so that we can solve the question so the concept has been explained uh, now based on this uh, let us go for a question so things will be more clear clear to you let us solve a question uh, let us solve one question only so th that will give you more idea okay uh, now uh, so this concept is there uh, let's go for the questions we will introduce you with the steps also now let us start with the question and answer pay attention uh, initially it will be quite difficult then you will have a habit of this but first pay attention for this so let us go for this question uh, here we go the question there are some steps that we will have to follow first what is the first step uh, by the time i will explain the logic also okay first of all uh, uh, read this step the step number 1 will be process account you need to make process account sir how will you make the process account read entire question and fill up the process account so we will read the entire question and we will fill up the process account sir process account for how many lines again 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 so lines it will be prepared for so let us make one process account for 10 lines process one account you can see the heading it is a process one account so please write it down process one account okay once the formatting is done just let me know i will explain each and everything one by one it will take lot of time this question the first question yeah but uh, you will have a conceptual clarity once we are done with this okay चलो आई थिंक वी कैन स्टार्ट ओके फाइन सो लेट्स गो विद द सोल्यूशन पार्ट नाउ द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज यू नीड टू रीड द एंटायर क्वेश्चन एंड वॉट एवर इन्फॉर्मेशन विच इज देयर यू जस्ट नीड टू ट्रांसफर इट लाइक फिल अप द प्रोसेस अकाउंट आफ्टर रीडिंग द क्वेश्चन फिल अप द प्रोसेस अकाउंट चलो लेट इज डू दिस एक्टिविटी लेट्स रीड okay following information is given for process 1 for the month so information which is given it is for a month okay what all things are given to so first of all you just need to decide whether that thing will come on the debit side or credit side first of all something new will come into the picture okay when you make the process account now what new will come opening wip will also come which is stock of wip and there will be a closing wip which will come something which we started but uh, it is not completed that will become opening in the next period okay so opening and closing will come okay you just need to tell me whether it is debit side or whether it is credit side okay so data is given with reference to production guys first of all 
the first data is uh, units in process now the data is for the month of february you need to check the data is given for the month of february this is first february it means this is known as opening okay and here it is written units in process as on 20th february it means this is closing Achha, tell me 4000 whether debit side or credit side this is quantity debit, data debit. everything is in units so i can say this data is in quantity or units so it will be recorded on the debit side i hope you understand that closing stock will be uh, appearing on the credit side now new units introduced new units introduced bolo debit or credit debit, debit. units completed credit ठीक है तो चलो do let's do one thing let us transfer this so let me write here to opening wip now question will always start with to opening wip so we will give the heading as to opening wip and yeah then you somewhere uh, here you can write how many units are there so units are 4000 opening wip on the credit side you will always have to follow this format first you will write normal loss whatever is there that will be specified in the question later on then some units will be transferred that is by output transferred to next process which is a process to then we will say closing WIP So you will always follow this format first you will write opening wip if the normal loss is there so that one line will be there for that if some output is transferred that the second part will be this then there is a closing wip now and here it will be to input material like input material so this format will be there input material Achha, let's read now what is given is a 16,000 units introduced that will come over here 16,000 units has been introduced uh, 14,000 are units completed which can be seen so it will come over here 14,000 units completed which are transferred to the next process and there is a closing WIP of 6,000 which can be seen so as of now I did this there is an opening WIP there is an input there is an output transfer and there is a closing WIP yes sir, this much is clear now I can proceed yes fine once this much is done now let us talk about the values cost records the details is given with reference to cost records so information or the details is given whatever was your opening WIP I can say that whatever was your opening WIP some information is given for that you can see this opening WIP of 4000 which is there in the question some information is there that is this a uh, little bit printing mistake is there this is actually material this is labor and this is overheads and then this is total so please uh, make those corrections so if I talk about that it is material labor and overhead or uh, it is a 6000 1000 1000 and total becomes 8000 this 8000 represents the cost of this 4000 units the opening WIP which is there the opening WIP which is there the cost is 8000 so please write it down here 8000 whatever 4000 units we have in opening WIP we have whatever work we have done till now we have incurred 8000 rupees bifurcation we have but we don't want bifurcation of that because it is a cost which is incurred in the last period okay now again there is a cost record which is given it is incurred during the month during the month it means in the current month which month February month Achha, if I talk about this you have incurred material you have incurred labor you have incurred uh, overheads also Achha, again uh, there is a small error uh, which is there uh, please make that correction this will be 15,000 then your total will be 25,600 plus 15,000 plus 15,000 that will be 55,600 so please make that correction 55,600 okay so now there is a material there is a labor and then there is a overheads 25,600 then there is a 15,000 then you will say here it is 15,000 labor and overheads now 
yeah because it is cost which is incurred in the current period it will be written with the bifurcations cost of last year i am not interested i just need the total 8000 we have incurred in the current year 25600 15000 15000 step number 1 what is step number 1 read the question read the entire question whatever is the information which is there in the question please write it down we are done with this okay uh, are you done till here hello everyone Yes, sir. Fair enough. Okay. Now, now, what we need to make, what we need to make is process account. What we need to make is a process account, and uh, here you can see the process account. And then here is a statement. There are three statements. One is statement of equivalent production, statement showing a cost per unit. I can say, and statement showing apportionment of cost. So it is a statement of quantity. It is a statement of CPU. It is a statement of cost, which is nothing but quantity into CPU. And then at the end you need to make the process account okay we made the process account okay there are two methods first we will solve this question with the fifo method then it will be solved with the lifo method so as of now the question whatever we are solving that will be as per fifo method so you can please specify that in bracket the method which is followed by us is fifo method okay right now the question which we are solving we are following fifo method okay Having done this, you can see that in the entire question, nothing is specified about normal loss. In the entire question, nothing is specified about the normal loss. If nothing is specified, maybe there is no normal loss. You can see, it tallies. 20,000 is my input total. Out of that, you can see 14,000 are completed and 6,000 are in WIP. So, there is no normal loss in this question. Okay. Now, the, in the next question, it will come. Do not worry. As of now, because uh, it is just an introduction, there is no normal loss. After one or two questions, it will come. Do not worry about that. Okay. So, there is no normal loss and you can see there is no normal and abnormal loss. Nothing like that is there. Now, there is a question mark. I would like to calculate the value of 14,000 and 6,000 units. I would like to know the value. First of all, tell me. If it is a FIFO method, it is a FIFO method, maybe you must be aware of this method, sir. What does it signify? FIFO method. Tell me, when you have produced this 14,000 units, first you will complete what? First you will complete this 4,000 or this 16,000? Uh, first, 4, first this 4,000 will be completed. Now FIFO method, that is first in, this is first. First please finish it off and then this will be, you will finish it off. Okay, now I can say that, please understand this. This 4000 units came over here. Then from this 16,000, because totally you have produced 14,000. So, how many units? 10,000 units you have completed. And 6,000 is in WIP. I hope you understand. It means this 6,000, 4000 units have been completed. And you started working on this 16,000 units which are here input material fresh material you completed 10,000 of that and 6,000 are still in WIP that calculation you should understand now we need to make three statements guys if you see the question okay now if you see the question we need to make three statements the first one here it is equivalent production let us make that statement and even before that let us read these steps so what was step number one step number one was a process account we did that Read the entire question, we did that and fill up the process account, we did this. Then, step number 2. If we talk about step number 2, it is a quantity column. Close the quantity column of process account. If the balancing figure is on the debit side, it is abnormal gain. If it is on the credit side, it is abnormal loss. That is something which we know. If the balancing figure is on the debit side, it is a gain. If it is on the credit side, it is abnormal loss. But in this question, it tallies. So, there is no abnormal gain and loss. It tallies, you can see. No abnormal gain and loss. So, okay. So that step can be done over here. Now, step number 3. If you talk about step number 3, what you will have to make is a FIFO method. As per FIFO method, you will have to make some format. Let us discuss that format. Let us make that format. Or you just, pay, uh, just give the heading first with me. Just give the heading. This first one is your process account. The second one is statement showing. Please write with me statement showing equivalent production please give the heading as statement showing equivalent production
स्टेटमेंट शोइंग इक्वल एंड प्रोडक्शन हाउ मेनी एक्सपेंसेस आर देयर थ्री मटेरियल लेबर एंड ओवरहेड ओके यू यू कैन वेट यू विल मेक दिस टेबल लेटर ऑन यू जस्ट वेट फॉर सम टाइम वन टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स लाइन्स वी विल लीव ऑलवेज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स now pay attention uh, here i can give heading as a particulars then quantity or units we can say percentages units percentages units percentages units okay here it is material labor and overhead c this two columns it will uh, this will always be there which is particulars and units then because there are three expenses which are incurred during the year that is material labor and overhead we will have to make three columns material labor and overhead now first of all what i want to do is i would like to know the value of these two things this 14000 and this 6000 i would like to calculate the value of this okay that can be done do not worry what will you write here first the heading will be given as by output uh, or the first point will be you will say a output transferred to next process transferred to process 2 whatever output you have transferred to process 2 which is 14000 it will be divided into two parts the a part will be here the first part will be you see you need six lines okay ओके ठीक है हियर यू कैन राइट ओपनिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी कंप्लीटेड स्टार्टेड एंड कंप्लीटेड नाउ पे अटेंशन व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज what i am saying is you start you have completed this 14000 because it is a fifo method first you will complete this 4000 that is whatever 14000 has been completed first you completed opening wip that is 4000 so if total completion is 14000 out of that 4000 is from opening wip 10000 are those units which are started during this year and completed also during this year 100% work is done during this year yes sir acha now if i talk about this which is b closing wip what is your closing wip you can see in the question your closing wip is i give the bifurcation of 14000 which is 4 and 10 and there is a closing wip i hope you understand this 6 16000 is nothing but this 16000 out of which 10000 has been completed and yeah 6000 are still in wip it these are partly completed now because it is fifo method please listen to me very carefully because this is fifo method i would like to know in the current period what is the work which is done what is the work which is done in the current period now listen to me carefully listen to me carefully i would like to calculate equivalent production what is equivalent production so if there are four units there are four units i need your 100% attention otherwise you will not understand anything okay if there are four units and uh, if 25% work is done on four units is equivalent to one unit is completed this is equivalent production one unit okay no now i am thinking about the current year now understand this this is very easy tell me on this 10000 units material is used for how many percentages i can say 100% or so let's go for opening wip first let us go for opening wip first now opening wip please uh, listen to this if i talk about opening wip what was written all materials are used it means when this 4000 units were there at the beginning of the month uh, all material was used tell me whether do we uh, whether we have used 
uh, any material during this month in the month of February on this 4000 units? Is there any material which is used on this 4000 units? Yes or no? No. No, we haven't used any material because it was already 100% complete. All material was already used when it was on 1st Feb. So when on 20th Feb, I can say during this, I haven't used any material because it was already completed with reference to material. 100% job was done. So during this month, in the current period, if I talk about in the current period, I haven't used any material. Please listen to me carefully. Now you will understand. So no material has been used. Now, if I talk about labor and overhead, labor and overhead, 25% work was done. It means now understand when it was on 1st February, when it was on 1st February, with reference to material, 100% work was done on 20th Feb because it is fully completed. You can see that it is fully completed. Output transfer to next process, it means 100% work is done. So if it is fully completed, it means 100% material is used. Yes, sir. Same goes for labor and overhead also. It is 100% done. But no material is used during this year because this month because it was already 100% complete. Now understand if 25% it was complete when it was at the first Feb. Okay, on first Feb it was 25% complete. Now as on 20th Feb if it is 100% complete with reference to labor, how much work is done by worker during this month? 75% are you understand that because it was already 25% complete when it was at the first fab so if at the end the 100% work is done so we have further completed it is a 20 75% work which we have done during this month so you need to understand we have done only 75% work on this in the current period how much work we have done 75% work we have done Achha. If I talk about started and completed, tell me as on 1st Feb, if I talk about started and completed, now uh, just you, you need to tell me if I talk about that started and completed 1st Feb on those uh, 10,000 units, it was zero completion with reference to material, labor and overhead. No work was done. As on 20th Feb, 100% work is done on everything. So can I say 100% work is done? Huh. So in that case, if I say 100% work is done, so material is also used for 100%, labor also for 100% and overhead also 100%. I hope uh, that is uh, clear. Hello. I, I would like to know that what is the work I have done during current month. Current month, may whatever work I have done, I would like to know those percentages. Now, let us talk about this 6000 units. Now you will tell me. Read this and tell me for material you will write how much. There are two options. All materials are used. Either you will write zero or you will write hundred percent. Be very careful. It is closing WIP. Hundred percent. Any reason? Can you give me the reason? Ki, sir, why hundred percent? Oh, because these are uh, there is no uh, the, the entire material is used in the uh, current month. The hundred percent material was used to produce this. Uh, uh, Exactly. As on 1st Feb, no work was done. Zero work was done. As on 20th Feb, I can say 100% uh, material is used. So whatever work we have done, it is during current month only. So 100% material is used during current month. These are something on 1st Feb which were not in existence. These are fresh units. Like this 6000 comes from where? See if I talk about these two. On 1st Feb, it was zero. Now. If I talk about this 6000 with reference to labor, what is given in the question is 33% complete. What is given in the question is 33% complete for labor and overhead. Tell me, if it is 33% complete for labor and overhead, what will you write? 33.33 or 66.67? 33.33 33 .33. because as on 1st Feb no work was done, as on 20th Feb 33.33 is done, it means this work is done during current period only. 33.33 I will never write, I will always write one third. If it is 33.33, please you can make the note somewhere. If it is 33.33, I will always use one third. If it is 66.67, it means it is two third. So you can write somewhere else. Just in case you have a doubt, you can write this note somewhere. Okay. 
Now, in this case, uh, here it is one third, one third. Okay. Now, you can observe one thing. Now, I can give you one, uh, uh, one shortcut. If something is started and completed, you will always write 100% because it is started in this year or in this month and it is completed also in this month. So, you will write 100%. Is it clear? Hello? Yes. Hmm. yes. Chalo, if I tell you, opening WIP was uh, 60%. And it is fully completed at the end. So, can you tell me what is the work which is done during current period? 40%. 40%, right. So, that will be the thing. It means I can say whatever percentages which are given for opening WIP, you don't have to write as it is. You need to take balance from the 100. Like 100% 100 work was already done, minus 100. So, no work is done during current period. 25% work was already done, minus 100. It means 75% work is done now. Because it is 100% complete now. So, balance part is done now. Okay. When I talk about closing WIP, see, one shortcut is like this. Now, uh, if you understand shortcut, that is good. For a uh, closing, uh, first of all, for started and completed, you should always write 100%. For opening WIP, you should always write the percentages after subtracting from 100. If 25% is given for opening WIP, write 75. Because this balance part is done during current period. And for closing WIP, you have to write as it is, whatever percentages are given in the question. So, let me refer those steps also for you. See, output transfer, you can see here. Output transfer to the next process. Two parts, opening WIP completed, started and completed. Percentage is given in the question, minus 100 for opening WIP. For started and completed, always 100%. For closing WIP, you will take percentages given in the question as it is. Don't only for opening WIP you will have to subtract from 100 and this is pending that will come in the next question of normal gain and loss as of now let us not focus upon this okay let me calculate this uh, so on 4000 units 75 percent work is done is equivalent to workers have done workers have completed 3000 units on 4000 units again 75 percent work is done is equivalent to work is done on 3000 units 10,000 10,000, 10,000. Then on this 6,000, all materials are used. It means material is used on 6,000. On this 6,000 units, worker have done only 33.33, one third work. So, is equivalent to workers have produced 2,000 units. 6,000 units which are produced, on which only one third work is done, is equivalent to 2,000 units are produced. So, 2,000, 2,000. Here I will take the total which is 16,000. Here it will be 15,000, here it will be 15,000. It means I can say whatever cost I have incurred in this year, in the current period or in the current month, it is incurred for this many units on this 10,000 and on this 6,000, that is in this 16,000 we can say. And whatever cost we have incurred, this of 15,000 rupees, it is incurred on this many units. We have the bifurcation on opening this much, on started and completed this much. Hello. Acha. By the time you will get the confidence once we solve more questions. As of now, you can copy this much. Please copy this much. So, so basically, ye statement mein, jo month humko hai, February, hmm. usme jo jo material, labor, or overhead. Exactly. Hai, Whatever work we have done, jo bhi kaam apko nees mahine mein kya apne ko wo dekhna hai. Okay, okay, sir. Hmm. Acha. So. ओके नाउ ये होने के बाद ओके हां लिखो प्लीज राइट जस्ट फॉर योर रेफरेंस प्लीज राइट इट डाउन यू विल ऑलवेज लीव सिक्स लाइंस ओवर हियर For process, we leave 10 lines that we know. Done. Okay. Still, I will wait because there is a possibility others are writing. So, please finish.
ओके और जैसे ही हो जाता है वंस यू आर डन टाइप डी सो दैट आई विल अंडरस्टैंड पांच छह लोगों का डन आ जाएगा तो आई कैन स्टार्ट ओके इफ समवन इज राइटिंग प्लीज टाइप डब्ल्यू और एवरीवन इज राइटिंग डन ओके सो इट मींस दिस मच इज डन नाउ we made this statement which is statement showing equivalent production or uh, can someone tell me what will be the next statement uh, i even though that you haven't written but still what can be the next statement you can see that after equivalent production we have calculated that like this ki worker have uh, produced 85 units now what is your cost per unit that is something which you will have to calculate so now the next statement will be statement showing cost per unit guys statement showing cost per unit statement showing cost per unit if you talk about that which is a statement showing cost per unit you will write particulars then you will write how many expenses are there three to so material labor overheads what will you write material labor and overheads okay statement showing cost per unit now understand again as in when you follow fifo method guys your entire thinking will be current period what is the cost which we have incurred in the current period okay so if i talk about the cost which is incurred in the current period you can see that here statement showing cpu if we talk about cost incurred in current period minus scrap net cost divided by so please let's write this you will understand the logic also as of now please write cost incurred in current period it can be month or it can be year so i always write period it is month in this question minus scrap which is not given in this question any which means but still i will write that i will get net cost divided by equivalent production I will get CPU cost per unit, which is current. So we get total CPU. CPU means cost per unit. Okay, you can write somewhere. CPU means cost per unit. Okay. After doing this format, after doing this format, let us go for some calculations now. Understand. what is the cost guys that we have incurred during this month of february with reference to material labor and overhead so first of all can someone please tell me what is the cost that i have incurred during this month for material this month february month 25600 you can see this is the cost which is incurred during this month 25600 15000 15000 so 25600 incurred then 15000 was incurred for labor 15000 we have incurred for overhead okay there is no scrap in this question you can see normal loss zero once it comes i will tell you what to do with that also in this question there is no scrap see you can see there is no scrap in this question okay so you can see that uh, cost minus scrap you got the out uh, you got the net cost okay once you get the net cost now you will have to divide by equivalent production so i can tell you that during this month during this month you have incurred this much cost and after incurring this much cost this cost was incurred on how many units so during this month you have used or whatever cost was incurred it was on this many units 6000 units acha can i say like this During the month of February, I have paid my worker fifteen thousand rupees. I gave them fifteen thousand rupees. I gave this much amount. I paid this much amount. And after paying this much amount, what is the work they have done during this month? So I can say these four thousand units they have done twenty five percent work because seventy five per seventy five percent work is done during this month of February because twenty five percent work was already done when it was on the first Feb. On this ten thousand units, they have done full work. on this 6000 they have done one third work so after doing that i came to know that they have completed 15000 units hello i paid them 
this it came from here again it will come from here so here i can say 25600 amount is incurred for material for 16000 units rate is this rate is this rate is this so my material cost per unit is uh, 1.6 my labor cost is 1 my overhead cost is 1 hello yes hmm. yes okay so after doing this i can say that if i want to manufacture one unit my cost will be 3.6 per unit cost per unit is 3.6 acha now i will give you one idea i will give you one idea what was my normal formula to calculate the cpu it was total cost minus scrap divided by total quantity minus normal loss quantity yes that is what i did first of all total cost minus scrap that is what i have done you can see total cost minus scrap that is not there so that is your numerator it is this now divided by whatever cost i have incurred it is incurred for how many units it is incurred for how many units so it is incurred now in this case you can see you cannot apply this same formula you cannot just take the total of this okay this is my total cost and divide by units because material is used for 16000 units but labor and overhead is only for 15000 units so you cannot just take the total and use that formula that let us take the total because units are different for material and units are different for labor and overhead so units are different work done is different earlier the work was 100% so for every whether it is material for whether it is labor or whether it is overhead 100% work was done so it was same it means if it is 15000 here also 15 here also 15 for material labor and overhead or 16 16 16 it was same so you could have written like this you can take the total of this now you can say divide by either 15000 or 16000 because work done earlier was 100% for every unit but now in this question you can see work done is different here it is 100 100 here it is 100 130 here it is 75 75 uh, i don't know whether you are getting confused or what but just wait once we solve more questions maybe things will be more clear but still just in case you are not getting it please let me know hello are you getting this whatever we have done till now thoda thoda at least yes sir understood understood yes, sir. fine so we have incurred this much cost it is like this that uh, you paid your labor 85000 rupees which which comes from here and this 80 uh, 85 units comes from here so cost per is 100 now i need to make the statement which is next statement is allocation of cost which is nothing but multiplication of these two statements guys these two statements now first of all this was my step uh, when you refer the pdf which is provided to you guys you can see this cost incurred in the current period minus scrap you gonna get the net cost divided by equivalent production which will come from above statement and then you will have your cpu theek hai chalo now i need to go for the step number 5 which is the statement showing apportionment of cost or allocation of cost whatever you write we will write apportionment chalo fourth statement showing apportionment of cost so give the heading statement showing apportionment of cost okay so when i say statement showing apportionment of cost what will be written over here is now multiplication of two statements so when i do this first it is nothing but multiplication of this so please give the heading as output transfer to process 2 you will understand uh, uh, in bits and parts so please as of now write down output transferred to process 2 which is next process how many units we have transferred 14000 you can see it on the credit side of process account we have transferred 14000 units it can be seen here i would like to know the value of this and this 14000 ka bifurcation is like this 4000 and 10000 so whatever output you have transferred to the next process guys that will be divided into two parts part number 1 will be 
ओपनिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी कंप्लीटेड हाउ मेनी यूनिट वर देर फोर थाउजेंड एट द बिगनिंग विच वर कंप्लीटेड अच्छा प्लीज राइट लाइक दिस पर्टिक्यूलर मटीरियल लेबर ओवर हेड अच्छा वेन वी राइट लाइक दिस यू नीड टू राइट इक्वी वेल एंड प्रोडक्शन दिस इज अ शॉर्टकट टू इक्वी एंड प्रोडक्शन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सी पी यू नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल tell me uh, if i talk about material please you need to understand with reference to material on this 4000 units all materials were already used no material is used during this period so it is nil on this 4000 units worker have done 75% work it means they have completed 3000 and 3000 units we can say for labor and overhead it will come from the 3000 and 3000 so units are not there now in the current month in the month of february i know that as and when worker produces one unit i pay him kitna rupya so see the data came from here actually this data i have written i will write this data as and when worker produces one unit i give him 1 rupee and overhead cost is also 1 rupee per unit so i will write it down so your cost will be 6000 now one question to you tell me this 6000 which cost the 6000 which i have returned this is the cost which is incurred in the current period on this 4000 units or this is a total cost current period current yes, period because when you multiplied by 1 and 1 this cpu is with cpu cost which is incurred in the current period in the current period see there were 4000 units in the current period you have done 75% work and in the current period as and when worker is producing one unit you pay him 1 rupee this is the cost which is paid for every one unit in the current period okay now 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 one simple question to you if i take if i let's take the example of cake you are manufacturing a cake okay or uh, last day or in the previous day you have completed 60% portion of the cake you have incurred 600 rupees now this became opening wip cost is 600 now during this month uh, like let us say that is today let us say today you have completed 40% work and you have incurred 400 rupees it is a current cost tell me if i talk about cake you want to 100 rupees ka profit this is the cost which is incurred in the last day that is yesterday we, we can say this is the cost which is incurred today which is 400 which is current cost now if i want to add a margin of 100 rupees can you tell me what will be the selling price of the cake is it 400 plus 100 or it is 1000 plus 100 1100 plus 100 1100 1100 now so see does it matter even though the cost is incurred in the previous period still it is a cost na so it will be recovered from the customer otherwise you can to say like this sir one cake entire cake was produced yesterday today i am selling it today i have incurred zero cost so sir i can sell it for free also no you cannot do this you have incurred the cost so it does not matter whether the cost is incurred in the current period or in the last period the cost is incurred you will recover it from the customer as simple as that it means as in when you calculate the cost of a product you need to add today's cost also and yesterday's cost also so on this 4000 units you have incurred 6000 rupees in the february month but sir it was opening wip so the some cost is incurred some portion so the some other cost is also incurred in the jan month that is in the previous month so when this stock of 4000 was there on the beginning of the first feb what was the cost which was already incurred on this that was 8000 hello you can see this here this is not incurred in the current period this is incurred in the last period 8000 you can see also in the question see this 8000 this 8000 that is first feb cost record it is not incurred in the current period it is incurred in the last period 
बट इट इज अ कॉस्ट ना तो यू विल हैव टू एड दिस एज ऑफ नाउ यूर फोकस वॉज ऑन द करंट विद द पीपो मेथड आफ्टर डूइंग दैट यू विल सी इन द लास्ट पीरियड ऑल्सो यू हैव इन कॉड सिक्स थाउजेंड सो टोटल यू हैव इन कॉड फोर्टीन थाउजेंड ऑन दिस दिस इज विच इज लास्ट पीरियड कॉस्ट so this is the total cost so whatever 4000 units which are fully completed 6000 is incurred in the month of february and before that you have incurred 6000 so till now total 14000 has been incurred okay now 14000 units are divided into two parts 6000 which were from opening wip now if you see 10000 are from started and completed if 10000 are from started and completed there will be a second part started and completed when i say started and completed it means all these 10000 units are started in the current month and completed also in the current month now you should know that there are 10000 units tell me if 100% work is done now it does not make any sense if you do like this i hope you understand that 10000 into 1.6 10000 into 1 10000 into 1 what is a shortcut i can see in order to manufacture one unit you incur 3.6 and you have produced 10000 units and for every unit you incur 3.6 36000 tell me do i need to add any cost of last year yes or no no i hope you understand why because 100% work is done during current period no cost was incurred in the last period abhi kuch logo ka dimag kharab ho gaya rahega there is a possibility uh because it is going to some higher level matlab this is one of the difficult topic in costing vacancy there are few topics when you learn standard costing i will tell you something is difficult when you learn process now this is one of the difficult topics where uh, students get confused but do not worry this is the first question we will solve many questions and you will have a confidence for that matter do not worry third now let me see whether you can do this or not acha not third just take the total of this 14000 plus 36000 now please understand what i am trying to say you have given output of 14000 that output of 14000 is divided into two parts something was from opening wip you can see the statement of equivalent production something is from started and completed that is current period when i say opening wip it means uh, some cost is incurred some cost is incurred in the previous period and some cost will be incurred in the current period the cost incurred in the current period will be 6000 the cost which was incurred in the previous period it will come from the debit side of process account which is 8000 if you take the total so on this 4000 units you have incurred 14000 14000 units were divided into two parts 4000 and 10000 on this 10000 you have incurred 36000 So now, if you take the total fourteen thousand and thirty-six thousand on this fourteen thousand units, you have incurred fifty thousand rupees. This will be the value of this fourteen thousand units. Uh, initially, you will be thoda confused ki kya chal raha hai karke kya khataranak hai, but do not worry. Uh, by the time you will have a clarity. This is just first question, so you will have some phobia about it. Do not worry. Okay, confidence will come with practice. Okay, now. let us talk about this closing wip if i talk about this closing wip please answer to me whether do uh, whether have i incurred any cost in the last period on this 6000 no, no it is something it is from this started but not completed i can give the heading it is started and completed these are 10000 this 6000 are started but not completed 6000 acha now 6000 2000 2000 if i give the heading b part so this was a part which was which is done now this is b part closing wip again you will write particulars material labor overhead 
अच्छा वेन यू टॉक अबाउट दिस विच इज क्लोजिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी देर इज अ पर्टिकुलर देन देर इज अ मटीरियल लेबर एंड ओवर हेड देन यू कैन से इक्वीवेल एंड प्रोडक्शन मल्टीप्लाइड बाई सी पी यू ओके नाउ इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इक्वेल एंड प्रोडक्शन वॉट इज द वर्क विच इज डन ड्यूरिंग करंट पीरियड सो दैट इज देर विथ मी इट इज दिस सिक्स थाउजेंड Entire material has been used. Labor has worked for one third, one third. That is two thousand, two thousand. So six thousand, two thousand, two thousand. So now here I can write six thousand, two thousand, two thousand. And what is my CPU? That is there with me. See this last statement is nothing but multiplication of this and this. So last it is one point six one one. One point six one one. That will be nine thousand six hundred, and when you say it is nine thousand six hundred plus two thousand plus two thousand, that is thirteen thousand six hundred. I haven't incurred any cost in the last period. It is something which is started in the current month but not completed, which is thirteen thousand six hundred. Okay, so uh, if I just give you the steps, it is like this. Output transfer to next process. It will be divided into two parts. Opening WAP completed. then started and completed the formula you can see which is uh, units into total cpu here whatever cost you get you will have to add last period ka cost which will come from the debit side of process account then after adding this you gonna get this value which will be written acha now so that was the step number 5 which we did now what is step number 6 that is nothing but abnormal uh, amount column at the end you need to close the amount column and you will get the balancing figure so theek hai but here there is we have just written the value there is no abnormal gain and loss otherwise if there is something abnormal we could have taken this as a balancing figure there is no abnormal thing it will tally in this case it should tally otherwise you must have made some mistake we must have made some mistake acha even though you have understood 60% of this that is okay by the time you will get the grip of it okay uh, if something is pending at your end please let me know whatever you want to write this much is done or uh, this last working hello or it is yet to be written the last part fourth part okay fine so please then uh, make this account just fill it up okay now so this question is done as per a fifo method where your focus will be only on the current period okay your focus will be only on the current period okay fine in the fifo method you think about the current period so it is done Uh, so uh, guys uh, we started with equivalent output in equivalent output i can say that we are here uh, we are done with the fifo method the same question will be solved with the lifo method uh, no weighted average method we are done with fifo now we will go for a weighted average method first of all i would like to give you the clarity as to sir uh, how fifo method operates and how weighted average method operates you will say i have idea i know that you have idea still let me explain still let me explain now understand this uh here i can say that okay now here i can say that please understand this thing if i talk about uh which uh, fifo and weighted average method so what is the basic difference between fifo method and weighted average method please listen to me carefully let us say uh fifo it means the name itself indicates guys it is first in first out okay the name uh, the full form is first in first out so let us say you have some stock which is purchased on first jan then there is a, uh, there is another stock which is purchased on 5th of jan okay this is purchase 
This is also purchase. This is also purchase. Now, let us say you purchase hundred units, guys, at the rate of uh, rupees. Uh, let us say eighty. Then you purchase two hundred units. Let us say at the rate of one one zero. Now the question arises. Now the question arises. If 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 you want to issue something, if you want to issue something, uh, let us say a uh, one unit you want to issue. Now the question arises. If we want to sell one unit, which price will be taken into consideration? Whether it is eighty or it, whether it is one one zero. Please tell me that whether it is eighty or one one zero. Eighty. Eighty. Because FIFO method says that. First in, first out. So it was first, then it was second item. So I can say, as in when you issue, that issue will be made out of the first lot. It was first in, so it will go out. So it is first out. Okay. So that will be eighty. So that is something which we know. It means I can say that if you talk about FIFO method, if you talk about FIFO method here, this eighty and hundred, it is uh, like a sep. These are separate rates which are there. Okay. Now let us talk about the weighted average method. Let us talk about petrol now. Let us say this is one tank where we keep the petrol. Let us say this is one tank where we keep the petrol. Let us say first hundred liter petrol came at the rate of rupees eighty. So this was petrol. Then a uh, twenty liters of petrol at the rate of rupees one one zero. So your cost was hundred into eighty. That becomes eight thousand, sir. Okay. Here two hundred into one one zero. That becomes two twenty two thousand. Fair enough. So if I take the total here, I can say we have three hundred liters of petrol, and the cost of which is uh, thirty thousand. Now the cost of which is thirty thousand, guys. Now, if I ask you in weighted average method, if one liter of petrol is issued, or let us say for one unit, what will be the rate that will be taken into consideration? Please let me know. What will be the rate that will be taken into consideration? Hello, send me the rate. Is it one one zero eighty or what it is? Hello, everyone. It will be hundred, right? Vedan, right answer. It is hundred, sir. How come hundred? It is very simple. The name of the method is weighted average. So, first of all, if I take the average of this hundred and eighty, it is a simple average. That is known as simple average hundred, one one zero, and eighty. But if I take weights also into consideration, then what is going to happen? You will see your total cost is your total cost is somewhere you must have done this. Okay, in store ledger, you can say that your three lakh thirty thousand guys. This is your cost. This is being incurred in totality for how many units, sir? In totality, you have three hundred units. So you can see that thirty thousand is incurred, sir. For how many units? Three hundred. So for one unit, your cost will be thirty thousand divided by three hundred. That that is going to be hundred rupees per unit. Okay. So it means I can say that when you took this rate of hundred rupees, you have combined two things. That is, you have combined. Let us say it is last year stock. It is last year and it is or it is last period. And it is current period. So when we talk about FIFO method, last period is kept separate. That rate is kept separately, and that current period ka rate is kept in a separate format. We can say. But if we talk about weighted average method, that hundred is nothing but combination of this. It means we combine this last period plus current period. Then we uh, calculate our answers. So the what is simple formula? The simple uh, formula will be. You need to try to understand when you talk about weighted average method. You do not have bifurcation as to this one unit is from this hundred or this one unit is from this two hundred. You don't have that idea. So it is nothing but combined. You have combined the things. So you will always go for the totality. You have this much total in this is. It is nothing but last period plus current period. Okay. So that is the key. Which I have highlighted. When you talk about weighted average method, you will combine two things. Now, guys, let us come to the question and solve this question. Now, if I talk about weighted average method, uh, have you written till here? Uh, whatever this format is there, uh, are you done with this much, which is there uh, in front of you? No, sir. No. So please uh, just fill it up. Just make this format. It is nothing but you just refer this question. You will understand if you refer this question. First, uh, yeah. Uh, if you refer this question, let me just delete the things. Okay, so that is gonna be your question. So uh, now, just make the format for ten lines. Uh, just make this format. Process one. Now, this entire question, uh, the which is solved as per FIFO method. Now, it will be solved as per weighted average method. So please make the format. And once that is done, uh, just format. Then uh, you just write it down. I will give you an idea. Open. You will read the question. You will say, "Sir, opening stock. Sir, opening stock. Yeah, opening stock will come on the debit side. This is also on the debit side. Units introduced, 
and this 14,000 and uh, this uh, this 6,000 it will come over here. So when you read this you will understand this 8,000 it will come on the debit side amount column it will be shown individually. Achha, we made some uh, uh, rectifications also here it was 15,000 in total was taken which was 55,600. So when you read the question please make this format you will be able to make this much. Okay and once this is done just type done once I get 5 to 6 done from your side I will start. Please make this format at your end. So this is question number 4th right? Exactly but uh, as per weighted average method. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. So I feel that it is done. Uh, so now uh, let me start. Uh, if someone is writing, you can type W, then I will wait for you. Yes, sir, writing, writing. Fine, fine. So if it is done, let me know a bit. Okay. Yes. Sir. Bolo. So for the uh, you had given us the steps that day for every method, mm -hmm. but it is only step one k method uh, the step method one k step. So can you please show us right now so that we can copy or can you send us? I think it is already shared in our group, right? This PDF. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, there in the group. Okay, sir. Huh. If it is not there, just let me know. I will share it again, but it should be there. Otherwise, I will do one thing. Maybe uh, I will upload it to the Google Drive and then I will give you the link for that matter. Okay, because you are having paper. So I have disabled that link for past papers. Now I will again that uh, reactivate the link and I will share that link of past paper also with you. Okay, fine. Now here if we talk about, uh, so it is there in the group. Okay, okay. so now here we go. Now if we talk about this here, uh, you can see that uh, you can see that uh, this is your quantity. Okay, sir. And this is the cost you have incurred. Now what I would like to know is I want to know the cost of this or uh, whatever units we have completed and guys uh, whatever WIP we have. Okay, first of all, if I ask you one question, first of all in this question, okay, if I talk about the steps, uh, let us refer those steps. If you refer those steps over here. Uh, that is process account with the WIP. So let me just delete this part. Okay. Okay. Fine. So if you refer this, you will understand. First, you need to make the process account. How will you make the process account in case of WIP? If WIP is there, read entire question and fill up the process account. Sir, we are done with that. We read the question and yeah, uh, we are done with that. We have filled up the process account. Now, now the next step will be the step number two. You guys will have to close which column? You guys will have to close quantity column. Now first question is very easy. Therefore you will see there is no difference as such on 20, uh, debit side 20,000 
क्रेडिट साइड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सो देर इज नो डिफरेंस एज सच सो देर इज नो नीड टू वरी गाई ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डेबिट ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड क्रेडिट ये सर नो नीड टू वरी नाउ लेट्स गो अहेड ओके इफ द बैलेंस इज ऑन द डेबिट साइड यू कुड हैड इट इज गेन और इट इज अब नॉर्मल लॉस और अब नॉर्मल गेन बट हेयर इट टैल इज सो नो नीड टू वरी नो अब नॉर्मल गेस नो अब नॉर्मल लॉस नाउ हेयर वी गो If you talk about the statement step number three, it is nothing but now there is step number three, there is step number four, there is step number five. If we talk about uh, okay, so if we talk about step number uh, three, understand one thing. If we talk about step number three, you have to make statement showing quantity which is equivalent production. I can say yes, sir. Then you need to make statement showing CPU in step number four. then multiplication of this you will get step number 5 that is statement showing allocation of cost okay so now my focus will be where my focus will be my focus will be uh to calculate my focus will be to calculate what your equivalent production okay when you are following fifo method you are thinking about the current period sir what has happened in the current period what is the quantity that we have produced what is my cost per unit of current period that was my thinking But now you please understand. Suppose if I tell you FIFO method, if I tell you FIFO method, tell me if you have produced fourteen thousand units. So first you will complete which part? Four thousand or sixteen thousand? Four thousand. Four thousand. If you come for a FIFO method, then you will say, sir, first whatever is in WIP, first finish it off. First in, first out. This is first in. Let's finish it off and just send it out. Okay. Now. But if I talk about weighted average method, now you should be very careful with this. If I talk about weighted average method, do you know that whether this forty thousand is from this four thousand or this sixteen thousand? Do you have this idea? Can you bifurcate this fourteen thousand? Yes or no? No. You you cannot bifurcate. Understand? Like I said here in example, you were having hundred liter of petrol at the rate of rupees eighty. Then you have mixed. You have added two hundred liters of petrol at the rate of rupees one one zero. Now, when you remove one liter of petrol, you do not have idea. It is which one, old one or it is? It is a mix now. Okay, it is a mix. It means now here I can say that guys, when you follow weighted average method, your window will increase. Now you do not have any bifurcation, so your window will increase. You will deal in totality, and when you deal in totality, it is nothing but last period plus current period. That is, you will deal in totality, last period plus current period. Okay, that will be last period plus current period. It is like this. You will add opening plus whatever happened in the current period also, and then you will uh, calculate everything. Okay. So now, now first thing which is very important is when you go for a FIFO method, guys, your thinking will be only for the current period. What has happened in the current period? But if I talk about weighted average method, you need to think in totality. And when you say totality, it is last period plus current period. Now. Let us make the statement. Uh, step number three, we can say. Step number three is what you guys need to make statement showing equivalent production. So please write statement showing uh, equivalent uh, production. Statement showing equivalent production. Now, when I talk about statement showing equivalent production, sir, uh, how many columns? So, first of all, the format will be a little bit similar to your. Uh, we can see that uh, FIFO method, whatever the format was. So, first, you need to draw some lines here. I can say, okay, that is a uh, particular and your yeah, percentage of units. Now, uh, always for weighted average method. If just in case you have a doubt, you can always leave six lines in between. But in case of weighted average method, no need to go for six lines. Four lines will suffice. So I need only four lines in between. In case of weighted average method, if you are in confusion, see for FIFO method, I told you to make six lines always. Here we can see I told you for a six lines. Here, ah, uh, three or uh, four lines are sufficient. Still, if you are confused, always go for six lines. How many expenses are there on the debit side? You can see one, two, three. Okay. Uh, here I can say particulars, units, 
परसेंटेज यूनिट्स परसेंटेज यूनिट्स परसेंटेज यूनिट्स मटेरियल लेबर ओवर हेड्स प्लीज मेक दिस फॉर्मेट स्टेटमेंट शोइंग इक्वेल एंड प्रोडक्शन देन यू विल से पर्टिकुलर यूनिट्स एंड देन देर आर थ्री एक्सपेंसेस मटीरियल लेबर एंड ओवर हेड सो यू मेड दोज कॉलम्स ओके Fine. Done. Okay. Here we go then. Now, so this format is done. Now, 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 you one thinking will be: I will not never use this long cut. I will always use short cut. That is current period. For last period, I will say LP. For current period, I will say CP. Okay, sir. So that you should remember. Last period that is LP. Current period is CP. Okay. Having done this. Here I will come. My thinking will be what work we have done in totality. That is up to or uh, till date whatever work we have done. It is last period plus current period. Okay. Let us say forty percent work was done earlier. Twenty percent work is done today. So till now you have done sixty percent work. Totality. You will think in totality. Now first of all, let us go for this. Uh, what you need to find out is our objective is to find out these two values. whatever output we have transferred to the next process and the value of closing wip that is something which i want okay sir i will calculate now what to do sir here i will write first i think it was a b c d let me check the way i used to write let me check that way yeah it was a b c d so okay so i will give that same headings here i will say a output transferred to next process i think the name is there process 2 okay so we have transferred how many units to next process 14000 sir okay sir b what is my closing wip sir my closing wip is this no now one thing which is very important you cannot bifurcate this 14000 because if you bifurcate this 14000 between two parts then you follow fifo method we will say that first i will complete this 4000 and that then it is a fifo method you don't have the bifurcation these can be from anywhere by either this or this okay we don't have the exact bifurcation in totality i have produced 14000 units now if i ask you if you guys have produced 14000 units to so tell me uh materials are used i am not saying what is the uh, materials used in the current period till now Tell me, uh, how many uh, or in terms of percentages materials used? That will be how much? I hope you understand. That will be hundred percent. Hello, do you understand that? Because we are done with hundred percent of the work. Same goes for the labor also. Till now, last period plus current period, including that, till now hundred percent work is done. That is why it is being transferred to the next process now, sir. Because we are done with that. Now it is transferred to the next process. at my end i have done 100% work but if i talk about closing wip you need to refer the question if you talk about closing wip yes you will have to refer the question as to what data is there so if i talk about closing wip guys uh, see here uh, first of all yeah let's come to the question so you can see that closing wip that is units in process at the end of the february that is closing wip All materials are used. So till now, all materials are used. Till now, it is thirty-three percent complete. Thirty-three point three three. I will never write thirty-three point three three. I will always write one third. If it is sixty-six point six seven, I will always write two thirds. So please make that habit. Or uh, we have written somewhere for that matter that I will use this format. So yeah, till now hundred percent work is done on this closing WIP. But if I talk about workers, it is closing WIP, right? So. material is there but worker has done only one third work one third work and over it is also one third so i can say that till now material is used on this many units 20000 units sir 
the quantity on which material is used is it only 20,000 is it only current period no it is last period plus current period till now the material is used on 20,000 units worker has worked on how many units worker has produced this 14,000 units and worker has produced one third of this so 6,000 divided by 3 2,000 units he has completed it is equivalent production so till now he has produced 16,000 units not in the current period it is including the last period also that opening WIP which was there considering that uh, here we go it is uh, 14,000 again here it is 2,000 and here we have a uh, answer which is 16,000 so till now this is the total quantity which is including last period and current period Achha, theek hai. now now if I ask you uh, let me just uh, have that uh, formula wala sheet in front of you see whatever is whatever is your when you follow VAM method guys you go for last period plus current period the first heading will be output transfer to next process second heading will be closing WIP as of now abnormal gain and loss is not there always remember for uh, output which is transferred to next process guys you will always take 100% because it is fully completed and for closing WIP whatever percentages which are given in the question you have to take those okay Fair enough. So that much is clear. Now tell me, after this, what will be your next step? Once you are done with equivalent production, tell me. Can you tell me what will be your next step? CPU. CPU. You will calculate CPU. You should be very clear. Okay. You should pay attention. Once we solve two and three, two or three questions, you will have a confidence. Please pay attention to this. Now let us give the heading statement showing equivalent production. Achha, yes. uh, when I talk about statement showing equivalent production, you need to understand when we talk about statement showing equivalent production. Now again, when you calculate or uh, not equivalent production cost per unit, sorry, my mistake. Statement showing cost per unit. Achha. So if I talk about statement showing cost per, per unit, again, your thinking will be last period plus current period okay then here you have a column that is particulars then again there are three expenses material labor and overhead everyone please involve yourself and give the answers as in when i ask the questions it is for your own benefit okay so now fine if i talk about cpu again tell me when you calculate the cpu so you will take into that cpu is not current year ka cpu that will be last year plus current year it is an average cpu that you will calculate so when you write the cost in fifo method your heading was i will give you comparison also when you followed fifo method guys your heading was cost incurred in current period there will be one change tell me cost incurred in current period along with this one more cost will come can you tell me which cost you will write last period cost will be written okay because your thinking is now last period plus current year what is the cost which is incurred till date to till cost so now the heading will change here what we will write is cost incurred in uh, we will write last period then we can say current period minus graph so we will say that cost incurred in the last period or uh, plus current period minus graph okay so now what is the cost which is incurred in the current period do i have any idea yes sir this is the cost which is incurred in the current period sir that is 25,600, 15,000 and 15,000 so please come over here 25,600, 15,000 and 15,000 so please write it down 25,600, 15,000 and 15,000 now 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 what is the cost which is incurred in the previous period okay if i talk about this our total is 8000 but do i have the bifurcation of that 8000 that question should arise 
you can see that cost incurred this is opening wip right so obviously this cost is incurred in the last period but i don't want total 8000 i need bifurcation of 8000 i will have to check the question they should give us that bifurcation so yeah you can see the question they have provided us with the bifurcation of 8000 here here and here you can see material is 6000 or uh, labor is 1000 overhead is 1000 so here we go 611 Six, one, one. Okay, I hope till now it is clear. Now, if I talk about the scrap value, guys, there is no scrap value which is there in this question. You can see credit side of process account, sir. No scrap. There is no normal loss and no scrap. So no need to worry. I can say what is my total cost or net cost, whatever they must have written here. Also, you can see that heading. That is a net cost which is incurred. Okay. if i give you the heading it is the net cost which is incurred so here uh, then whatever is your net cost it is a total cost of a last period plus current period divided by equivalent production once you do this you will get cpu which is cost per unit okay now what is your equivalent production is here it is 20,000 till now we, workers have produced 16,000 units not in the current period okay 16,000 units are produced in the last period plus current period till date till now they have produced 16,000 units okay now you can easily calculate CPU 6,000 plus 25,600 that becomes 31,600 that becomes 31,600 is your cost it is incurred on 20,000 units. So cost per unit will be 1.58. You can go for that uh, labor and overhead also. Then you can calculate total CPU. It means as and when one unit is produced, what will be your average cost of production, which is considering last period cost plus current period cost. So till now we have paid 16,000 to our workers. Here it is one again, 16,000 we have paid to our workers. Uh, for uh, we have paid for overheads and we have worked upon 16,000 units till now yes so your answer comes to 1.811 so that answer will be 3.58 okay that is a statement showing CPU you should be very clear step number one was process account like the first thing was to make the process account the second thing was to make the statement showing equivalent production the next thing was to make the statement showing CPU now the next thing after that once you make the statement showing CPU, what will be the next step? What will you make? Statement showing? Bolo? Allocation of cost, right? Allocation or apportionment, whatever you write that heading, okay. That is the apportionment. So we'll go for that heading only. If you are done till here, I will switch to the next step. I hope everyone is done. Yes. Okay. Yes. Chalo. So let us go for the next step. Uh, the next step will be a uh, statement showing allocation of cost. Uh, one, two, three, four. Statement showing allocation of cost. This is the statement which will be prepared that is a statement showing allocation of cost now if we talk about statement showing allocation of cost sir it is nothing but multiplication of earlier two statements which we have so whatever two statements which we have you just need to multiply those things and yes you will get the answers okay so let's go for this uh, the first heading which is there in your uh, equivalent production is output transferred to next process so please give that heading a output transferred to next process Achha, we have 14,000 units and for every unit if you complete fully you incur 3.58 as your cost so if your cost per unit is 3.5, 14,000 into 3.58, that becomes 50120. 
120 now tell me do i need to add last period's cost yes or no do i hello do, do i need to add this yeah that is what i'm i was like i was asking now you don't have to add now last period ka cost of 8000 so why there is no need to add 8000 because when you calculated the cpu of 3.58 is it in current period cpu no this is not current period cpu this is last periods plus current period average cpu it is so there is no need to add 8000 it is already added while calculating cpu you can check that so it is already added while calculating cpu so there is no need to add it again okay that won't make any sense in fifo method it was not added here so what C whatever cpu you have got that was current period ka cpu so there was a requirement to add last period ka 8000 ka cost here there is no need to do this because while calculating cpu you have already added it so that will be your final answer now guys b that will be your closing wip let us calculate closing wip Achha. If you talk about closing WIP, here I can write particulars, then I will say there is a material law, labor and overheads. So how many units in, in closing WIP? That will be equivalent production law, multiplied by CPU. So, if you talk about equivalent production, so that will be here, you can see it is 6000, 2000, 2000. Material is used on all 6000 units, worker has worked only for one third, that is 2000, 2000. So, 6000, 2000, 2000. This much work is done. You have 6000 units in your go down, but with reference to labor, labor has completed only one third part of that. And as an M, when worker produces one unit, your CPU is one. And uh, with reference to material, your CPU was 1.58. You, you are going to get the cost now. You will get it. 9480, 2000, 2000. 9480 plus 2000 plus 2000. That is 13480. That is 13480. Okay, so that is going to be your answer. 13480. Okay. Now, uh, once you get this answer, just copy this answers to your main statement uh, that is process account and yes, it will tally. So, let's go there. 50120. Then you can see it is 13480. And it should tally. Just take the total 8000 plus. 63600 sir can you show that last thing again fine yes. uh, just let me know just in case you don't have any ideas to from where this figure is uh, are written like it is written from that earlier two statements statement number uh, 2 and 3 Uh, second one came out uh, came from that equivalent production which one 6000 2000 2000 yes sir. yes from here uh, it is nothing but see in simple words i can say that it is like 14000 14000 14000 then you will multiply as and when you use uh, material uh, on one unit your cost is 1.58 and you have used material on 14000 as and when worker produces uh, your cost is 1 rupee per unit and he has produced 14,000 units but that does not make any sense because 14,000 was common what we did was 14,000 into 3.58 samjha you understood this much yes sir. now here because it differs it is not 6,000 6,000 6,000 so you cannot just take the total you have to go individually over here 6,000 into 1.58 2,000 into 1 and 2,000 into 1 hello yes sir fine 
like you cannot say 6000 into 1 why because worker has not produced all he has not completed his work he has done only one third work and therefore you can only say ki one third work is nothing but equivalent to 2000 units that's why 2000 into 1 uh, I hope uh, it is clear. Uh, if you have any doubt, please ask. Uh, confidence will come after one or two questions, but just in case whatever is taught, if you feel nice, sir, ye wala nahi samjha, please, uh, I have a doubt or it should be done like this, you can ask me. The confidence will come once we solve two more, uh, two, three questions more, then you will get confidence. Okay. Fine, so because this is the first question, Dehidriva confidence Ayaka, do not worry. So now uh, the thing is, uh, you it will tally, right? So 63,600, when you do this, you will have idea, yeah, it tallies. The objective was to calculate these two values. And for that matter, we made these three statements just to get these two values, which are highlighted in a yellow. Okay, that is what it is. Fine. Uh, this much is done. Now understand. Now having done this, if you want, I will go through the steps also for you. I can see that this was the step. See again, I will repeat the steps. Uh, the step number. Uh, I can see there are six steps. One, two, three, four, five, six. Step number one is to make the process account. Whatever is there in the question, write it down. Step number two is to close the process account. Which column? Quantity column. When you do this, there will be a balancing finger. As of now, there is no balancing figure. Then accordingly, you will get abnormal gain and loss. Okay. Then step number three is statement showing equivalent production, which is quantity. Then statement showing CPU is step number four. Then statement showing apportionment of cost. That will be the next step. Okay, now when you talk about equivalent production or whatever it is, these three steps, you should think about last period plus current period because it is weighted average method. So you don't have bifurcation, ki what work was done in the last period, what is done in the current period. Now you have to mix it. You don't have any idea. Okay, if you say it is a separate, it is a FIFO method in that case. So now you need to combine this. Whatever output you have produced during current period, it is 100% done, so always 100%. For a closing WIP, percentages will be given then. When you talk about this, uh, VAM method, CP, uh, CPU calculation, you need to add one thing which is last period cost, the last period cost plus uh, current period cost, then scrap you get net cost divided by equivalent production. So, theek hai. Now, first of all, whatever is highlighted, you understand this much. Now, after that, there is a apportionment of cost that we all know how to do that apportionment of cost. In case of weighted average method, it is whatever units into total CPU. And closing WIP is something that we know how to do that. Uh, the quantity will come from the equivalent production and CPU will come from the CPU cost statement and you just need to multiply those things. I hope it is little bit, a bit clear. Now we solve more questions. You will have more idea. So a few steps has been discussed. Last step. Last step was to close the uh, CPU uh, amount column. Sorry, the amount column. As of now, it is not there. If you close the amount column again, in step number two, you close quantity column. In step number six, you close, close the amount column. Here you get abnormal gain or loss ka quantity. Here you get abnormal gain and loss ka amount you get over here. When you close that last step. Okay, now once you solve the question, as I told you, you will have more idea. So let's do one thing. Let us go for the next question. This much is done. Yeah, so this question is done. Fine. So guys, uh, let us start with this question. I need your attention. Okay, let's go for this. Let's go for this. Let's read. What is written? ABC Limited. Okay, sir. Produces an item which is completed in the three processes. Are bapre. There are three processes. X, Y, and Z. There are three processes. Okay. The following information is furnished for process X for the month of March 2018. Achha, now I am relaxed. I need to prepare only one account because information is given only for one account that is process X for the month. So information is given for a process X that is also for the month. So what all things will be prepared sir? First you need to make the process account sir. Then what? Statement showing equivalent production sir. Then what? Statement showing CPU sir. Then iska dono ka multiplication karke statement showing cost is sir. So these are the steps which will be made. Here there will be step number one and step number two. 
Step number one, read the entire question. Read the entire question and what? Write it down. Just fill up your process account. Step number two, close which column? Quantity column. And there is equivalent production, CPU and cost. Achha, now, now if, if I say this is weighted average method, tell me, you will think about current period or last period plus current period. Hello, please. I know you know the answer still. Last period. Last period. Huh. Huh. Because when you participate, I feel like someone is there who is answering to me. Okay, so you have to answer even if the even if the question is a very silly question, still you have to answer. Okay, so fine. Here we go. Now, now, now in the data. So what will be my first step, sir? Read entire question and make the process account. Okay, let's do one thing. Let's not waste the time. Whether it is FIFO method or whether it is weighted average method, I need to make the process account, sir. Okay. So let us make the process account. Okay. I can see that I, if I read this WIP, this indicates or this question is based on WIP and process account is made for 10 lines. Let us make the process account. Chalo. Let's make the process account for 10 lines. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Name of the account is the processor X account. Okay. Okay, please uh, be ready with this account so that we can fill up that uh, together, the, this account, we can fill it up. Okay, so I feel that is done, Chalo, let us uh, start with the solution. Step number one, sir, read the entire question. As and when I say step number one, even though I know this step, it is a step number one. So I repeat, so you have to repeat in your mind. Okay, Chalo, step number one, let us read the question. So when I say this, again, you have to repeat in your mind. Then only you will be able to remember these things because you have eight subjects. See, when you tackle each and every subject at a time, it feels easy. But when these eight subjects come together, now then it feels thoda difficult. So it is better. Uh, pay attention and as and when I say something, you have to repeat in your mind. Many of the times you have to do that. Chalo, let us start with this. Now I will ask you, sir, opening a WIP, 5000. Uh, if I take this uh, total, uh, it is how much? Uh, 35000 uh, plus 13000 uh, plus 25000. Uh, it is 73000. Uh. Acha, opening WIP, where will you write? Opening WIP, uh, whether it is debit or classic. Mana. Debit side or credit side, opening WIP. Mano, Sunai uh, idea. please come again. Uh, video on, nahi karna hai, audio on, karna hai apne ko. Uh, unmute yourself and then tell me. Uh, opening WIP, debit side or credit side? हाँ बोलो बोलो हाँ बोलो बोलो हाँ सर ओपन डबल आई टू कंडर जाए ठीक है फटाक से क्या ठीक है चलो डेबिट साइड पे लिखने का आपने को तो चलो तो लेट अस राइट ओवर या प्लीज कम टू दिस टू ओपनिंग हाँ बोलो बोलो सर भी आवाज आ रहा है हाँ बोलो हाँ सर ओपन डबल आई टू डेबिट साइड पे ओके ठीक है थैंक यू चलो so here we go to opening a WIP. Sir, how many units are there? 5000. What is the cost that I have incurred till now? 73,000. 
okay sir so done with the first or uh, that is the first step it is going on we have written this much now 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 units introduced you can see that units introduced in process x these are units sir, and this is the cost now first of all uh, now let me ask a uh, khushi will you write this expenses after taking the total or it will be written separately in process account these expenses khushi shah अरे तुम आंसर दिया करो मतलब वैसा है खुशी आर यू देर सेपरेटली ओके फाइन फेर इनफ सो दैट विल बी रिटर्न सेपरेटली नाउ वेर विल यू राइट खुशी ऑन द डेबिट साइड और ऑन द क्रेडिट साइड यूनिट्स इंट्रोड्यूस्ड खुशी डेबिट साइड ठीक है चलो तो लेट अस राइट दिस यूनिट्स इंट्रोड्यूस्ड यू विल सी इनपुट मटेरियल सो प्लीज गिव द हेडिंग टू इनपुट मटेरियल ओके सो यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड 55,000 यूनिट्स ड्यूरिंग इज इट 55 यस इट इज 55,000 यूनिट्स वी हैव इंट्रोड्यूस्ड ड्यूरिंग द ईयर एंड वी हैव इन गॉट अ मटेरियल क्लियर ट्वेंटी लैक ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड ओके सर व्हाट इज द कॉस्ट फॉर लेबर एंड ओवरहेड सो टू लेबर एंड ओवरहेड फॉर लेबर आई कैन से इट इज एट लैख एंड देन थर्टीन लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड एट लैख थर्टीन लैख थर्टी थाउजेंड तो यू कैन सी दैट वी हैव रिटर्न ओपनिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी देन देर इज अ इनपुट मटीरियल देन देर इज अ लेबर एंड देन देर इज अ ओवरहेड Okay, sir. Done with this much. Please go ahead. Okay. Now, if we talk about this, so uh, let's read ahead. Let's read ahead. What is given in the question? You need scrap. Acha. Please listen to me carefully. For the time being, I am saying for the time being, ignore why, sir. Wait. For the time being, ignore why. I will tell you. As of now, ignore this part. Okay. Ignore this part. Okay. Chalo. Aage badte hain. there is a closing a wip which is given in the question even before you write closing wip you should always have that habit first you will always write here as a normal loss then maybe after leaving few lines we can say output transferred to next process that is output transferred to process y which is after x there is a y process and there maybe you will have a closing wip so that is how you will write one is a normal a normal loss then there is a output transferred to the next process that is y and then there is a closing wip okay sir let's go ahead now what they have given is sir they have given us a closing wip ki itna to closing wip is given as 5000 units okay sir write it down a 5000 units a quantity column अच्छा सर मटेरियल लेबर परसेंटेज ओके वी विल यूज इट व्हेन यू गो फॉर दैट इक्विवेलेंट प्रोडक्शन देन दिस परसेंटेज आर यूजफुल ओके सो आई एम नॉट पेइंग अटेंशन टू दिस नाउ ओके नाउ सर बोलो कैन यू एक्सप्लेन दैट यूनिट स्क्रैप्ड वाला पार्ट अगेन व्हाट आई टोल्ड यू आई होप यू वर देयर व्हाट आई टोल्ड यू इज टू इग्नोर ना आई विल कम टू दैट आफ्टर 2 3 मिनट्स ओ हेलो यस सो देयर वाज सम एक्चुअली देयर वाज सम नेटवर्क फ्लक्चुएशन हां i have specifically written also for that matter so that no one will ask me but okay fair enough that happens okay so uh, you need to ignore this for the time being i will explain this do not worry okay chalo now 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 here it is written units finished and a transferred to the process y which is next processor 50000 please write it down 50000 units has been transferred to the next process yes sir output transferred to the next process please involve yourself when you solve the question now read this line and tell me normal loss quantity read this line and tell me normal loss quantity you can it is not that difficult i will ask someone others can text me in dm moksha normal loss quantity it's easy yep uh uh rc nishi vedant moksha uh, right answer moksha nahi dhruvi nahi are what is written is normal loss is 5% of total input now they have defined us what is total input total is nothing but including opening wip 
so what is current periods input it is this if i add this 5000 also this becomes total input so my total input is 55000 plus 5000 5000 is opening uh, i have introduced a 50000 uh, total 55000 is my input and normal loss is 5% of that so, so just calculate 55000 into 5% that is 2 seven, achha, sorry uh, i a uh, second uh, कुछ मिस्टेक किया गया मैंने टोटल 55000 हां सॉरी 55000 इवन दैट इज समथिंग व्हिच इज डन बाय अदर्स आल्सो आई थिंक ओके ठीक है कुछ लोगों ने वैसा भी किया था सो दैट एरर हैपेंड इट इज अ 55000 ओके सो दैट वाज अ टाइपिंग और राइटिंग एरर वी कैन से सो अकॉर्डिंगली दिस विल बी 3000 नॉर्मल लॉस इज 3000 Okay, so I hope uh, till see what is my objective when we are uh, learning costing now it should be lecture like you should be able to like solve the questions in the lecture itself so that is how you need to practice I will ask you individually in between therefore okay so now if you talk about scrap value you should know what to do with this scrap units fetch 20 rupees per unit so it is simple sir we have 3000 units so into 20 rupees uh, you get 60,000 scrap value is 20 rupees just multiply by that and you get the answer okay now what was the step number one sir read entire question whatever is there in the question just fill up your process account what is step number two deep step number two Quantity column of a process account. Exactly. Chalo. So let us close the quantity column. Either there will be abnormal loss or abnormal gain. Dwani. Do we have abnormal gain or abnormal loss? Please calculate. Dwani. Yes, sir. Hmm. Bolo. We have abnormal loss, right? You can see your input is here, it is uh, 60,000. Then if you take the balance uh, here, if you subtract this, which is 58,000 credit side. So 2,000 will come over here, which will be written as by abnormal loss. So now this is balancing figure. So that was step number two. Uh, close the process account and you will have your abnormal loss with you. So we know that there is a abnormal loss there is a abnormal loss of there is a abnormal loss of your yeah, 2000 units okay sir i hope now now let us read that part which we have ignored let us read that part now let us read that part okay Achha. that was given for a clarity but okay i don't require this the way i have designed these steps i don't want this but still let us read tell me uh, if they have said Unit scrap 5000. Tell me whether this is uh, norm uh, that is something which is expected or it is actual. 5000 units. Unit scrap. Hello, is it expected or actual? Actual. Actual. Now it is written unit scrap. So actual loss. I can say actual loss. Here it is actual loss. Let me increase that to 1.5. Okay. So I can say here. Your actual loss is 5000. Yes, sir. Tell me your actual loss is 5000. What was your expected or normal loss which was expected in advance? 3000. 3, so I hope you understand if 3000 loss was expected in advance, it means 2000. It was something which was not expected by us. Not expected. Which is abnormal loss. Yes, sir. Which is 2000. But tell me. Do I need this 5000 ka information for that matter? No. The way I have designed these steps, automatically you get 2000 as a balancing figure. Huh? But they have just given that information. So I don't need this 5000 actually. Even without that, my job is done. You can see that this 2000 I have got as a balancing figure. The another way is this, that they will give you that abnormal losses this much. Expected was this, then therefore not expected, which is abnormal is 2000. But yeah, I don't want that. Matlab. This information I am not concerned with. Even if they do not give, that is okay for me. They have given thank you. Extra information for me. 
आई कुड हैव डायरेक्टली टोल्ड यू गेट सर फाइव थाउजेंड इज यूनिट्स लॉस कई से सर थ्री थाउजेंड इज नॉर्मल दिस इज टू थाउजेंड टेक द टोटल फाइव थाउजेंड इज योर यूनिट्स क्रैप ठीक है अर्पित आई थिंक यू ओनली आस्क मी आई होप दैट इज क्लियर नाउ यस फेर इन ठीक है नाउ वॉट आई वॉन्ट वॉट आई वॉन्ट इज वैल्यू ऑफ आउटपुट विच इज ट्रांसफर्ड टू द नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस दैट इज वाई Closing WIP and abnormal loss. I need these three values, and for that matter, guys, I will have to make the statements. I will have to make the statements that is statement showing equivalent production and all those statements. Okay. First of all, you should be very clear when you go for the next step. You should be very clear that which step you gonna follow. So which step you are going to follow? Whether which method you are going to follow, sir? Whether it is FIFO or whether it is a weighted average. So okay, let us read the question ahead. They must have given something. Presuming it is written average method. If they say average, it it is nothing but that only. They use just short. They use shortcut. Average method is weighted average method. So uh, it uses to prepare. So what we gonna prepare is a process of normal loss account. Okay, that we will prepare. Statement of distribution is nothing but apportionment of cost. Statement of cost per unit. This is. स्टेटमेंट ऑफ इक्वलेंट प्रोडक्शन सो ठीक है दैट इज ओके मे यू जस्ट नीड टू फिल अप एवरी थिंग प्लीज डू रिमाइंड मी ओके टू आई जनरली फगेट आई फगेट दिस आई विल फगेट दिस सो प्लीज डू रिमाइंड मी टू प्रिपेयर अब नॉर्मल लॉस अकाउंट ऑल्सो यू नो दैट हाउ टू मेक बट स्टिल डू रिमाइंड मी ओके फॉर दिस चलो चलो लेट इज लेट इज स्टार्ट वी हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट विच मेथड वी विल हैव टू फॉलो यू कैन राइट इफ यू वॉन्ट यर मेथड which we are going to follow is weighted average method and you follow weighted average method then it will be the thinking will be now i will not write for uh, every time i will not write here only i am specifying it is the thinking will be last period plus current period in totality what has happened theek hai so the method is last period plus current period now chalo now let us start with this the one process account we are done with now three statements i need that is a statement showing here let us write statement showing equivalent production so let us write that what we want is statement of showing a equivalent of production chalo so we want this statement now when you make make this statement just in case you remember tell me in case of weighted average method how many lines you want four lines four lines four exactly lines. and then you need to check the debit side how many expenses are there three theek hai other than opening wip in the current period there are three expenses you can say one is material labor and overhead so let's make the same format no change at all no change at all let's make the same format please just make this format so please make this format statement showing equivalent production acha one more thing will come over you after a b there is one more thing that you will have to write can you tell me what that will be output transfer to abnormal loss abnormal loss this is process y there is a closing wip and there is one more thing which i will have to calculate which is abnormal loss so i will write abnormal loss units will come 50000 5000 and 2000 okay once uh, done just type d in chat box once i get four to five d's i will start no need to worry you can write at your own space or okay.
ओके फाइन चल ठीक है आ लेट इज स्टार्ट दैन नाउ हैविंग डन दिस वंस यू मेक दिस नाउ लेट्स गो अड फॉर द नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट ओके फाइन लेट्स वेट प्लीज कंप्लीट ओके okay. चलो uh, तो स्टार्ट करते हैं और यू कैन सी दिस हियर यू कैन हैव अ लुक यू कैन हैव अ लुक ओवर हियर दैट आउटपुट विच इज ट्रांसफर्ड टू द नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस इज हियर यू विल राइट हंड्रेड परसेंट टिल नाउ हंड्रेड परसेंट जॉब इज डन ऑन दिस यूनिट ऑन दिस यूनिट्स तो यू कैन राइट हंड्रेड परसेंट ओवर हियर ओके नाउ द क्लोजिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी विल बी सम परसेंटेज विल बी गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन कि हाउ मच वर्क वी हैव डन टेल नाउ ऑन क्लोजिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी तो यू कैन सी हियर यू कैन सी हियर ऑन द क्लोजिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी विच यू हैव फाइव थाउजेंड यूनिट्स मटीरियल हंड्रेड परसेंट वर्क इज डन बट विद रेफरेंस टू लेबर है एंड ओवर हेड ओन दी सिक्सटी परसेंट वर्क इज डन तो हियर वी गो इट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट as it is whatever is given in the question 60% and 60% and whatever abnormal units we have what is the work done on those units what is the work done on those units abnormal units are here whatever scrap units we have what is the work which is done on this which is 100% and 60% okay that was given in the question so 100% and 60% that was given in the question suppose here it is written as 50% then i could have written 15 50% for this 100% and 50% but it was 60% only same like opening or closing wip now we can easily calculate equivalent production okay so let us calculate the equivalent production 50000 oh you have to 50000 then uh 5000 into 60% that becomes 3000 to 2000 100% 2000 1200 1200 okay uh let's take the total so that we can have idea 57000 ठीक है सर सो वी वी केम टू नो दैट टिल नाउ दिस मच वर्क इज डन और वर्क इज डन ऑन दिस मेनी यूनिट्स मटेरियल वर्क इज डन ऑन दिस मेनी यूनिट्स लेबर लेबर वर्क इज डन ऑन दिस मेनी यूनिट्स नाउ लेट अस गो फॉर द सीपीयू लेट अस गो फॉर द सीपीयू व्हिच इज कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कॉस्ट पर यूनिट ओके स्टेटमेंट शोइंग कॉस्ट पर यूनिट it is already mentioned uh, I, i have already mentioned because uh, the method is weighted average method thinking will be last period plus current period okay now one thing is one thing is uh, if i talk about this 60000 ka scrap you have three cost material labor and overhead so where will you uh, like from where it will be subtracted that 60000 it is a scrap it is a income if i talk about chalo first let us write chalo for this question i will write it down then we will discuss for the next question here please write down with me material okay when i say particulars material labor and overhead that is cost incurred in
when you say cost incurred in the one will be cost incurred in the last period then plus current period because it is a weighted average method so you will take last period cost also minus cap then you will get net cost so first of all cost incurred in the current period that you will get uh, from uh, here uh, that is 2 lakh 20 lakh 20 8 lakh and 13 lakh 30 20 lakh 20 thousand eight lakh and a 13 lakh 30 thousand so 20 lakh 20 thousand eight lakhs and the 13 lakh 30 thousand now Having said that, uh, after that, if I talk about the cost uh, which is incurred in the last period, so we have the total, but I need bifurcation of the 73,000 that I will get it from the question itself. I will have to refer the question and I have the bifurcation 35,000, 13,000, and 25,000, 35, 13, and 25. So that is the cost incurred in the last period cost incurred in the last period cost incurred in the current period okay now if i talk about the scrap first of all you need to understand this is the cost that you guys have incurred like your formula will be uh, total cost minus scrap then you say divided by total quantity minus normal loss quantity now i'm dealing with the numerator cost has been divided into three parts material labor overhead now the question arises how will you subtract the scrap that is the question which we have so tell me uh, the scrap of 60,000 which you see from where it is appropriate to subtract from material labor or overhead it is preferable to subtract it from where so from material aega, na? material the reason can be very simple we can see it is a cloth and you made a shirt now when you make that shirt there is a chindi which is there now chindi is nothing but a part of material only so when you are selling in the market what you are selling is that scrap material right so that scrap is, is nothing but uh, the raw material which was there it is a damaged part of that or some part of that like a chindi we can say it is a part of cloth only and therefore that a scrap should be subtracted from material hello i hope that's clear that that chindi is nothing yes, fair enough so theek hai. so always remember as and when there is a scrap it will be subtracted from here it will be 60,000 uh, now one question which may arise in your mind there is a possibility tell me what is my actual scrap is it 3000 or 5000 first of all what is my actual scrap 5000 5, so someone should ask me sir you are doing something wrong you should not do this 60,000 sir your actual scrap is 5000 units sir. so multiplied by sir you should go for that scrap value which is given in the question 20 and then you should subtract this amount of 1 lakh tell me why it is not done can someone explain why i haven't subtracted 1 lakh but i have subtracted only 60,000 please sir because that 1 lakh includes the cost of abnormal loss and we cannot recover abnormal loss from the customer exactly when you talk about abnormal loss i think uh, you remember that when you talk about abnormal loss uh, first of all what was the our formula of our cpu our formula of our cpu was total cost minus a scrap value divided by total quantity minus a normal loss quantity you never take actual loss into consideration because if you take actual loss into consideration it means abnormal is also recovered from the customer and we have discussed that whether it is abnormal gain or loss whatever it is abnormal things should not affect your that that abnormal in simple words let us say abnormal loss so abnormal loss cannot be recovered from the customer that is something which you need to understand okay otherwise your selling price and cost will fluctuate every time every day every month there will be a change because your output will change you will always recover the normal cost from the customer abnormal is something which is because of your fault you will only bear that okay so we always take normal loss quantity and here also we always subtract normal loss scrap value 
so we always take normal loss scrap value so that is we always take this scrap value of normal loss quantity okay otherwise always remember logically it is explained but this scrap value will come from here only that process account ka credit side what appears beside your normal loss that is something which should be written okay chalo now now one question which should arise in your mind one question which should arise in your mind chalo after doing this first of all chalo aur bhi kuch cheeze jo discuss karni hai aur jisse mein bhi cheeze aur clear ho jayenge ये जो भी आपका कॉस्ट आएगा डिवाइड बाय व्हाट यू गोना डू इज इट विल बी डिवाइडेड बाय इक्वल एंड प्रोडक्शन देन यू कैन हैव अ सीपीयू नाउ आई एम यूजिंग शॉर्टकट बिकॉज अर्लियर वी हैव यूज्ड द फुल फॉर्म ओके सो नाउ आई एम यू कैन इवन यूज द शॉर्टकट बट इन एग्जाम इट इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड ओके वॉट इज इक्वल एंड प्रोडक्शन फिफ्टी सेवन थाउजेंड ऑफ फिफ्टी फोर थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड प्लस ट्वेंटी लैख ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड माइनस सिक्सटी थाउजेंड दैट इज नाइनटीन लैख नाइन्टी फाइव थाउजेंड दैट इज थर्टी फाइव प्लीज कैलकुलेट एट लैख थर्टीन थाउजेंड विल बी डिवाइडेड बाई फिफ्टी फोर टू हंड्रेड विच इज फिफ्टीन Thirteen lakh fifty-five thousand. That will be twenty-five. And total CPU cost per unit will be. In order to manufacture one unit, you incur seventy-five rupees. Okay, which is nothing but addition of this thirty-five, fifteen, and twenty-five. Okay. Having said that, now uh, once you do this, now understand the things. Okay. Having said that, ah, uh, once ah uh, this much is done, now what we can do? So please understand. Here, I can tell you that. First of all, first of all, when you have written this fifty-seven thousand, okay, tell me, you must be having one doubt in your mind. Can you tell me that doubt? Ki sir, yeah, isa kyun kya? It is not right. What you shouldn't have taken? Can you tell me what you shouldn't have taken? I hope you understand. Abnormal loss. Abnormal loss quantity. Ha. Now understand the logic. Actually, we are not taking abnormal loss. Now understand that logically. See, first of all, that is something which you you should be very clear with. Is we always calculate normal cost per unit and not actual cost per unit. Okay. Normal cost is recovered from the customer. So first of all, you are clear with this that it is a total cost minus scrap value. So you are clear with this. This is your total cost minus scrap value. So numerator part is done. It is clear, sir. It is there in our mind. There is no need to worry about that. ठीक है, sir. What we have subtracted is a scrap value of normal loss unit, sir. Yes, yes. Which was explained when we did that uh, first uh, six step वाला question without WIP वाला. So, sir, this much is clear. But, sir, I am very confused with this. Why these fifty seven thousand, sir? This includes abnormal loss. No. it does not include abnormal loss this is just the second way to calculate the quantity expected quantity first of all tell me here what we do total quantity minus normal loss quantity and this actual this entire thing is known as expected output i expect this much output now my actual output can be greater than this or less than this okay uh, this is what i expect that this is my total input quantity please understand now it is something which is more critical now Minus normal loss quantity. That is something which we do. Acha, have you ever ah uh, done something like this? Please uh, pay attention and tell me. Ah, uh, let's make one format. Let us say it is a share capital, reserves and surplus. Let us say something known as current liability, current assets and fixed assets. So this is a hundred. Ah, this is a two hundred. Ah, this is a fifty. This is let us say then one fifty. Ah, hundred. Hundred, that becomes three fifty, three fifty. Acha, if I talk about the net worth, can you tell me what will be the net worth of this uh, company with the balance sheet which you have? Can I say it will be three hundred? Hello, do you understand this? Yes, sir. Ha. Huh. So this is the one way to calculate net worth. Like you can say that the net worth of the company. Arey, aisa kuch kya abhi tak accounts mein kya nahi kya ya? Thoda itna samajhta. 
किया सो ओके दैट मच यू अंडरस्टैंड अदरवाइज आई विल हैव तो नेटवर्थ अच्छा इज देयर एनी सेकंड वे टू कैलकुलेट दिस 300 ऑफ नेटवर्थ ऑफ 300 रुपीस यस सर हां व्हाट कैन यू डू एसेट्स माइनस करंट लायबिलिटी लाइक यू कैन से दिस इज योर टोटल एसेट्स यू जस्ट सबट्रैक्ट योर करंट लायबिलिटी व्हिच इज 50 एंड यू विल गेट 300 सो दैट इज द सेकंड वे इट इज जस्ट अ सेकंड वे टू कैलकुलेट ओके नाउ यू विल नॉट से बिकॉज़ हियर you have taken current liability it means in net worth current liability is included now let me understand let me teach you something first of all if i tell you here 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 if i tell you to calculate expected output how will you calculate expected output i hope you understand that will be 57000 expected output or uh, 50 or uh, you will say 60000 is total input 5000 plus 55000 60,000 60,000 is total input from 60, 000, ka loss is expected, sir. It means I should get 50, 7, as output. Hello. This is your total input. Input is 60,000. On from on this 60,000, you can see which is this. This loss is expected. I hope you agree with me. Your expected output is 57,000. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, can I calculate this 57,000 in a different way? Yes. this is one method or what i can do is what i can do is i hope you understand i can just add these three uh i hope that is clear what i wanted to convey hello that is just one method does that mean if you calculate like this uh, these if you add these three does that mean you have taken abnormal loss also into your expected output is it right or wrong i hope you understand that is not the case it is expected output which is 57000 we haven't taken abnormal loss into consideration it is just the second way to calculate this expected output hello mathematically are kya pata i think i'm complicating the things actually the solution was done but i wanted to convey the logic of the things ki kaisa operate ho raha hai ye cheez hello so basically it is like normal situation mein kya hota and not the considering the actual situation <laughs> देखो वॉट आई एम सेंग इज चलो मैं थोड़ा अलग तरीके से भी बोलता हूँ वैसे चलो थोड़ा लेट मी कम हियर अगेन एंड लेट मी गिव द सेकेंड वन मोर एग्जाम्पल चलो थोड़ा ज़्यादा अच्छे से समझ में आएंगा लेट से दैट यूर इनपुट इज हंड्रेड यूर नॉर्मल लॉस इज टेन विच इज एक्सपेक्टेड लॉस नाउ यूर एक्चुअल आउटपुट इज लेट से एक्चुअल आउटपुट इज लेटर से इट इज नाइनटी एक्सपेक्टेड है ना तो लेटर से इट इज एटी फाइव कैन यू टेल मी वट इज योर अब नॉर्मल लॉस इन दिस केस हेलो वट इज योर अब नॉर्मल लॉस फाइव आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड द लॉजिकल इट विल बी लाइक दिस माई एक्सपेक्टेड आउटपुट वॉज नाइनटी सर आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग नाइनटी हंड्रेड माइनस टेन आई वॉज एक्सपेक्टिंग नाइनटी बट सर आई गॉट एटी फाइव फाइव यूनिट्स लेस तो आई कैन से फाइव इज माई अब नॉर्मल लॉस नाउ in order to calculate this denominator i will say total quantity minus normal loss quantity so the first option will be that is 100 minus 10 okay now tell me if i instead of this if i take this acha if i take only 85 tell me if i take only 85 when i take 85 what is the meaning of that have i considered now what is considered in this case abnormal loss is also considered because you are taking actual output hello abnormal loss is there in this case hello but if i add it back it means it is removed now hello it is fine now it is 90 now it is removed from that 85 now this is expected output which is 90 when you are adding it you are actually removing that uh, abnormal loss from that denominator hello pata nahi i think i am complicating the things for you hello understood sir understood hmm Because you eighty five leta na ki whatever cost you have incurred it is for eighty five. It means you are taking abnormal loss also into consideration. You are taking only eighty five units and not ninety. When I add it, that has been removed. That is what it is happening. When you are adding it over here, you are actually removing the effect of abnormal loss. Yeah, so I didn't say anything more. That was the solution. It was done. I just wanted to explain this. This is also expected output and not actual output. Actual output is this. When you add it, you, you, then you get expected output. अच्छा अभी जिनको कुछ नहीं समझा तो कुछ टेंशन मत लो वैसे भी सारा इतना समझ में आ ही गया था तुम लोग को मैंने बस ट्राई किया आई वॉन्टेड टू गिव यू द लॉजिक ऑफ बेस्ड ऑन दैट अर्लियर फॉर्मूला आई वॉन्टेड टू डेवलप दिस लॉजिक ओवर हियर दैट्स इट और कुछ नहीं करना था मेरे को अभी दूसरे लोगों को यू डोंट हैव टू डू एनी थिंग वॉट यू जस्ट नीड टू डू इज दिस विल कम फ्रॉम हियर एंड एवरी थिंग यू नो दैट इट इज रिटर्न इट इज रिटर्न स्क्रैप इज सब्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम हियर अच्छा चलो ठीक है 
now now uh now because we have done one question so i can expect the answer okay from you please calculate in rough and send me this answer i would like to see that how many of you can get this answer what will be the value of this 50000 units please calculate and send me yep uh vaishnavi that is right answer yes uh vedant i think ek hat zero kam laga diya but that is right okay vedant that is also right dhruvi that is right okay it is very simple when i say this 50000 it is this 50 50 50 you have option 50000 into 35 50000 into 15 50000 into 25 but why to go for this headache let us go for this 50000 into 75 it is over because that 50000 was common everywhere let us make the next statement that is a statement showing a apportionment of cost next a statement a statement to showing a apportionment of cost acha when you talk about this which is a statement showing apportionment of cost now here we go a uh, the first element will be a output transported to next process i think that name is there the name of the process so let me write it was i think x so then it is y to process y we have transferred how many units sir we have transferred a 50000 and every unit cost us 75 rupees 50000 into 75 that becomes 37 lakh 50000 that becomes 37 lakh 50000 okay then then sir what then if i talk about after this so if i talk about b after output transfer to next process i will come here i will check what is there sir the next thing is closing wip i am done with this now second is closing wip units are different i have to go individually closing a wip chalo let us calculate closing wip a uh, particulars a uh, material labor and overhead if we talk about this yeah a uh, the value will be equivalent production multiplied by cpu i hope you understand there is no need to add a uh, opening wip ka cost it is already added while calculating cpu it is already added no need to add here Uh, how many units so here we go we have uh, 5000 3000 3000 in closing wip 5000 multiplied by what is your cpu sir what is your cpu it is 35 15 25 35 15 25 okay 35 15 25 okay Forty-five thousand. That is seventy-five thousand. Take the total. Two lakh ninety-five thousand. Two lakh ninety-five thousand. Just go there and just you can copy these values. Or let's go for this abnormal loss. Also, is there? You can see that statement showing equivalent production. You can see that.
how many units these are there you just need to copy from here 2200 1200 2200 1200 okay so here we go 70000 into 15 that is 18,000, 225 that is 30,000, that is 1,18,000, please write this much. You can copy this value and yeah that's it and done then so let's go for that 37 lakh 50 thousand then 2 lakh 95 thousand then 1 lakh 18 thousand Okay. So each of them abnormal loss all about. समझा वो कैसे आया या नहीं? हाँ सर अंडरस्टैंड आपने. Okay. Yeah, it will tally. Uh, generally, uh, I will always do one thing, even though that calculation will be done over here. But for abnormal loss, I will always take this as a balancing figure. I will show the working, but still, I will always take that as a balancing figure. And it should match here and there. If it is 1 lakh 18, there also it should be 1 lakh 18. So that's so it will be a balancing figure. Otherwise, account will tally whatever you do. That is up to you. So here we go. That is how the account will look like. It will tell. Fine. So that was the solution to this question. Okay. Abhi thoda sa confidence bad gaya rega because it was I think a second question of VAM method. So thoda sa confidence bad. Acha ha. As I forget, as I told you, I always forget that. So let's make that account now. Abnormal loss account. They are asking for. Even though we know how to make this account, uh, let's go for this. You can see because it is something which is extra which is asked. So let's go for this abnormal loss account. Uh, if I make that account uh, here, we generally make it for around three, uh, you can make it for around three or four lines, four lines, let's say four lines abnormal loss account. चलो एक बार हो जाएगा जस्ट लेट मी नो सो दैट वी कैन प्रोसीड ओके फाइन सो इफ दिस इज माय फॉर्मेट व्हाट टू डू सर जस्ट गिव द सेकंड इफेक्ट द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज टू गिव द सेकंड इफेक्ट ओके 
ओके सो इफ आई गिव द सेकेंड इफेक्ट लेट्स डू दैट थिंग तो हियर वी गो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज अब नॉर्मल लॉस इज अपियरिंग ऑन विथ साइड और इट इज अपियरिंग ऑन द क्रेडिट साइड सो लेट्स गिव इट ऑन द डेबेट साइड टू थाउजेंड एंड वन लैक एटीन थाउजेंड सो टू थाउजेंड एंड वन लैक एटीन थाउजेंड टू प्रोसेस एक्स अच्छा अच्छा now whatever units you have with you what will you do sir just go to the market and sell what will you get scrap value buy your cash or bank so if you sell this 2000 units for every unit if you see the scrap value in the question that is 20 rupees okay so for this 2000 you gonna get Oh, uh, forty thousand rupees. And it is simple. Two thousand units. Two thousand units. You have in got one lakh eighteen thousand on this two thousand units. Out of one lakh eighteen thousand, forty thousand has been recovered. Then seventy-eight thousand is your to by costing PNL. It will be transferred to costing PNL. Fine. So that will be your answer, seventy-eight thousand. Please check. That was quite easy. Nothing difficult. We did it earlier, okay? But still, well, I'll be pooch. Hey, they were asking, so we just made that account. That's it. Okay, so uh, we are done with this question. Okay, uh, let us read the question as to what is given in the question. So you can read; it is given. ABC Limited manufactures a uh, uh, product or uh, ZX using the process, namely RT. So name of the process is RT. Acha, one more thing. Once you know the process, you can see there is a WIP. It means it is a question based on process account with the WIP. Sir. Bolo. Sir. हाँ अभी शेड्यूल थोड़ा ही है बट आई विल शेयर इट विथ यू एक बार मैं भेज देता हूँ फ्री होके वैसे है फेर ठीक है ठीक है चलो ओके फाइन हियर वी गो देन व्हाट इज रिटर्न ओवर हियर इज प्रोसेस आर टी द नेम ऑफ द प्रोसेस इज आर टी एंड यू कैन सी डब्ल्यू आई पी सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन विच इज बेस्ड ऑन प्रोसेस अकाउंट विद डब्ल्यू आई पी सो प्रोसेस अकाउंट विद डब्ल्यू आई पी यस सर Make a process account. Make a process account for ten lines. Chalo, bada bada. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ओके, सो यू वी गो इट इज पर्टिकुलर क्वांटिटी अमाउंट पर्टिकुलर क्वांटिटी अमाउंट चलो तो फॉर्मेट बन जाने के बाद हम शुरू करेंगे स्टेप नंबर वन सर व्हाट इज स्टेप नंबर वन सर द स्टेप नंबर वन मींस यू नीड टू रीड द क्वेश्चन एंड जस्ट कॉपी पेस एवरीथिंग व्हाट एवर इज देर इन द क्वेश्चन आइदर ऑन द डेबिट साइड और ऑन द क्रेडिट साइड ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट फाइन चलो लेट स्टार्ट विद दिस नाउ इफ आई रीड द क्वेश्चन वट इज रिटर्न The information is given for the process RT. ठीक है. Material introduced, transferred to next process. Okay. First of all, uh, you should know that what all things are going to come. Always there will be one opening WIP. We can write that. Then there will be two input material. Then there will be by normal loss. Then 
then there will be by output transported to next process then there will be closing WIP so these all things are going to come that is something which is fixed this this is minimum thing now let's read the question there is opening WIP closing WIP then input normal loss output whatever so once we, we, we once we write this much now let's go ahead what is given in the question sir they have written that your input is 16,000 it is quantity in units let's write 16,000 units input quantity is 16,000 yes sir. clear clear okay now sir output a transfer to next processor 14,400 it is 14,400 it is output which is transferred to the next process 14,400 yes sir then at the beginning and at the end so you have 4000 at the beginning and 4000 at the 3000 at the end it is WIP it is opening and closing WIP 4 and 3 so it should be 4000 and 3000 okay sir so we are done with this input output is recorded opening and closing WIP is recorded yes sir okay now what cost records amount data is given for amounts so first of all WIP at the beginning of the month. So whatever WIP we have at the beginning of the month, what is the cost we have incurred? Material and conversion. Now what is the meaning of conversion cost? Can someone explain? Hello. No. Cost of converting of particular WIP. Exactly, which is nothing but labor and overhead. That is you have purchased one cloth. Let us say you have purchased one cloth for 100 rupees. This is raw, raw material. Now if you want to convert this into shirt which is your main finished product. You will have to incur 200 for labor and let us say 100 rupees for uh, power and electricity whatever it is for overhead. So this is your conversion cost. That is to convert we can say to convert this raw material of 100 rupees into finished product. You will have to incur 300 rupees extra then it will be converted. So that is a conversion cost. Cost means uh, once the question is done, if you remind me again, I can give you that definition as to uh, uh, that what is conversion cost. We will write it down. Okay. Otherwise, in simple words, it is cost of converting raw material into finished goods. Okay. It is labor and overhead. It is nothing but labor and overhead. In bracket, you can write down conversion cost means. Acha, you need a total of this because this is the cost which is incurred in the past year. Sir, this cost is incurred for how many units, sir? Units which you have at the beginning. You can see this at the beginning, at the beginning. So, you have 4000 units and you have incurred 30,000 plus 29,200, 59,200. So, 59,200 will come over here, which is 59,200 rupees, which is opening WIP. Yes, sir. The cost which is incurred in the current period, sir, that should be shown separately, okay, with the bifurcations. Keetna, that is 1,20,000, 1,60,800, 1,20,000, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,60,800, 1,
14,400. So normal loss is 10% of this value. 14,400. That is output transferred to next process. You can see here it is this. So the ratio is given in this format. So it is 14,400 output transferred to next process. 10% of that. 1440. So that will be 1440. This will be your normal loss. Okay, chalo, sir. Done with this. Done with this. Now, ah, uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. Now let's read. Let's read what is given. Defects in these units are identified in their finished state. It means whatever defective units we have, we have completed 100% work on that. Defects in the process are identified at the Finished state means when, when they are fully completed like let us say that at our home we are making we are cooking something let us say something anything you can say any vegetable or rice biryani whatever it is once you make that entire biryani then you taste it it has like we can say it is not that tasty either salt is either it is salty or whatever it is but after making or after cooking the biryani you came to know that are no it is not something which is we, it is something which we cannot eat karke so defect is identified not during the production at the end once everything is done then you come to know or it is defective okay now material for the product is put in the process at the beginning of the cycle of the operation it is like cloth if i talk about cloth let us say you went to the tailor you went to the tailor you told the tailor i need i want i want shirt so he told me give me the cloth he told you i need 4 meter of cloth you said okay and he told you i need 4 days for this shirt then i will give you i will give you this shirt after 4 days Achha, is it possible you will say Achha, you, you will give me this shirt after 4 days na? it means 25% work will be done on the first day, second day, third day and on the fourth day 25% will be done so let, let's do one thing take 1 meter cloth today take 1 meter cloth after that then 1 meter then 1 meter is it possible or it is not possible I hope you understand it is not possible that doesn't make any sense he need that entire cloth of 4 meter on very first day and then he will start working. Let us see if I tell you after 2 days 50% work is done. So that 50% work is done. Does that mean material is also 50% or material is 100% used? 100%. Material is 100% used. The only thing is worker. The cutting is done. The stitching is pending. So material everything like 100% material is used. It only labor part is pending. That is what they are trying to say. Material for the finished product is put in the process what is written is material in the the product is process uh, at the beginning of the cycle of the operation what is the indication now tell me if you have a closing WIP if you have a closing WIP it is there you can see and in closing WIP you can see uh, the rate of completion is two third which is 66.66 percent so tell me this two-third is for what there are two expenses material and labor so that 66.66 percent is for both material and conversion cost or it is only for conversion cost only, conversion. Only, conversion. only for conversion cost two-third work is done hundred percent material is used because material is used at the beginning of the process when you start working on something entire material is used then worker will start working on that so please that is something which should be very clear in your mind this 3.66.66 which is two-third it is only for conversion material to is used it is hundred percent only it is used at the beginning so these sentences are very important now what's your now whereas labor and uh, other indirect cost flow that is your conversion labor plus other indirect cost which is overhead evenly over the year thoda thoda karke it is evenly like two days work is done 50 percent work is done for labor and overhead it has uh, no realizable value of a spoiled units it means i can say there is a dash no scrap value sir these are scrap units and no one will buy them even at a scrap they, no one is going to give you any scrap value zero rupees you will get you just need to throw it out somewhere else okay in the dustbin we can sir so no scrap value for this okay sir even if question is silent if the question is silent about scrap value you always assume it is nil if question is silent if scrap value is not given assume it as nil so if you want to make that note if 
value is not given then it is nil even though in this question it is clearly said it is nil but just in case no information is given for scrap value always uh, remember that if scrap value information is not given it means scrap value is zero that's it if they, we have a scrap value if these units have scrap value that information will be there okay here though it is written sir there is no scrap value Shallow. So here, what are they asking for? Prepare statement showing equivalent production. Which method, sir? Average method. Okay. Process account statement showing cost and distribution. So both statement showing CPU and distribution of cost. So everything they are asking for everything. Okay. ठीक है. चलो. Ah, so we read the question. Ah, uh, we have transferred everything. Okay. 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 Now, 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 now. Now next step, sir. Step number two. Deep. Ah, uh, and I think I ask you only. Nishi. Step number two. step number 1 read entire question now step number 2 close what so we will close the quantity column and we will uh, find out a normal loss or abnormal gain gain exactly so let us close the quantity column and uh, you will either get abnormal loss or abnormal gain so let us calculate that that will be uh 20000 बाय अब नॉर्मल लॉस ठीक है सो वॉट यू विल राइट इज बाय अब नॉर्मल लॉस ओके हैविंग डन दैट वंस यू राइट बाय अब नॉर्मल लॉस नाउ वॉट टू डू ओके now again same thing you want these values this value this value and this value and to get this values what you will have to prepare so uh, three statements equivalent production cpu and statement showing apportionment of cost now but before that you need to decide which method you will have to follow so it was specifically written in the question method should be average method it means weighted average method you can see that it was written you will have to follow you can see this we we'll have to average cost which is weighted average method so weighted average cost weighted average method p4 or uh, weighted average method when you say it means last period plus current period so that will be last period plus current period chal okay uh, now one thing uh chal let's calculate the things now you need to make a uh, one statement that is a statement showing what apportionment of cost uh, sorry a uh, equivalent production that statement will be made let's go for that statement showing equivalent production okay uh, so when you say statement showing equivalent production here we go because it is a weighted average method guys you need to leave four lines 1 2 3 4 how many expenses are there three uh, only two expenses material and conversion cost only two expenses are there so theek hai
ओके सो स्टेटमेंट शोइंग इक्विवल एंड प्रोडक्शन सो पर्टिकुलर यूनिट ओके ना आफ्टर दैट हियर वी गो यू जस्ट नीड टू राइट दीज थ्री थिंग्स इनका अपने को वैल्यू ढूंढना है वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट द वैल्यू फॉर दीज थ्री थिंग्स आउटपुट ट्रांसफर टू नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस then there is a closing wip and abnormal loss that is uh, 14400 one one a uh, 3000 1160 acha please uh, send me this answer Let's see whether you are able to do it or not. Please send me this answer for material equivalent output. I need final total equivalent output of material. Yeah, that is easy. Ah, uh, right. Chalo. Now, let me ah uh, calculate that thing. Acha. Chalo. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, chalo. Let's write this. Now, first of all, output which is transferred to next process, you need to understand it is hundred percent work done. Output which is transferred to next process, we have done hundred percent work, so you will say hundred percent. Okay. Now, if you talk about the closing WIP, guys. Ah, uh, uh, first of all, it is very much clear. Here also, it is hundred percent. Here also, it is hundred percent. Why, sir? It was specifically written that material, material. If I read this, this line was there. That materials for the product put in the process at the beginning of the cycle of the operation. So, material will be hundred percent. You can see whatever it is there, hundred percent material is used at the beginning. ठीक है. हाँ बट इफ आई टॉक अबाउट कन्वर्जन कॉस्ट इट विल डिपेंड सो फॉर आउटपुट विच इज ट्रांसफर टू द नेक्स्ट प्रोसेस ऑब्वियसली हंड्रेड परसेंट वर्क इज डन दैट इज वाई वी आर ट्रांसफरिंग ओके देन क्लोजिंग डब्ल्यू आई पी इट वॉज स्पेसिफाइड सिक्सटी सिक्स पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स बोलेगा तो टू थर्ड दैट इज टू थर्ड एंड फॉर अब नॉर्मल लॉस फॉर अब नॉर्मल लॉस देर वॉज वन लाइन इच वॉज रिटर्न Defects in the units are identified. Defective units, nothing but nor loss, whether normal or abnormal. So for whatever defects are there, are identified in their finished state. It means, tell me, ah, uh, will it, I hope you understand that will be hundred percent. Worker have complete worker has completed entire unit. Then you came to know, ah, it is defective. Correct. So hundred percent work is done by worker. Acha, acha. If something like this is written, defects are identified at eighty percent. completion level so i would have written 80% over here instead of 100 okay fair enough uh, let's calculate okay <laughs> once you calculate this tell me total cpu okay that can be in fraction do not worry i need total cpu calculate in row and if you are confident you can go in you can calculate in fair also that is okay uh you can have a uh, answer in fractions i need a uh, answer in four decimals okay you can round off up to four decimals i need total cpu please calculate in row then we will write in fair
आरची राइट आंसर Only thing is the last one will not be one eight; it should be one nine. But that is okay. That is that is okay. That is like the minor difference. Uh, Archie, that is right. Okay. That was too quick. Okay. Aryan, that is right. Vedant, okay, right. But you should have kept four decimals, okay. Nishi Vedant. Okay, fine, fine. So now let let me write then in this case. Chalo. Now the next statement will be what, sir? Statement showing CPU. Your thinking will be last period plus current period. Statement showing CPU, which is cost per unit. So how many expenses are there? The particulars, material, and conversion cost. Okay, Priyanka, no. Okay, fine. Now you will say cost incurred. N because it is a weighted average method, you will take last period cost also. Last period, current period. Then minus crap. Then you will get net cost. Whatever is your net cost, that will be divided by equivalent production, and then you will get CPU. Once you add individual CPUs, you will get total CPU. You should be able to. You should buy hard this format. Okay, that is better option for you. If you just buy hard this format after understanding this logically. Okay. What is the cost incurred in the last period? You can see that the cost which is incurred in the last period is this much. But I need bifurcation. I will have to check the question for that matter. Fifty nine two hundred. I need bifurcation. Yes, I have the bifurcation. Thirty thousand twenty nine two hundred. Okay. Then there is a current period cost, which is incurred in the current period, which is one twenty and one sixty eight hundred, one lakh twenty thousand, one lakh sixty thousand eight hundred, one lakh twenty thousand, one lakh sixty thousand eight hundred. Okay. Then there is a scrap. Do we have the value? No, there is no scrap value. Equivalent production is one eight five sixty, one seven five sixty. Which came from here? Okay, now one lakh fifty thousand will be divided by this. Keep four decimals. This is gonna be your CPU, which is eighteen point nine zero one nine. Okay. Now, how 
having done this okay now you just need to multiply above the uh, these two statements and you're gonna get your statements in distribution of cost okay fair enough so i will switch to the next page i hope you have written this much yes okay let us go to the next page which is a statement showing distribution of cost or apportionment of cost statement showing apportionment okay when i say this statement showing apportionment of cost in this case a output transferred to next process how many units we have transferred you will have to check that is 14400 14400 and this is your cpu so what you gonna do is 14400 multiplied by 18.9019 this is something which you will do Eight seven two seven two one eight seven. Okay. Now, now having done this, output transferred to the next process. After that, I can see that the second part will be closing WIP. Please calculate and send the answer for closing WIP so that I will come to know that you are getting it. Answer for closing WIP. Once you get, just send that answer. Yeah, uh, Vaishnavi, that is right answer. Deep, right. Archie, nine. Archie, I think you send it for abnormal loss. Okay, then that is right. Uh, Nishi, nine. Please check. okay uh fine let see then vedant uh yeah that is right uh asta nay i think you again asta you gave the answer for abnormal uh, loss that is right then okay theek hai. nevertheless now let us go for this uh closing wip particulars there is a material cost and then there is a conversion cost okay if we talk about uh particulars here uh First, you will write equivalent production, then you will multiply by CPU, that is earlier two statements. Okay. Chalo. Let us go for equivalent production of closing WIP. You can have a look, it is this 3000 and 2000. So just copy that 3000 and 2000. So, uh, what about cost per unit? Again, you will uh, go there and you will have a look. So, you can see your cost per unit is this. Two four two four six. Okay, two thousand into ten point eight two. That is two one six four zero. 
So your answer will be 45886 that will be your closing WIP yes sir. So you have got the answer for a output transfer to next process then there is a closing WIP and then there is an abnormal loss. Okay uh, if you talk about abnormal loss in this case you are uh, abnormal loss so how many units you can see these are common units here 160 1160 1160 then you can go for a shortcut it is common 1160 1160 to 1160 units into 18.9019 okay when you do this 18.9019 that becomes a 21926 or as a balancing figure there will be a difference let's see why i will tell you it is something which is common sense but still uh you please write like this we'll discuss there can be a difference of one rupee that is nothing but because of this because this uh, cpu is in fraction and because cpu is in fraction there can be a difference of one or two rupees that is okay if you want exact answers guys you can go for 8 decimals then you will get exact answers but module goes for 4 decimals so I always go for 4 decimals I generally do what module does ICAI does okay fair enough so after doing this uh, once you write this much let's copy these values let us copy these values there Paila is this That is the two lakh seventy two thousand one eighty seven output transfer to next process. Then the second one is this forty five thousand eight eighty six. Then here we go. Acha. Then you will take the balancing figure. So take the debit side cut total fifty nine two hundred plus one lakh twenty plus one sixty eight hundred. That is three lakh forty thousand. That is step number six actually last step here it was a balancing figure here also take the balancing figure two nine that is nothing but your are uh, two one 927 21927 that is your balancing figure for a process RT 21927 21927 so there is a difference of 1 rupee that is okay that is because this is uh, it came only in this question because uh, there was a CPU which was in fraction or in earlier question there was no difference now because this term CPU is in fraction that why this is the case so please just write it down if this is done again I will show you that last part hello okay fine uh, let's go for that last part please check uh, if it is pending uh, you can show like this it is preferable uh, as a calculate if you calculate this is your abnormal loss but as a balancing figure this will be the answer you can show both okay fine then that is one rupee difference that is okay no need to write it is because of that fraction institute knows that so there is no need to write in by there is a difference of one rupee there is no need to write that thing okay and yeah finally i hope at least abhi thoda thoda confidence there is some increase in confidence because we did almost i think two or three questions so thoda to familiarity badna chahiye abhi if you say sir abhi bhi i am not i like i am not understanding what is happening then i don't know then tumne dhyan diya ke nahi now you should be you should be able to understand what is happening okay so again this question took around 38 minutes okay uh, just listen to me carefully kuch choti si cheez hai mein bata deta hu like if i talk about this yahan pe hota hai aapka foundation theek hai ca uh, foundation then there is a ca inter 
एंड देन यू हैव अ सी ए फाइनल ओके एज ऑफ नाउ एज ऑफ नाउ हम यहाँ से यहाँ पे शिफ्ट हो गए हैं यस सर इतना तो हमें पता है दैट हम यहाँ से यहाँ पे आ गए हैं बट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज आपकी कुछ लर्निंग्स रही रहेंगी जब आपने फाउंडेशन uh, अपीयर किया हो सकता है कुछ आपने मिस्टेक्स की रहेंगी या नहीं की रहेंगी बट फिर भी आप पास हो गए ओके okay. या तो किसी के अच्छे मार्क्स आए रहेंगे किसी के बुरे मार्क्स आए रहेंगे लेकिन अभी के लिए ये मैटर नहीं करेगा एट दी एंड आप क्या हो गए हैं पास दैट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट जिसको ज्यादा मार्क्स आए हैं या फिर जिसको कम मार्क्स आए दोनों तो इधर ही बैठे सब लोग इधर ही बैठे ओके बट नाउ द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट सी ए इंटर कुछ इंसाइट देना चाहूंगा अच्छा फाउंडेशन में तुम लोगों को कितने सब्जेक्ट थे सब्जेक्ट चार सब्जेक्ट थे ओके okay. तो आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड इन फाउंडेशन यू गाइज वर हैविंग फोर सब्जेक्ट एंड हियर इफ यू हैव एट सब्जेक्ट एंड हर एक सब्जेक्ट के अंदर भी अगर मैं टैक्स की बात करूं तो उसमें एक डायरेक्ट टैक्स है एक इनडायरेक्ट टैक्स है विच इज जीएसटी तो थोड़े सब डिविजन भी है तो यहां का वॉल्यूम थोड़ा ज्यादा है तो ऑब्वियसली तुमको पढ़ना भी ज्यादा पड़ेगा इट इज बट ऑब्वियस कि एक लेवल आगे चाहते हो तो वॉल्यूम थोड़ा बढ़ने वाला है ओके okay, नाउ थोड़ी सी और चीजें डिस्कस कर लेते हैं मतलब बोला भी अभी तुम पास हो गए तो ये डिस्कस करना बनता भी है नाउ अगर अभी हम इफ यू टॉक अबाउट दिस एज ऑफ नाउ दिस इज सेप्टेम्बर मंथ देन देर इज अक्टूबर नवंबर दिसंबर जैन फेब मार्च अप्रैल मे प्रोबेबली आपका जो एग्जाम रहेगा वो कहां पर रहेगा मे मंथ में रहेगा यहाँ पे योर एग्जामिनेशन विल बी कंडक्टेड यू हैव मंथ्स अगर हम काउंट करें तो यहाँ पे वन टू थ्री ऐसा रिवर्स में फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन और इधर आ जाएगा सेवन पॉइंट फाइव मंथ्स अगर हम यहाँ से देखें तो ओके एंड दैट इज सफिशियंट ऐसा कुछ ज्यादा कम भी नहीं है और ज्यादा भी नहीं है एकदम परफेक्ट है जो भी टाइम है आपके पास ओके okay. uh, सुनते जाना थोड़ी सी चीज है जैसे आपको मैं थोड़ा अभी से बोल सकूं कि आपको ज्यादा ध्यान देने की जरूरत है ओके नाउ नाउ अभी अगर हम बात करें ये थोड़ा सा मैंने आइडिया दे दिया अभी देखना अभी इसके बाद अगर मैं सेवन पॉइंट फाइव मंथ की बात करता हूँ लेटर से देर आर थर्टी डेज इन ईच मंथ अप्रोक्सीमेटली किसी में थर्टी वन थर्टी ट्वेंटी एट वट एवर बट इफ आई अप्रोक्सीमेटली टेल यू गाइज है टू ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज टू ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज इसमें कुछ छुट्टियां वगैरह भी रहेंगी बहुत सारी चीजें रहेंगी ओके नाउ अभी आ, मैं अगर एक थोड़ा सा आपको ब्रीफ व्यू दे दूं तो आ, एक होता है जो क्लास में पढ़ाया जाता है फिर आपको जो होता है वो घर पे पढ़ना होता है समथिंग विच इज टॉट इन क्लास देन देर इज रिविजन वन देन देर इज रिविजन टू एंड देर इज रिविजन थ्री मिनिमम तीन रिविजन्स आर रिक्वायर्ड उसके बिना काम नहीं चल सकता जनरली आई एम सींग इन जनरल गाइज इन जनरल सी ए इंटर का जो पूरा सिलेबस है उसको खत्म करने के लिए अराउंड थाउजेंड से ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड आवर्स लगते हैं लेट्स टेक दिस एज ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड आवर्स ओके ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड आवर्स अप्रॉक्सिमेटली थाउजेंड से लेके बारह सौ घंटा लगता है अगर आठ सब्जेक्ट है तो जैसे कॉस्टिंग को अराउंड वन फोर्टी से वन फिफ्टी आवर्स लगता है वैसे हर एक सब्जेक्ट का अगर आप काउंट करोगे तो इन इंडस्ट्री अगर मैं जनरली बोलूँ तो एवरी क्लासेस टेक्स अराउंड थाउजेंड टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड आवर्स ओके नाउ अब आप आपको जो भी चीज पढ़ाई जाती है आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड आपको मिनिमम तीन बार तो पढ़ना पड़ेगा हम इतना तो अपना ब्रेन नहीं होता कि एक बार देख लिया तो जिंदगी में वो एंड तक याद रहेगा नहीं दैट इज नॉट द केस ओके तो व्हाट आई से इज जनरली 50 परसेंट टाइम विल बी डिवोटेड ओवर हियर अगर 100 परसेंट टाइम इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज अगर मैं बात करूं अगर 100 परसेंट टाइम आपका यहां पर लगा है तो रिविजन वन में मिनिमम मैक्स 50 परसेंट सॉरी मैक्सिमम ओके मिनिमम नहीं उतने में हो जाएगा मतलब जो 1200 घंटे में पढ़ाया है उसको रिवाइज करने में छह घंटा तो लगेगा देन रिविजन टू आई कैन से इट कैन बी डन इन थर्टी एंड देन इट कैन बी डन इन ट्वेंटी तो बारह सो इंटू That becomes let us say 360 hours, 1200 into 20 percent. That becomes 240 hours. फिर आपको exam के time पे पढ़ना रहेगा. तो 1200 plus 600 plus 360 plus 240. That comes to around 2400 hours. I'm just giving you one basic calculation. कि हाँ भाई मेहनत लगने वाली है तो अभी से time waste नहीं करना है आपको. Okay. अब अगर मैं ये बात करता हूँ, तो आपको भी समझ में आता है. जरा एक calculation देखना. अगर मैं ये बात करता हूं कि यू गाइज हैव टू स्टडी फॉर दिस मेनी आवर्स 2400 आवर्स इन यू गाइज हैव अराउंड 225 डेज इवन यू ऑल विल एग्री दैट यू ऑल विल एग्री दैट इसमें से 25 दिन तो छुट्टी हो सकती है मतलब इफ आई टॉक अबाउट यू हैव सेवन मंथ्स तो हर महीने में दो दिन तो छुट्टी हो ही सकती है ना दो तीन दिन या नहीं होगी मतलब या आप रोज पढ़ने वाले देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी देर इज अ नॉर्मल लॉस यू के नॉट स्टडी फॉर सेवन डेज या तो एट अ स्ट्रेच टेन डेज बिटवीन बीच में कुछ तो ऐसा होगा तो आई कैन कंसीडर अ नॉर्मल लॉस 
मैं नॉर्मल कंसिडर कर रहा हूं बहुत लोगों का अब नॉर्मल लॉस भी होगा बट लेट एस कंसिडर दिस एज ए नॉर्मल लॉस ओके तो इफ आई से ट्वेंटी फाइव डेज इज माई नॉर्मल लॉस हालांकि कुछ आवर्स की आपकी पढ़ाई हो भी गई है तो कैन आई से यू गाइज हैव टू हंड्रेड डेज अगर मैंने कहीं पे कुछ गलत लिखा है जस्ट रेक्टिफाई मी अभी आपके पास टू हंड्रेड डेज है नाउ इफ आई डिवाइड बाई टू हंड्रेड डेज आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड आपको दो हजार चार सौ घंटे की पढ़ाई करनी है दो हजार चार सौ डिवाइड बाई टू हंड्रेड इट मीन्स आई कैन से अप्रॉक्सीमेटली ट्वेल्व आवर्स अ डे आपको पढ़ना है अगर आपको सारी चीजें बहुत ज्यादा अच्छे से करनी है मतलब बोले ना रैंक वगैरह वैसा वाला प्रिपरेशन देन यू विल हाउ टू स्टडी आई वुड रिकमेंड अभी से पढ़ना चालू कर दो करके ट्वेल्व आवर्स अ डे यू शुड स्टडी ट्वेल्व यू शुड ट्राई टू अचीव एवरी डे मतलब आई नाउ एक चीज अगर आपने अभी तक 12 घंटा कभी नहीं पढ़ा एक दिन में तो आप डायरेक्टली तो नहीं पढ़ पाओगे तो ग्रेजुअली होगा तो ऐसा नहीं है धीरे धीरे करके सारी चीजें हो जाएंगी मैं खाली इतना बोलता हूं मेक अ टाइम टेबल अच्छा सबसे पहले मुझे ये बता दो मैंने एक छोटा सा मैं आइडियाज देने की कुछ कोशिश कर रहा हूं यू कैन एड यूर इनपुट ऑल्सो इन बिटवीन की सर मेरे हिसाब से ये है या फिर ये यू कैन एड यूर इनपुट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क दैट ऑल्सो अखा अच्छा मुझे ये पता ना जनरली जनरली अगर हम बात करते हैं अपने एक दिन की वन डे की तो आप मुझे ये बता सकते हो कि एक दिन के अंदर आपकी क्लासेस कितने आवर्स के लिए होती है हेलो सिक्स आवर्स की क्लास होती है द क्लास इज फॉर सिक्स आवर्स अच्छा अच्छा कॉलेज में बैठना आई डोंट थिंक इतना इम्पोर्टेंट रहता या होता है बंद ही कर दो या फिर एकदम मिनिमम लेवल पे कर दो जितना पॉसिबल हो सके बिकॉज आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड मीनिंग गो फॉर इंटरव्यू इन फ्यूचर या तो फ्यूचर में जब भी कोई पूछेगा कोई ये नहीं पूछेगा कि आपके टी वाई में या ट्वेल्थ में या मे बी एस वाई बी कॉम में एफ वाई बी कॉम में कितने आए थे एनी बडी वेल आस्क यू वेदर आपका फाइनल में रैंक था इंटर में रैंक था या फिर इंटर के मार्क्स कितने थे वो वो ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट रहेंगे मतलब वैसा है कंपेरेटिवली तो आई विल सी दैट इट इज लेस इंपॉर्टेंट और नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट एट ऑल बस आपको एक डिग्री लेनी है यहाँ पे ये समझो इट इज नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट तो आपका पूरा फोकस अभी इधर होना चाहिए ठीक है नाउ प्लीज मेक दिस पॉइंट कुछ चीजें जो आपको मिनिमम से मिनिमम करनी ही है अभी मैं बोलता हूं आपको सबसे पहले क्या करना है चाहिए तो आई विल शेयर दिस पीडीएफ आल्सो विद यू आपके साथ ये पीडीएफ भी शेयर कर दूंगा बट जो कुछ चीजें मैं बता रहा हूं ये देखना जब भी आप एक दिन की बात करते हो कुछ चीज है जो एकदम स्पेसिफिकली हो जानी चाहिए मैं जनरली ऐसा करता हूं अगर मैं एक दिन की बात करता हूं तो कुछ चीजों का एक स्ट्रक्चर मेंटेन होना चाहिए सर क्या मेंटेन होना चाहिए स्ट्रक्चर उसमें क्या क्या आएगा देखो सबसे पहला एक दिन में आपने कितनी पढ़ाई की स्टडी then sleep, then exercise. ये तीन चीज है ओके आइडियली आइडियली आई कैन सी दैट एक्सरसाइज शुड बी डन फॉर वन आवर इन डे एक दिन एक घंटे की एक्सरसाइज होनी चाहिए आपका स्लीपिंग सिक्स टू सेवन आवर्स स्टिल आई एम सींग कि चलो सेवन आवर्स करके और अगर मैं यहाँ पे ट्वेल्व पकड़ता हूँ तो ट्वेल्व प्लस एट 12 नहीं तो चलो शुरुआत अगर मैं 10 हालांकि 12 ही करना चाहिए एंड इट इज पॉसिबल ऑल्सो चलो बट स्टार्टिंग फर्स्ट वीक के लिए 10 आवर्स का टारगेट रखता है 10 आवर्स ये फर्स्ट वीक की बात करता हूं यू कैन स्टार्ट विद दिस करके तो एटलीस्ट आपके 18 आवर्स प्रोडक्ट ये हो जाएंगे यहां पे मतलब टोटल एंड सिक्स आवर्स आपकी अदर एक्टिविटीज लाइक जो भी है खाना पीना या वट इट इज दूसरी एक्टिविटीज नाउ वॉट टू डू इन दिस इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस तो ये टेन आवर्स में ऐसा है अगर हम ये टेन आवर्स की बात करेंगे तो इसके भी दो पार्ट्स हो जाएंगे इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दिस टेन आवर्स इट विल बी गाइज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स द फर्स्ट वन विल बी योर क्लास एंड द सेकंड वन विल बी योर रिविजन ओके और ये सब अभी से करना है तो ज्यादा बेटर रहेगा वैसा अभी क्लास के अगर या तो मैं इसको तीन पार्ट में डिवाइड करता हूं वो ज्यादा बेटर है सुनना यहां पे आपके लेक्चर सिक्स आवर्स के हो जाएंगे अभी थोड़े टाइम के अंदर अगर नहीं हुए हैं तो डू नॉट वरी आई कैन द फर्स्ट वन इज फॉर क्लास द अनदर वन इज फॉर रिविजन एंड अनदर वन इज फॉर पेंडिंग टॉपिक्स आपके जो भी है वो खत्म करने के लिए सुनो तो 
अगर मैं बात करता हूँ क्लास की तो आपकी क्लास सिक्स आर्स की चलेगी तो उसको रिवाइज कर में थ्री आर्स आई कैन तो अगर आप क्लास में ध्यान देते हो ना तो यू कैन रिवाइज इन टू आवर्स ऑल्सो अगर आप थोड़ा ध्यान दो तो आपको पता चलेगा छह घंटे की पढ़ाई दो घंटे में रिवाइज हो सकती है अगर आप क्लास में छह घंटा बहुत अच्छे से ध्यान दो तो तो सबसे पहला एक्चुअली मैं बोलूं कोई भी स्टूडेंट पास या फेल कब होता है जब रिजल्ट आता है तब नहीं होता वो एक्चुअली जब सी इवन विनर एंड लूजर जो स्टूडेंट पास होता है और जो स्टूडेंट फेल होता है दोनों के गोल्स तो सेम ही होते हैं कि भाई उनको रैंक लाना या फिर पास होना है दो स्टूडेंट है तो लेकिन एक पास हो गया और फेल हो गया तो वो रिजल्ट के दिन पास और फेल नहीं हुआ था एक्चुअली जो सिस्टम उसने फॉलो किया था तभी उस वो पास या फेल हो गया था तो वी नेवर फेल अवर सिस्टम्स जो होते अपने जो सिस्टम होते हैं हम उसकी वजह से फेल होते हैं तो यू नीड टू इंप्रोवाइज आपकी जो सिस्टम है मतलब आपका जो डेली रूटीन है यू नीड टू फोकस अपॉन दैट तो कुछ भी हो जाए अगर आप मोस्टली रोज नहाना अपन अवॉइड नहीं करते ब्रश करना अवॉइड नहीं करते एकदम वर्स के सिनेरियो में वो अवॉइड किया जाता है तो उस हिसाब से ये रिवीजन भी हो जाना चाहिए भाई करना है मतलब करना है अगर सर ने छह घंटा पढ़ाया है दो घंटे की रिवीजन चलेगी मेरे या तो थ्री आवर्स की मैक्सिमम एंड देन टू आवर्स आप इसके लिए दे दो जो आपके पेंटिंग टॉपिक्स है मतलब दो से तीन घंटा आप रिविजन के लिए दे सकते हो मैंने दो लिख दिया है जो हो सकता है मतलब पॉसिबल है सो प्लीज मेक दिस प्लान एक डायरी ऐसा मेंटेन कर लिया करो और उसमें लिख दिया करो कि ऐसा ऐसा किया है करके लाइक ये टेन आवर्स मतलब हर दिन एंड टास्क कंप्लीटेड यहाँ पे टास्क आपने क्या किया करके वैसा जैसे अगर ये अदर वाला पार्ट है तो इसके अंदर आपने क्या पढ़ लिया करके वैसा मतलब आप इसमें यहाँ तक ऐसा लिख सकते हो कि सर ने आज क्या पढ़ाया करके तो वैसा तो समझो आज सर ने क्या पढ़ाया एक इसमें प्रोसेस पढ़ लिया दूसरे में ये पढ़ लिया इसका भी रिवीजन हो गया इसका भी रिवीजन हो गया उसके बाद मतलब ऐसा भी लिख सकते हो कि प्रोसेस में क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स टू एट करा दिए देन इसका रिविजन हो गया यस देन अकाउंट्स में कुछ करा दिया तो उसका रिविजन हो गया यस और पेंडिंग में क्या किया ऐसा अगर आप डेली मेंटेन करोगे ना तो यू विल हैव अ ट्रैक ऑल्सो ये लिखने में ज़्यादा नहीं पाँच मिनट लगेगा या दस मिनट लगेगा बट आपको पूरे दिन का एक ट्रैक रहेगा मैं तो बोलता हूँ हर एक को एक डायरी में ये मेंटेन करना चाहिए आप दैट वुड बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर यू ऑल दो सो दैट आपको ट्रैक रहेगा और जब भी आप कोई टॉपिक पढ़ते हो ना ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दिस अगर मैंने मतलब यू शुड नोटेड डाउन किया ऐसा ऐसा अगर ये आप मेंटेन करोगे तो आपके लिए वो एक बेनिफिशियल रहेगा और आगे जाके आपको ये पता होना चाहिए मैं मेरे टॉपिक इसके लिए तो बता दूंगा कि प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग मैंने कितने आवर्स में कंप्लीट किया आपको कितने आवर्स में करना चाहिए और फिर उसके बाद सेकंड रिवीजन कब कितने आवर्स में होनी चाहिए वगैरह वैसा बट आपके एंड पे भी सारी चीजें होनी चाहिए तो प्लीज अभी से थोड़ा सीरियस हो जाना एंड यू ऑल नो दैट सारे लोग पास नहीं होते हैं तो ऑब्वियसली वी आर सेटिंग इन द क्लास नॉट एवरीबडी इज गोइंग टू पास सो ओनली दो विल पास जिनका सिस्टम या फिर जिनका डेली रूटीन काफी अच्छा है सबसे ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है वो ये है ये बहुत ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है आप एक समझो अगर आपने ये नहीं किया तो ये बैठना भी बेकार है क्लास में बैठना भी बेकार है वैसा तो इट इज प्रेफरेबल अगर क्लास में बैठे हो और अगर उसका बेनिफिट चाहते हो तो आपको क्या करना चाहिए रिवीजन करना ही चाहिए ओके एट माय एंड आई विल ट्राई कि आप रिवाइज करते जाएंगे टॉपिक को बट आई गिव मोर इंपॉर्टेंट मोर इंपॉर्टेंट सो जिसके रिविजन होना ही चाहिए आपके खुद के समरी नोट्स बनाओ जो भी करो बट अभी के लिए आपकी दुनिया यही होना चाहिए कि अपने को सी एंटर में फोड़ने का कर और वो हो सकता है ऐसा नहीं है कि नहीं हो सकता द ओनली थिंग इज अभी से प्लानिंग किया करो और कभी कुछ डाउट वगैरह आता है यू गाइज कैन कॉल मी वी कैन डिस्कस की कैसे क्या प्लान बनाना है क्या नहीं करना है वट एवर इट इज इन डिटेल जस्ट इन केस इफ यू हैव समथिंग तो उस केस में हम वो भी डिस्कस कर सकते हैं बट या प्लीज मेक दिस डेली रूटीन डे वन डे टू या फिर आप डेट लिख दिया करो जैसे अगर आज ये तो यू कैन राइट अ डेट कि आज का डेट क्या है देन डेट टू करके वैसा यू कैन चेंज द फॉर्मेट बट यू शुड नो कि आप ज्यादा तो नहीं सो रहे हो तो उसका भी एक ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड मेंटेन किया करो मैं कितने बजे सोने गया कितने बजे उठा मतलब एक एक मिनट आपको वैल्यू करना है इवन आपकी जो सोशल मीडिया होती है एफ बी इंस्टा स्नैपचैट या वॉट एवर वेब सीरीज आप देखते हो प्लीज अभी से ये बंद कर दो मतलब ये सोशल मीडिया में बंद नहीं बोलूंगा यूज इट एवरी डे फॉर टेन टू फिफ्टीन मिनट्स या तो संडे को यूज करने का ऐसा कुछ रख दो आई विल यूज इट ऑन संडे फॉर दिस मेनी आवर्स करके वैसा एंड स्टूडेंट प्लीज मेक वीकली टारगेट्स आई कैन टेल यू अगर आप टारगेट बहुत बड़ा बनाते हो ना तो बहुत प्रॉब्लम हो जाता है कि ये लंबा नहीं उससे अच्छा मेक स्मॉल टारगेट स्मॉल टारगेट्स मतलब एकदम सिंपल है यू जस्ट नीड टू मेक टारगेट फॉर वन वीक कि इस वीक में जो भी हो रहा है क्या मैंने ये अचीव किया कि नहीं किया कि इतना 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 तो सेवन आवर्स के सबसे टोटल स्लिप कितनी हो गई उतनी मतलब एंड एक वीक में मैक्सिमम आप
छोटे से शुरू करने का और देखते वो अचीव होता है कि नहीं सीधा एक बड़ा टारगेट मत रखो मेक अ टारगेट सेवेंटी आवर्स का एंड देख लो फिर सात दिन का ऐड करके कि आपका जो स्टडी वाला पार्ट है वो सेवेंटी आवर्स तक जाता है कि नहीं मतलब एक दिन का दस घंटा तो सात दिन का सेवेंटी आवर्स करके अकॉर्डिंगली बट यू नीड टू मेक अ प्लान आपको इन्वॉल्व होना पड़ेगा खुद से वैसा है वी कैन डिस्कस कभी कुछ प्रॉब्लम वगैरह आपको आता है तो बट प्लीज यू शुड बी नाउ वेरी सीरियस इट इज अ फर्स्ट डे तो आई एम टेलिंग यू कि अभी अपना मतलब होना चाहिए सब चीज है ऐसा आप देन फिर अपन शुरू करेंगे करके मतलब अगर आप चाहते देखो सिंपल इतना पैसा लगाया सब कुछ करना है तो भी थोड़ी जब छः घंटे की मेहनत कर ही रहे हो तो मेरी बात सिंपल है अगर इतनी मेहनत कर रहे हो तो भाई ये क्यों नहीं करना करके वैसा है तो वो भी कर लो बेटर है तो अच्छा इस केस के अंदर अगर मैं आपको एक सिंपल चीज़ बता दूँ तो वैसा है जनरली ना तीन तरह के स्टूडेंट्स होता है कैन गिव यू वन आइडिया स्टूडेंट्स अगर हम बात करेंगे तो स्टूडेंट्स कैन बी ब्रॉडली क्लासीफाइड इन थ्री पार्ट्स If you talk about students, students can be broadly classified into two parts. एक होता है जो लक्ष्य होता है एक धैर्य और एक होता है चुलबुल Just to give you some idea, the name itself indicates when I say चुलबुल तो ये सब मस्ती वगैरह करते हैं इसको कोई टेंशन नहीं होता ही ऑलरेडी नो दैट ही इज गोइंग टू फेल तो ये खुश है भाई अपने जिंदगी जी रहा है उसने मजे भी कर लिए और ये फेल हो गया तो ठीक है उसको पहले से पता था उसने बस एडमिशन लिया था कि भाई चलो घर वाले फोर्स कर रहे हैं या फिर कोई फोर्स कर रहा है करके तो ही ही इज हैप्पी एक्चुअली द रीजन उसको पता था वो फेल हो गया उसने जिंदगी के मजे भी किए वैसा और वो फेल हो गया स्टिल ही इज हैप्पी बिकॉज उसने जिंदगी जी तो लिए फिर भी पढ़ाई तो की ही नहीं थी उसने अजय फैटक अबाउट लक्ष्य तो स्टार्टिंग से ही प्लान बनाता है ही विल मेक अ प्लान कैसे क्या पढ़ना है ही विल रिवाइज एवरी थिंग वॉट एवर इज डन इन द क्लास पास्ट पेपर सॉल्व करेगा मॉड्यूल देखेगा सर ने टॉपिक खत्म करने के बाद अकॉर्डिंगली ही विल सी एवरीथिंग मतलब ये रिवीजन करने के बाद दो घंटे का रिवीजन हो गया उसके पास टाइम मिला अभी कोई पेंडिंग टॉपिक नहीं बचा है तो वो मॉड्यूल देख लेगा पास्ट पेपर खुल के देखेगा ऐसी सब चीजें करेगा इन अकॉर्डिंगली ही विल ऑब्वियसली पास ही इज गिविंग हिज बेस्ट ही स्टडिंग एवरी डे ऑलमोस्ट टेन टू ट्वेल्व आवर्स अ डे अगेन ही इज हैप्पी वाई सर ही इज हैप्पी बिकॉज उसने एफर्ट किए और उसको रिजल्ट भी मिल गया अगर आप एफर्ट करते हो और आपको रिजल्ट मिलता है तो आप खुश हो जाते हो तो ये दोनों लेवल खुश है मतलब जो फेल हुआ और वो पास हुआ भी लेकिन लेकिन एट्टी परसेंट क्राउड जो होता है वो धैर्य होता है ना ये एट्टी परसेंट क्राउड क्या होता है तो ये समझो करके जो पास होते हैं वो ये वाले और कुछ लोग होते हैं वो जो चुलबुल एकदम गिने चुने एक दो लोग होते हैं हर एक बैच के अंदर एक दो लोग ऐसे होते हैं अभी धैर्य वाला सीन क्या है देखो ये लोग क्लास में तो बैठते हैं लेकिन ये डिपेंड करता है इनका मूड कैसा है मूड रहेगा तो ध्यान देंगे मूड रहेगा तो ध्यान नहीं देंगे कभी एक हाथ क्लास मिस कर देंगे एब्सेंट रहेंगे और रिवीजन मतलब इनका सारा चीज मूड के ऊपर होता है रिवीजन है अगर टेस्ट रखा है तो थोड़ा बहुत पढ़ लेंगे नहीं तो नहीं पढ़ेंगे मतलब वो एक दिन में एक तो छः घंटे की क्लास बैठ लेंगे और मान लो एक हाथ या दो घंटे का रिविजन कर लेंगे वन आवर का कभी पढ़ लिया तो पढ़ लिया कभी दो घंटा पढ़ लिया कभी नहीं पढ़ा मतलब डिपेंड करता है कभी पढ़ा कभी नहीं पढ़ा अपने हिसाब से तो ऑब्वियसली रिजल्ट विल भी फेल ओनली आई कैन से बिकॉज सारे लोग नहीं पास होने वाले तो ये लोग भी फेल हो जाएंगे तो समझो कि मैं बोलता हूँ कि रिजल्ट 15 परसेंट आता है एक जस्ट एक हाइपोथेटिकल एग्जाम्पल है इट कैन भी फिफ्टी परसेंट ट्वेंटी परसेंट थर्टी परसेंट बट इफ आई गिव यू वन एग्जाम्पल तो ऑलमोस्ट देखो अगर मैं बोलता हूँ एटी फाइव परसेंट क्राउड क्या हो रहा है फेल हो रहा है मान लो तो फिफ्टीन खुश है पास हो गया वो और फेल में से भी ये लोग तो खुश है बिकॉज इनको पहले से पता था लेकिन इसके दिक्कत है तो अपने को क्या करना है मोस्टली अभी हम लोग जितने भी इवन आई वाज धैर्य स्टूडेंट ओनली के भाई अपन थोड़ा बहुत पढ़ते तो अपने को भी इधर से इधर शिफ्ट करने का तो इधर से इधर शिफ्ट करना है तो ऑब्वियसली अपने को पढ़ना पड़ेगा प्लान बनाना पड़ेगा थोड़ा दोस्ती वगैरह रखने का लेकिन पूरा दिन बात करने का वैसा सब नहीं है यूर रिलेशनशिप एंड ऑल यू शुड कीप अ बैलेंस यू शुड स्टडी दैट्स इट मतलब वैसा है तो आपको बस ये वाला चीज अचीव करना है रिवीजन हर दिन करना है एंड कंसिस्टेंसी इज द की तो प्लीज मेक श्योर दैट आप ये चीज करोगे आपको यहाँ से यहाँ कन्वर्ट होना है करके जो भी फाउंडेशन में किया दैट डज नॉट मैटर वॉट रियली मैटर्स इज वॉट यू विल डू इन सी ए इंटर करके उसके बाद एक चीज और समझ लो मोटिवेशन शुड भी लाइक ये एज अ मोटिवेशन एक्ट करना चाहिए कि मेरे को इंटर एग्जामिनेशन बाद में वापस कभी नहीं देने का है भाई एक ही बार देना और खत्म करना है चीजों को वैसा है तो अभी आप अपना 80 परसेंट दोगे दूसरे टाइम में 80 परसेंट दोगे फिर जाके कहीं पे पास वगैरह हो जाओगे उससे अच्छा अभी अपना वन दे दो और खत्म कर दो वैसा जो करना है अभी से करना प्लीज जरा सा भी देखो डिस्ट्रैक्शन तो आएंगे डिस्ट्रैक्शन तो आएंगे बट यू विल हैव टू ओवरकम दोज डिस्ट्रैक्शन आपको अगर आपका कॉन्फिडेंस
ऐसे कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ेगा मतलब इट इज़ लाइक एक थोड़ा सा एक ये आ गया डॉट और फिर आपने पढ़ लिया थोड़ा सा धीरे धीरे करके आपका कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ेगा यू जस्ट नीड टू गिव वन स्मॉल कमिटमेंट कि आज जो सर ने मुझे पढ़ाया है समझो प्रोसेस कॉस्टिंग का तो मैं आज उसको एक बार देख लूंगा रिवाइज कर लूंगा अगर ये कर लिया ऐसा जैसे रोज करते जाओगे रिविजन हर एक चैप्टर का तो धीरे धीरे आपका कॉन्फिडेंस बढ़ेगा बट उसके लिए आपको थोड़ा सा टाइम इन्वेस्ट करना पड़ेगा रोज अपने आप से कुछ कमिटमेंट करना पड़ेगा और उसको पूरा करना पड़ेगा एक घंटा मतलब आई कैन तो से ऐसा भी क्या आपको मैंने ऐसा कभी एक टेक्निक बताया है आवर ऑफ पावर हेलो नहीं ना नो सर ठीक है तो चलो सुन लो अभी से अगर ये टेक्निक फॉलो करोगे ना तो ये बेटर रहेगा पूरे दिन में वन या तो टू या आपका होना चाहिए वन और टू आवर ऑफ पावर होने चाहिए अभी ये क्या होता है आई कैन गिव यू वन अंडरस्टैंडिंग देखो बहुत बार कैसा होता है मालूम है आपका दिमाग होता है जो आपको बोलता है कि यार अब मेरे से नहीं हो पाएगा मैं थक जाऊँ छः घंटे की क्लास बैठ के एक्चुअली दीज ऑल आर एक्सक्यूजेस आपके पास हमेशा ज़्यादा कैपेसिटी होती है ये बस आपके दिमाग में आप खुद से बोलते हो आई कैन गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑल्सो फॉर दैट मैटर चलो अगर मैं आपको यहाँ पर बात करता हूँ तो ज़रा समझना आपका जब पेपर होगा आई कैन गिव यू वन सिनारियो फॉर दैट मैटर आपके जब पेपर्स होंगे लेटेस्ट से मे में इन द मंथ ऑफ मे देर विल बी अ पेपर विच विल बी कंडक्टेड अभी पेपर हर एक ऑल्टरनेट डेज पे होता है अगर एक तारीख को पेपर है तो फिर तीन तारीख को होगा फिर सो एन एंड सो फोर्थ करके वैसा फिफ्थ को होगा नाउ अभी जो आपका एक तारीख को पेपर होगा आप उसके लिए पढ़ना तो चालू कर देंगे बहुत टाइम्स है उसके बाद अभी यहाँ पे आपके पास एक गैप मिलेगा जहाँ पे आपको पढ़ना होगा स्टडी करनी होगी सुनो अब अब आप पेपर देख आओगे आप पेपर देख आओगे ऑन फर्स्ट मे लेटर से आप पेपर दे दिए एंड आपको अभी थर्ड को पेपर देना है तो अपने यहाँ पे जब आपकी जो पढ़ाई रहेगी ना वो एकदम हाई लेवल पे रहेगी एकदम हाई लेवल पे आपने बहुत पढ़ाई की रहेगी यहाँ पे ओके okay, उसके बाद उसके बाद और आपको तभी ऐसा भी लगेगा काश जितना मैं अभी पढ़ रहा हूँ या फिर जितना मैंने मैं एग्जाम के एक महीने पहले पढ़ा अगर उतना मैं पहले से पढ़ लेता तो मैं फोड़ देता ये फीलिंग हर एक को आती है इट इज़ नॉर्मल इवन फाउंडेशन में भी आपको आया रहेगा कि काश यार एग्जाम के दस दिन पहले जितना मैंने पढ़ा था ना उतना अगर मैं स्टार्टिंग से पढ़ते तो मेरा रैंक तो पक्का ही था करके कोई मेरे को रोक ही नहीं सकता सी एवरी वन हैज पोटेंशियल ऐसा नहीं कि पोटेंशियल नहीं दो ओनली थिंग इज क्या आप उसको यूटिलाइज कर रहे हो या नहीं कर रहे दैट इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज लाइक हंगर रेस आपकी भूख कितनी है कि आपको भाई ये चीज करनी ही करनी है खत्म करके वैसा वाला सीन है तो यहां पे अगर मैं बात करता हूं देखो एक टेक्निक बता रहा हूं आवर ऑफ पावर इसमें क्या होगा देखो अगर आपकी एग्जामिनेशन मे में होती है तो मे में होती है तो अभी यहां पर आप पढ़ाई करोगे ये एक तारीख को आने के बाद दो से पांच पेपर होता है उसके बाद आप पढ़ाई करोगे दो तारीख को भी पढ़ोगे तीन तारीख को भी पढ़ोगे और पेपर देने जाओगे अभी आप जब पेपर देने जाओगे तो पेपर आवर ऑफ पावर की टेक्निक समझो आपका पेपर थ्री आवर्स का होता है अच्छा अब आपने ऑलरेडी दो दिन बहुत ज्यादा पढ़ रखा है आपका दिमाग खराब है ओके फिर भी आप यहाँ पे तीन घंटा पेपर देने जा रहे हो मुझे बताओ तो ये तीन घंटे के पेपर में तो आप थक जाने चाहिए चलो मैं तीन पेपर को तीन आवर्स के पेपर को ऐसा डिवाइड करता हूँ वन वन आवर के स्लॉट में वन आवर वन आवर वन आवर वन आवर वन आवर वन आवर ठीक है ना जब आप तीन घंटे का पेपर बैठते हो तो आपका यहाँ पे आप पढ़ रहे हो यहाँ पे लिख रहे हो पेपर यहाँ पे लिख रहे हो मुझे बताओ आपकी जो लिखने की और सोचने की स्पीड है वो सबसे ज्यादा कहाँ पर होगी पहले वाले फर्स्ट आवर में या लास्ट वाले फर्स्ट आवर में फर्स्ट आवर लिखने की स्पीड आर यू श्योर आपके फर्स्ट वन आवर आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड जो आपका लास्ट वाला वन आवर होता है या तो उसमें भी मैं लास्ट के टेन मिनट्स की बात करूँ लास्ट के 15 मिनट्स की अगर मैं बात कर दूं तो जो स्पीड होता है ना वो आपका उस लेवल पे होता है कि आपको भी अपना शायद हैंड राइटिंग समझ में आई या ना है मतलब जब तक वो एग्जाम इधर आपसे पेपर नहीं छीनेगा और जब वो नजदीक आ रहा होता है ना लास्ट के दो मिनट होते तब तो स्पीड एकदम ही हाई होता है मतलब आपको कुछ नहीं एकदम फोकस जो होता है वो अल्टीमेट होता है अल्टीमेट मतलब कुछ थॉट नहीं होता है दिमाग में बस मेरे को लिखना है करके दो मिनट में जो लिख सकूँ मैं वैसा तो ये जो फोकस होता है दैट इज नथिंग बट अगर आप वैसे लॉजिकली देखने जाओगे तो पहले पेज पे हैंडराइटिंग वैसे अच्छी होती फिर धीरे 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 खराब होते जाती है वो हर एक ही केस में होता है तो मैं क्या बोलता हूँ वैसे अगर मैं लास्ट पंद्रह मिनट की बात करूँ तो होना क्या चाहिए आप एकदम थक जाने चाहिए अरे यार मेरा तो मनी नहीं कर रहा लिखने का यार मैं कैसे लिखूँ क्या करूँ करके यू यू शुड सी दैट एक्चुअली बट नहीं क्योंकि आपके पास कोई एक्सक्यूज नहीं होता आपको वो दिखता नहीं आपको बस ये होता है मुझे पेपर लिखना है मतलब लिखना है खत्म बात और कुछ नहीं दिखता और तीन घंटे का पेपर लिखने के बाद जब आप बाहर आते हो ना आपको ऑलमोस्ट पूरा क्वेश्चन पेपर याद होता है कि क्वेश्चन नंबर इसका था
देर इज अ पर्पज इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू यू हैव अ पर्पज और देर इज नो ऑप्शन आपके पास कोई ऑप्शन नहीं होता बाहर जाने का देर इज नो ऑप्शन विथ यू आपको लिखना ही है जब भी आपके ब्रेन के पास ऑप्शन होता है भाग जाने का सिचुएशन से तो वो हमेशा भाग जाएगा बट इफ देर इज नो ऑप्शन आपको करना ही करना है देन वॉट हैपन्स इज यूर ब्रेन ब्रेन विल एक्सपांड वो थोड़ा और ज्यादा सोच सकता है ज्यादा तरी अच्छे तरीके से तो यू शुड ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट नाउ रिविजन के लिए ऐसा आपको ऑप्शन नहीं रखना है वेन यू रिवाइज ना गाइज वट एवर इज डन इन द क्लास आप जब रिवाइज करते हो तो मोबाइल ऐसा समझो आपका एग्जाम ही है एकदम एग्जाम के लिए कैसा बेटर वैसा एटमोस्फियर लेके आने का और वो अगर रिविजन का टाइमिंग भी फिक्स कर लो तो बेटर है लाइक सोने से पहले एक घंटा सुबह उठने के बाद एक घंटे का रिविजन जो भी चीज़ आप फिक्स कर सकते हो वैसा है पर जो भी करोगे एक फिक्स कर लेना वो ज़्यादा बेटर रहेगा और जब रिविजन करोगे ना ये दो घंटे के लिए तो मोबाइल वगैरह सब स्विच ऑफ जैसा एग्जाम में बैठते हो तो ये नहीं होता कि सोशल मीडिया पर क्या नोटिफिकेशन आया है मेरे इंस्टा पे या फिर एफ पे तुम्हारा फोकस होता है पूरा पेपर लिखने पर वैसा ये दो घंटे का रिविजन होना चाहिए लाइक तीन घंटे का एक लेक्चर हुआ तो एक घंटे में रिवाइज करना है तो पूरा फुल फोकस एक रफ पेपर लेने का फटाफट फटाफट से नहीं करा था हाँ ये करा था ये करा था ये करा था मतलब उस स्पीड से आपको करना है कैल्सी लेकर रफ में अगर ऐसा करोगे ना देन ओनली देन ओनली यू विल क्लियर दिस एग्जामिनेशन विथ फ्लाइंग कलर और यहाँ पे आपका कॉन्फिडेंस बना रहेगा क्योंकि जैसे जैसे मंथ नजदीक आते जाएंगे और अगर आपकी पढ़ाई नहीं हुई रहेगी तो कॉन्फिडेंस गिरेगा और कॉन्फिडेंस गिरता है ना तो पढ़ने का मन भी नहीं करता बिकॉज अपने को पहले से पता अपन तो उठने वाला है यार पढ़ने का मन ही नहीं करेगा तो वैसा है तो इट इज ऑलवेज प्रिफरेबल अभी आपके पास टाइम है सो इट वॉज अ गुड पॉइंट आई सेड की चलो थोड़ा सा मैं बता देता हूँ प्लीज आई कैन अग्री दैट रोज नहीं होगा लेकिन धीरे धीरे करके बस ये मेंटेन कर दे आपको खुद पता चलेगा जिस जिस दिन आप नहीं पढ़ रहे हो उस दिन कोई और पढ़ रहा है पूरे इंडिया में देखो आपका जो कंपटीशन है ना वो आपके जिस क्लास के बच्चों के साथ नहीं इट इज ऑल ओवर इंडिया और ऑल ओवर इंडिया में से सारे तो पास नहीं होने वाले तो अगर सिंपल है जिस दिन आप नहीं पढ़ रहे हो पूरे इंडिया में कोई दूसरा बच्चा पढ़ रहा है और वो आपसे आगे जा रहा है समझो तो आपका उतना पीछे जाता है जा रहा है रैंकिंग और वो फेल फेल के तरफ आप बढ़ते जा रहे हो तो जिस जिस दिन आप नहीं पढ़ोगे यू ऑलवेज अंडरस्टैंड कुछ तो गलत हो रहा है करके ऐसा समझना और जहां तक हो सके वो वेब सीरीज का वगैरह वो जो आप देखते हो वो थोड़ा लिमिटेड कर दो आई विल से थोड़ा मतलब एकदम रिस्ट्रिक्टेड एक या दो ही देखा करो अगर संडे को देखना है तो जो भी है बट मेक अ प्लान आपको थोड़ा सीरियस होना पड़ेगा आ, मैंने अभी क्यों बता दिया बाद में ऐसा नहीं हो कि रिग्रेट यार की पढ़ाई हुई नहीं करके ओके सो प्लीज मेक अ प्लान आपको एक दिन में रोज दस घंटा पढ़ना है छह घंटे के क्लासेस के बाद अब अभी से चाहिए तो दो घंटे से ही शुरू करो खाली मैं रिविजन करते जाऊंगा एक हफ्ता वंस यू डू रिविजन फॉर एवरी डे यू नीड टू स्टडी एक्स्ट्रा टू आवर्स फॉर वन वीक वंस दैट इज बिंग डेवलप यू कैन गो फॉर थ्री आवर्स देन फोर आवर्स करके ये एक्स्ट्रा वाला जो है तो आपका दस घंटा जो होगा एक एक करके बढ़ा दो हर वीक में एक एक आवर बढ़ा दो चाहिए तो बट प्लीज मेक दिस नोट एक जर्नलिंग किया करो आपको खुद को पता चलेगा करके कि आप गलत जा रहे हो अगर आप नोट डाउन करोगे नहीं ना तो आपको गलत हो रहा है कभी पता ही नहीं चलेगा तो समथिंग विच कैन बी मेजर्ड कैन बी मैनेज जो आप चीज मेजर करते हो उसको मैनेज करना इजी होता है तो प्लीज ये चीजें मेजर किया करो सेवन आवर्स स्लीप एंड एवरीथिंग सो दैट वॉज समथिंग विच वॉज एट माई एंड मेरे को बताने का था आपको तो मैंने बता दिया नाउ इट इज योर कॉल आपको जो भी करना रहेगा बिकॉज आई के नॉट कंट्रोल मैं तुम्हारे घर पर आके तो नहीं बोल सकता डिट तुम्हें करना है भाई जो भी करना है मैं तो बस यहाँ से सजेशन दे सकता हूँ मैं रास्ता बता सकता हूँ करना तो तुम्हें ही रहेगा जो भी करना है ठीक है सो दैट दैट्स इट फॉर द डे नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद अवर लेक्चर